it. I'd rather have my hair stuck in the clouds than buried in the mound. Feet touching the asphalt, back will touch the ground. You wop about that trash talk, my hands speaking loud. The crowd sound is drowning our conversation now. I know what I'm about to do, can't coma induce. But look, I try not to lose, what else is there to do? I'm a fighter, hard like barbed wire, sharp the same way. I'm tired, but get energized when the crowd say showbiz, boom, by yay. Showbiz, boom, by yay. My style's impetuous, my defense impregnable. There's no B plan when the A plan is doable. My ritual, jump rope, heavy bag, cut rope. I'm the best in the world because my ego says so. A fighter, I am lost in this whirlwind. This make-believe world where it's a sin to be a grown man. Look, I never read a book, bruh. I must admit, I'm about that grit and that dumb shit. Where your head's on some drum shit. Body got bambi legs, ears on some hum shit. Later getting medicated, urine on some blood shit. I want wildest power with Devin. Devin Haney's defense. Up off it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Up off. Hey, Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what day is, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? It's fight night, uh, baby, baby. What's up, my people? This is showbiz adult. All right, man. Look, look. What do we have here? Let me see. Scott Brown. Boom. Oh, who else we got? Tim Butler. What's going on with you? Whoops! All right, man. Lord, first, first, I want to say this. Ah! Welcome to the fight night, everybody. If y'all have not done it, please close out the chat, hit the like, give it up for the Barnett Hill. Bring my lips with a laugh and do the cabbage patch. Kiss a pretty lady and then sign some autographs to Barnett Hill Mansion. Shaboing boing. Hit the Tyson bell. Hold on, before I was, Jackie, I'll see you up in here, Jackie. You guys know what I have to do, lady. Oh, hit the Tyson bell. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's crazy how you didn't do the press conference to this fight. I did the first press conference. I didn't do the last one. Um, and I did the lead up to this uh fight i also did um live stream commentary um uh that day my morning podcast and um it's crazy how i'll be calling the fight from now 10 a.m to 7 tonight so i know what i'm doing i'm supporting like a mofo all right so give the love not the hate okay uh let me see what else we got um did you get my email biz Oh my god, I have been, I have I have so many emails, man. I didn't thumb through them. That's a lot of unread emails. If you guys sent me an email, I'm so sorry um for not getting to them all. I even missed um the predictions again for FBL for Fantasy Boxing League. I'm about to drop to out out the top 50, right? I missed that again. I was so I've been so busy with business, getting a lot of things done and negotiating and doing all these things to the Tyson there. Um so you know, I, once I get myself back together, I, I'll be able to look at all the emails and everything and, and, and get busy on that. But I am going to place a bet on my bookie, and I'm going to do that very soon. I'm going to place a bet on the AJ versus Francis Naganu fight and on the Joseph Parker versus Zhang fight, all right? Uh, let me see. Uh, yo, Biz, I remember you said David got the best of Bivol in sparring, right? But this is not true. Okay, well, I just heard that from Benavidez, so it, it, I don't know. It all depends on... True, Bivol was going 50% while David was going 100. Says who? David even complimented Bivol's 1-2. Nobody in boxing beats Bivol right now. Nobody. So Tyson Fury can't beat Bivol. Um, I don't know how you measured that. You know, so that, that comment is a bit fugazi. So David was going 100 and sparring, and somehow somebody had a meter to know that Bivol was going 50. I'm not, I'm not sure how you can gauge that. Um, number two. Number two, 
it's one person's word versus another. All right. So David Benavidez said that he beat Bibble. Bibble somehow measured how much percentage everybody was going. Right. Hit the Tyson Bell. So to say I'm not what I'm saying is not true based on what you believe. Yeah, that's Fugazi. All right. I'm willing to say, well, that's just what I heard. I really wasn't there. So I don't know either way. All right. Let me see. Uh, Dr. King tried to love somebody. Flex on him. Seep, 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 pow. King Kong ain't got on me. Uh, yeah, biz. Uh, we got 2018 uh, boxing coming back in 2024. Uh, he can do he can do what he wants. Uh, he earned the fight, all that shit. He doesn't owe anybody anything. All oh, right, he doesn't owe the paying customer. That shit's crazy. Uh, don't watch. Uh, don't watch it if you don't like it, right? And that's what people are doing. Less people are watching because they don't like it. And they're boxing and suffering, but people rather boxing suffer than the guy they're lusting for to be criticized. It's ridiculous. Uh, we got to keep the pressure on. I'm saying, brother. I'm saying, brother. We got to do it before boxing, right? Boxing is already, you know, at 14th of sports in the States. I don't know about the world, right? Um, so we need boxing to get better. But as long as we got these guys lusting for other men at the expense of boxing, that shit is going to destroy us. Let me see. Uh, what up, Biz? Uh-huh. Uh, much love. AJ or Fury, uh, better resume. AJ. AJ. AJ has a better resume than Fury. He fought Usyk twice. We're just now getting Fury versus Usyk. Right? Um, I want to say this. I want. I want to say this. I want. I want. <laughs> Thanks for calling these fights, biz. Absolutely. I'm call them all. Um. I want to say this before I place my bet. Once we get a thousand people in here, we're gonna place a bet. Everybody, make sure you hit the like. Hit the Tyson bell. You know, I have. I have people in the comments of the Terrence Crawford versus Chris Eubank video I made this morning. I have people in the comments saying, you know what, Biz, I agree with you now. And I, I want y'all to, to listen because I'm going to have to say this. We're going to be on live for a long time. So I may end up repeating myself. All right. But I want to make this point. It's a boxing uh, scouter. Uh, Got to get uh, yourself one. A ball flip. Uh, let me see. New member, baby, baby. Thank you so much. I want to say this. I, <laughs> the reason why I go off early, the reason why it's bad to just agree with me now, it's too late now. It's too late now. You know, my mother always brought up the three little pigs when she was talking about life and being successful. And you're going to know where I'm going soon. You build your house out of straw while I'm trying to build my house out of brick. The wolf come blow your shit down. It's too late now. This is where I'm going with this. Y'all were allowing boxing to build itself out of straw. And I'm trying to convince boxing to build it out of brick. So I'm trying to do preventative action. When I'm talking early about duck around a pizza to let Canelo know that we won't stand for the BS that has ruined boxing to begin with. When I'm talking about Dr. Rone P. Terrence Crawford, who are you going to fight if, it not, if, when it, if it's not Boots? Y'all so busy getting on me and defending Crawford that he gets a fight with you, Banks, and now, now y'all want to agree. It's late now. The wolf done blew down your straw ass house now. We're talking about preventative action. If you say we're not going to take it before the fight and demand what you want and we're all in unison and y'all sharing and letting everybody know we don't want BS, then the business responds to the customer. No one gets paid without the customer. That's what a customer is. No one gets paid without the customer. So you, as a customer, got to let the business know what you demand. If you don't care, all you care about is gripping the hairs of a taint of your favorite fighter and say he could get away with anything, then guess what? You're going to have fans who don't really talk. They're just paying fans. They're going to continue to leave the sport and find a substitute. 
Crawford versus Eubank, get that shit out of here. The customer is smarter than you think. And I'm talking to the business of boxing. You can't keep feeding. You can't keep pissing on the customer head and trying to convince them that it's rain. We know it's piss. And I really come at the fighters at the top because the, the most fans, the biggest demographic of fans you're going to get are the casual. So they only know the fighters at the top. Tank, Canelo, Terrence Crawford. They barely know him, but I'm just saying. Tyson Fury, AJ, they only know the guys at the top. So those guys represent everything else. So they're going to look at Terrence Crawford's Chris Eubank and say, oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get that shit out of here. That's what I thought. Let's get that shit out of here. Y'all late. Y'all so busy trying to say, oh, you're attacking Crawford. Let me defend him. That y'all doing it at the expense of boxing. I love Crawford. I think Crawford's fantastic, and I want him to re represent himself, his legacy, and the sport extremely well. And us. If nobody holds him accountable, if nobody holds Canelo Alvarez accountable, those are the ones who represent the sport the most. If nobody holds Javante Tank Davis accountable, we are we're going to continue to lose the sport. And I mean acutely. But y'all so busy trying to defend yourself as diehard fans of one person that's going to come and go. They come and go. Boxing should be forever. Those one little, those box, there's now, boxing didn't stop after Floyd retired. Boxing didn't stop after Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali retired, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Robinson, everybody thought they saw the best of Sugar Ray Robinson. Boxing's still going. Some, at some point, you got to put your factuation of another man aside for the sport. So you can be as infatuated as you want to for or for countless of men as long as the sport is still thriving. You can do it forever. I'm helping you. If you're the type that be infatuated with God, I'm doing it for you. Keep boxing alive so you can have as many infatuations as you can possibly, as your heart can desire. Let me see. The, and you can't get no realer than that. Let me see. Crawford uh, taking the Canelo way out. They all. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Dr. King uh, wanted to love somebody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he would have boycotted uh, that arse too. Yeah. Time to speak with your wallets. That's what I That's what I don't want. Get them, as I'm saying. A new member, baby, baby, baby. Wavy. Flex on them. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. My house was built out of straw. You see what I'm saying? It's hilarious. Let me see. Flex on him. Seep, seep, seep. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. Uh, can't uh stay uh just showing some love. Up off that, brother. Let me give you some love, brother. Let me give you some love back. You say I can't stay, but I'm popping up. So DJ spin the sound. And there go DJ Stark uh uh Stokes again. What's his name? Dark Sto Strokes again. <laughs> Dark Strokes again. Gifting 20 memberships. Hold on, brother. Let me give you a love. <laughs> Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> Let me see what we have to say. Uh, Biz, who you got? Zang or Joseph Parker? Let's start doing our best now. We got over a thousand people in here. Let's start getting our best. A gifted one. Show Biz the adult membership. AJ the Don. Much love to you, brother. Let's start. Let's start. Yeah, Zang, 291. <laughs> that boy, 300 pounds right here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, we're going to have a hundred mods, J Body. No, we don't do mods. We don't do that many mods. We we do very little mods, but we're gonna have a trillion members though. Uh, you sound like a boxing preacher, but brother, brother. Let me tell you something. I am so passionate about making boxing the number one sport in the world again because it's the best sport in the world. It is the best one. It's just being ran poorly. 
I'm so passionate about it. I'm motivated to do what it takes. I'm motivated to do what it takes. If that means keep teaching y'all to be yourselves, to be for yourselves, right? We're starting a boxing revolution here. I would do it tirelessly. I love boxing that much. Uh, Haney versus Rye uh, was going to be 600K pay-per-view. Uh, now it's probably 2 million. Yeah, yeah, that, sh that shit turned all the way up. I'm telling you, man. I <laughs> Ryan Garcia did a great, uh, an amazing thing. Uh, a member for 33 months, war room, baby. I'm saying thank you so much, brother. I, listen, listen, brother. Let, let, before I before I start uh, uh, on my bookie and placing my bets, I got to do it right now. We got over a thousand people in here, so let's go. Um, Ryan Garcia, real quick. Devin Haney isn't a big seller at all. Uh, his last couple pay-per-views were disappointing, right? So Devin, so Ryan Garcia had to lift the fight itself, him himself and Devin Haney. He had to give people a reason to watch. I'm not saying that he made everything up. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is he went viral. Did you see the ticket prices for that event? Somebody got to buy those. Somebody got to buy those. And the reason why the ticket prices are so high is because people are still in the pay-per-views. So they got to make their money somewhere. Ryan Garcia himself got to pack the house because Devin Haney is just isn't a big seller. He's a better fighter than Ryan, but not a bigger seller. So now what Ryan has to do is win the fight. Uh, let me see. Which that's going to be very difficult. Uh, a new member, bye 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 bye. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, you ever thought about doing a boxing documentary? That's a lot. That costs a lot of money and a lot. You know what I mean? I got to make sure that I got the kind of following that's going to support me no matter what. We don't even get people to hit the like. So to buy a documentary and you know, so I got to at least start getting people to at least hit the like. That that you like I said when you look at the business and you look at the customer, the consumer, I, I do it all the time. If a person can't do, like, look at the likes now. There's a thousand, one thousand, one hundred of you can't do this. If a person can't do this, how the hell are you going to buy a documentary? So I got to make sure, y'all, I can get y'all to do this and subscribe. And I'm talking about thanks for the love. You know, at Charles Network, she's giving away $30,000 and all that shit. That was, that was historic. But I want to, but can people subscribe? For the love, not because they're getting thirty thousand, or can potentially get thirty thousand. Can people subscribe for the love? Can it? I I couldn't believe how many people were subscribing. I'm like, so you can physically subscribe. So once I get people to do to support out of love, of course, then I can invest money and in, you know on a documentary and do something like that. You know, let me see, a new member, baby, baby, baby. Let me see. As an 18-month boxing fan, Bud let me down with this. Yeah, that, that, that's rough. That's rough, bro. Uh, AJ to Don. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. Hit Tyson Bell. Um, let me see. Your supporters don't play. Oh, the supporters don't play. Like the real supporters. Oh, y'all ain't playing no, y'all ain't playing no damn games. Okay. All right, let's place our bet. Let's place our bet. Uh, when the fight start, uh, for real. Uh, uh in a few hours, man. I heard 5 30 Eastern. So we're all we out here. Uh come to Brooklyn to see the fight, showbiz. Uh, let me see. I'll be there. It'll be great to meet you. That would be fantastic, brother. I, you know what? It all depends because I want to call the fight. I want to call the fight with you guys. But if I'm invited and all that, and it's like, all right, man, I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna have a have people waste seats and shit, right? If I'm invited or something, you know, um, then I'll be there. I'll be there. Uh, let me see. Let let me let me let me present let me present let me present real quick. Dog, look 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 at look at Tyson Gypsy King Fury. All right, man. All right, man. Let's see. Let's see what's popping. <laughs> let's see what's popping. Let me see. Uh, but money last fight sold out. Ryan didn't. It takes two. Uh, no, I mean pay per view, not the arena. Right. Um, um, Devin Haney, it was a homecoming fight. So, of course, it was kind of like uh, 
Terrence Crawford fighting in uh, Omaha, right? Or where where do you fight? Uh, yeah. So, you know, when you go home and you, you sell out, that makes sense. You know what I mean? But we're talking about pay-per-view, okay? Um, as far as the fight is going to sell out. But they they need they need it to be big. They need those pay per view numbers and stuff like that. And that's something that Devin Haney. Has. But if you if you're a Devin Haney fan and I made you moist, I'm sorry, right? You want to def go ahead, defend them, do whatever you got to do. But the truth of the matter is, you know, Devin uh, Devin Haney's just not a really a big seller. Ryan Garcia went viral. It was it was it's just one of those things. It was it I I can't say it was uh, all purpose, but it it definitely positively affected the sales of the fight. But I'm not coming at Haney, so don't feel hurt or anything. Uh, let me see. Uh, usually I have to remind my casual fans when the fight coming on, coming out. But this time they've been asking me about Devin versus Ryan. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Biz, you need to be on prime time. They need to give you a contract, brother. Uh, a lot of uh, the so-called boxing analysts on Fight Nights need glasses, brother. On top of that, you know, the, the problem is as long as you don't expect me to sell out, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there, bro, because I, I cannot lie. <laughs> it's like the liar, liar movie, dog. I cannot lie to y'all when y'all expect the truth from me. Right? Uh, let me see. This is just Ryan's second pay-per-view, so he can't sell either, Biz. Um, yeah, this is his second pay-per-view. That doesn't mean he can't uh, sell. All right? But if you want to turn that into that kind of conversation, fine both of them can't sell the the fight is a piece of shit but when he went viral it helped can we agree on that when ryan garcia i'm not i don't want i don't want to get into an argument of or some kind of debate of who makes the most money who makes i don't want to get when ryan garcia when he went viral that helped can we let's just find a place to agree let me see a member for 14 months. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, Buttercups uh, got to explain how this better than... Oh, shit. Uh, let me see. Uh, thanks for teaching me the sport of boxing, Biz. Love you, boy. Uh, let me see. Uh, what promo company is Boots signed to? And why are they not sending Crawford contracts if they believe uh, in their guy? Okay, so that, that's your rebuttal back. All right, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know what would make you feel good about uh, what Crawford did <laughs> because Crawford's the A side and he'll, he'll be sending out the offer, right? Not boots. It'd be Crawford sending out the offer because he's the A side. All right. But we're not that part of the debate. You're one of those guys that no matter what you're going to be taken up for. So do you, like I said, you can lie to me, but can't lie to yourself. Do you, do you, he's the A side. He sends out the offers, but do you, whatever makes you feel comfortable do you, bro? Do you? You like you like Chris Eubank versus Crawford? That's the one for you. Do you, bro? All right, look. Let's go. We're going to do, when it comes to Anthony Joshua versus Francis Naganu. let me look at some, let me look at some, some wagers here, man. Let me look at some wagers real quick. Wait, Anthony Joshua by KO is minus 121, 125. Wait, hold on. Damn. By decision is plus 240. Because I think Anthony Joshua knocks him out. I got to put money. I got to put real money on it. I got to put real money on it. I think AJ knocks his ass out. We're going to talk about why. We're going to talk about why. I think he knocks his ass out. I'm going to put $1,000 on it, bro. That, that, that's the only way. That's the only way to get some real money. I'm going to put $1,000 on Anthony A.J. Joshua knocking out Francis Ngannou. Francis has never been dropped. Nope. He only had one boxing match. I'm going to put $1,000 on A.J. knocking his ass out. That's the only way I can get to the bag. Let's go. Come on, AJ. Get me to the bag. Plus, Drake put like 600 some thousand dollars on Francis Nagano to beat AJ. Did y'all see that? Quick. All right, let's go back. Because, because 
we're going to put money on Zang and Joseph Parker. We're going to put money on Zang and Joseph Parker. And I'm going to look at the wages. Joseph, oh, they got Zang winning. I'm going to go Joseph Parker by knockout. Plus 600. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why in a minute. I got Joseph Parker by knockout. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. My man said, I put a little bit on Francis for the KO. Just getting my feet moist. There you go. Let's go. I hear you, brother. I'm putting money on. Or all oh shit, J Dub done gave me fifty. I'm going to J Dub. I ain't going to flex on him uh, right here. I'm going to wait until uh, my bookie is, is down until I, you know after I place this bet. I got Joseph Parker by Naka, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. That's six hundred dollars. Let me put a hundred dollars on it. Let's put a hundred dollars on it. No need to, you know. If I put two hundred on it, two hundred is a bad. But it won't kill me. 200 is a bag. Hold on. Hold on. 200 is a bag, but it won't kill me. That's $1,200, y'all. I put 200 on there. That's $1,200. I got Joseph Parker by knockout. That's going to be my bet. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Let's go. Here's the Tyson man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, brother. All right. So you guys saw it. $1,000 on Anthony A.J. Brosher to knock out Francis Naganu. $200 on Joseph Parker to knock out Big Bang Zang. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Flex on. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you, left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. Let me see. Hit the like button and do it for the love of the sport, fam. Love and respect. Rip. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Kira. Yeah, brother. Uh, what's that? Dragon Ball Z? You was the? Yeah, that, 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 that hurts. That hurts right there. So, everybody, go to my bookie. Place your bets. I know I, I got 1,200 out there. All right, we'll talk about that. Uh, I'll pay a hundred for your documentary on boxing beers. Much love, K Marco. That's my boy. Hold on, brother. That was bad love. Hold on, brother. Let me give you your love. You see that line? That line ain't lying. Uh, good, bad. AJ will win. I got the knockout. I got the knockout. Okay, Zang is beating Parker, bro. And uh, I bad bet on uh, AJ. Well, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get let me get the let me get the cash app. J Body said what happening. J Body done said what happening on the cash app. Let me check out my brother. Let me see what my brother gotta say. J Body said, uh, five. Oh, oh no, June. Uh, for biz. Somebody said June said for biz. For this fight would we'll, would we'll have BK so turned up. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Most definitely. Most definitely he would have been turned up. Yeah, he would have been turned up. Uh, let me see. Let me see. John Payne, I always show the, the love when I catch your live. Super chat isn't free shit. But uh hit the like is free, especially when the song play. Love you, boy. We gotta play the song. We gotta play the damn song. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna play the song. Hit the like, your fingers over here be like. It's nothing to hit the like. You know what you like. <laughs> hit the Tyson Bell. A member for 30 months. What the? Hell? Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, 30 months. Yeah, Jackie. Jackie! Listen. <laughs> I got AJ. I got AJ knocking out Francis Nagano, and I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, Jackie, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I think AJ is gonna beat Francis Nagano the way Tyson Fury should have. I think he's gonna beat the hell out of him. I think he's gonna be. He. he I think he's gonna beat Francis Nagano the way a uh, Tyson Fury should have. He's gonna box him and beat the hell out of him. He's going to be hitting him with hard shots, boxing him, moving his feet, making a miss, and I, I, he's going to whip the hell out of him. 
He's going to knock him out. He's going to stop him. Over time, bam, boom, boom. Because AJ is it, it, next to Wilder, and Wilder may be out of boxing. He's the hardest punching heavyweight in the world. People don't realize how hard AJ punch. You, you don't think so? Bam, boom, boom, boom. Watch. Because he's going to throw combinations. Tyson Fury, real sloppy with it. Fat, sloppy with it, didn't train for it. AJ's training for it. He's going to beat him in a box. Don't look at Francis versus Tyson Fury. That was the one-off. AJ's going to be like, bam, bam, boom, bam, boom. Watch, watch, watch. He's going to beat him the way Tyson Fury should have. Watch this. Zang is 300 pounds, y'all. Yep. If he doesn't catch Parker early, he's going to be walking Husky. It Let, let me let me ask you this. 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 Now, Zang will probably beat Joseph Parker, but I'm just telling you why I put 200 on Joseph Parker. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something. What time do uh the fight come on uh, over here in, in the U.S.? I think the, the main event starts at 530 Eastern. People are gonna keep asking that. So if you guys could say it in the in the in the uh in the war room, that'd be great. You got Zane? Let me tell you. Let me ask you. Big bang uh by sitting on Parker. <laughs> Let me tell you. When when is the last time Zane went 12 rounds? Tim Butler, Tim Butler. When the last time, not don't everybody speak at once. Philip, two thousand twenty-one. <laughs> AJ by TKO uh, fifth, Zane by TKO fourth. Okay, hold on. Francis Chin is crafted from vibranium. Okay, everybody can get knocked out in heavyweight division. All right. How did he, you can't remember? How did he, Herkovich, how did he look the last time he went 12? How did he look in the later rounds when he went 12? I like Dragon Ball Z. I can't say I'm a fan enough. I didn't follow it enough. Tired as hell, horrible. Does Joseph Parker have good movement? Did he survive Deontay Wilder? Did he avoid Deontay Wilder's right hand, his fast punches? Did he did he afford of uh avoid Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds? When the last time you seen somebody not get hurt or dropped by Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds? Tell me when the last, not don't everybody speak at once. When the last time you seen somebody not get hurt or dropped by Wilder for 12? So let me tell you what I'm saying. It's not crazy to think that Joseph Parker can survive Zang 300 pound ass a bit slower than Wilder. Avoid him knocking him out. And dragging him into deep waters, his 300 pounds ass, 300 pound ass. Joseph Parker may box, stick and move, bounce around, tire him out, and Zang fall out out of exhaustion. Let me see uh, Duck Nello in the background. You see a duck? Then you're a boxing fan. Hit the Tyson bell. So when I put money on that knockout, that's why.
Y'all out your mind, Biz. I know. I know. Hey, remember when I said the Russian Mike Tyson may lose that, that fight? Everybody say I was crazy? Remember when I said it doesn't make sense for Wilder to beat Joseph Parker? Oh, let me see. Biz, why we brag about Parker surviving Wilder when Wilder is 38 on a decline? We got to give all the facts because I don't give a damn if Wilder was 100. You never seen it. He drops everybody. That's not a big deal when it's never been done. Think about all the facts. Now that the fight is over with, now hindsight is 2020, but it's never been done. Never, ever, when somebody do something for the first time, that's nothing that to applaud. You're tripping. Let me see. Uh, let's get back uh, to the bag. Love you, boy. Yeah, let's get back to the bag. You won't, you won't get it, though. You won't get it. You're too busy with the narrative. You won't get it. Uh, also, Zang 40 uh, and can turn uh, old overnight. Yeah, it ain't like my man said. That's a great point. And my man said. Wilder was 38. How old is Zang? How old is Zang? 22? Look him up. Uh, Francis ate a, a uh flagrant elbow from Fury. Yep. And 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 uh forgot to react to it. Uh-huh. I think the confidence is up for Francis, uh-huh, to throw more and apply more pressure. Yeah. But because you caught an elbow, I, there's been a lot of fighters who caught elbows. It doesn't mean you can catch punch after punch, combination after combination while missing over 10 to 12 rounds but hey do you i ain't say he's gonna one shot knock him out i'm saying bam bam boom bam he's rock bam boom but that, that's okay though that's okay people don't boxing is only one punch ko's gotcha <laughs> if parker makes it to the middle of the fight don't be surprised if he starts busting zang up and stopping him it doesn't sound crazy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, showbiz, what's the promo code for my bookie? Showbiz? Showbiz is the promo code. Let me see. Like Dubois versus Miller. Like Dubois versus Miller. Go ahead, Allen. Go ahead, Allen. Hold on, hold on. Um. Bill Haney sent me something. What Bill Haney got to say, bro? Bill Haney's hilarious. Bill Haney is, is I feel like Bill Haney's trolling me. I'm not going to show you the DMs because you know you don't do that, but I just feel like he's trolling me, bro. Like is this? What is he on? I think he's trolling me, dog. <laughs> Bill Haney trolls everybody, dog. I think Antonio Tarver, what he got to say? <laughs> yeah yeah bill 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 you know you got you got to let bill go because the thing is i'm a huge fan of bill haney uh, listen i know a lot of people find to see him as an asshole and stuff like that i get it but he's a little older than me but he's from we're from the same era the way he is was always funny for us all right <laughs> All right. So, I mean, Bill Haney, I, I, I like him. I, I like what he's doing for boxing. The guy cracks me up. Now he's trolling me. It makes me laugh. He's He knows. He knows. Bill, if you're watching, you know. All right. Let me see. Uh, Somebody said leg day uh, fought uh, Wilder and won. I'll see what kind of day this gonna be. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see what kind of day this gonna be. Y'all, y'all start too early. We gotta start off slow. We got hours, Jackie. We got hours. Let's just chill, talk about ghosts and aliens and shit. The Illuminati does. <laughs> you know, I mean, all these fights. I'm not gonna call every one of them. All right, let me see. Uh, I just came to talk to y'all. I got AJ by knockout. Francis has a lot of holes in this game. 
<laughs> you, you telling me? But Francis Power gives him a punch. Oh, of course, of course, of course. He he has a he has an a, a extreme puncher's chance. Oh, uh, let me see. A member for four months. Thank you so much, my brother. Oh, uh, let me see. What up? Uh, what up, Biz and the community? Enjoying the live at work. By the way, Zane will be winded by round seven. Uh, and Parker will still be snapping punches. Uh, about to get on my bookie and get to the bag too, Biz. What up, you? I'm just saying, you, 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 you. At least we see what we, if if Big Bang Zang wins, it's fine. But at least y'all see what I'm where we're coming from. <laughs> oh, why you think Crawford won't fight Boots? The same reason Floyd didn't fight Keith Thurman. The same reason Keith Thurman didn't fight Errol Spence. The same reason Errol Spence was dragging out uh, the fight with Terence Crawford. That's what you do when you're in silk pajamas. He just in silk pajamas. He has a silk pajamas. He's trying to coast. He won a coasting fight. All that fight about the money, that was all bullshit. That's why I told you guys, if you are ever, all the Terrence Crawford fanboys who were moist, who were moist, who was like, you know, I, I hate you uh, hating on Crawford and stuff like that, all right, which I wasn't a huge fan of Terrence Crawford, right? I just kept saying, I'm curious to see who he's going to fight then. And everybody was crossing their fingers that it was somebody. Now that is Chris Eubank Jr. Now Terrence, now the booty buddies got to scramble to find a way on how to on how to defend them. And you don't have to just be a boxing fan. You don't. It's not about you and me. It's not about booty buddies and and the war room going at it. It's not. It's not. We're all together trying to make boxing hot. We're trying to lift the sport. Don't look at it as, oh, showbiz was right here, so let me find a way. No, 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 no. Let's all, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let's all just, we just all together looking in the same direction. <laughs> no one should, because all you need to do, if Terrence Crawford was somebody else, if he was Errol Spence, y'all wouldn't like that shit. Just keep it real, regardless. If it was Tank Davis, you wouldn't like the shit. So why take up for Terrence Crawford for doing it? He's not you. You're you. You don't like that shit, and that doesn't help the sport. That's horrible. That's no, this dude got whacked upside his damn chin. Uh, possible rematch: Ruiz versus Parker too. So Ruiz is out of boxing though. I, I, I ain't think about the damn Ruiz fight. Uh, let me see. Uh, Roman Fury uh fighting right now. Oh, that's Roman Fury. He looks just like John though. Is that his nephew or something? He got, I, I don't care anybody say, he got stuck right in the face, bro. He got punched right in the mask. 80s kids are, uh, we are different. Brother, we are so different. This dude be trolling everybody. Uh, yo, Biz, the Fantasy Boxing League uh, won't let me make a prediction, bro. It's, that's probably because you're late. You're late. The cards started. That's what happened to me. The cards started out of there. I mean, Alan, you want to open it back up, at least just for the main event, Alan? Since since we're more than two hours away from the main event, open it up for the main event car, main event fights. Open it up for them because everybody let's start. We, we can play fancy boxing league in real time. Alan, if you do that now, can you do that for us? Open it back up. I know it's against the rules, but I'm saying the main card. We're more than two hours away from the main card. So let's see if Alan, he's the project manager of fancy. Boxing. Y'all got to get to know him. Y'all going to see him when we start doing the fancy boxing league podcast. You, Alan's going to join and tell us updates and what's going on technically in the background and shit like that. Uh, let me see. Uh, we are, we are family. Uh, uh, uh. All my war room buddies and me. Hey, hit the Tyson bear. My bear. Your, your chick is hilarious. Uh, let me see. Open it. Yeah, yeah. Try to, oh, Alan hears us. He, all right. Alan is a dedicated, he's, he's on the live right now. He, he hears us. He just ain't saying shit. Uh, yeah, the BS buddies, the BS buddies versus the booty buddies. Uh, let me see. Uh, Tim Butler, like, yeah, brother, open the shit. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Oh, we didn't know, Alan. Open it back up. Uh, let me see. Uh, Crawford and Eubank Jr. don't uh want to see. I don't want to see that. No one does. No one does. It's a. It's. It, let me tell you what it is. Saudi Arabia is offering a bunch of money. All right. So it's another. Uh, David. Avenesian, what's the boy name? It's another fight like that where BOK Prime overpaid for it, gave him $10 million for it. So Terrence Crawford is just moving where the money is. That's it, right? He's money Mayweather right now, right? He, he got the green print. 
So he'll fight. He'll fight Chris Eubank Jr. He'll fight Joe Schmo, right? Saudi Arabia is going to overpay for it. He's going to go for it. That's what it is. He's he just, you know, shaking his ass with cash. All right. My, my thing is this, though. Who I feel sorry for the most? Any UK fans in here? I, I, I do. I feel very sad for y'all. Y'all been wanting Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank. Now y'all don't even want the shit anymore, man. Conor Ben got pregnant. You know, Chris Eubank getting knocked out and shit. Like, now y'all don't even want it. I feel so bad for y'all. Because I wanted it, too. Because I, I, I was around when Nigel Ben and Eubank and Watson, Michael Watson, and all those guys were fighting. I, I love that era. I love the UK. I was I was like, yo, you the fighters in the UK are going at it. You know what I mean? <laughs> now you got Conor Ben fighting Manny Pacquiao and Crawford and Terrence. You got, I mean, Terrence Crawford and Eubank. Y'all, y'all gotta be like, yeah, this shit is pissing me off, man. Yeah, he got eggnant. <laughs> Mr. 007 said he got eggnant, bro. Uh, let me see. Uh, do you have uh, a time to do uh, my showbiz advice? <sighs> Brother, I, I have to find an email. I got a ton of emails, and thank you guys for all. Please keep writing in the emails, all right? I have to find it and stuff like that. Um, you guys are really, I mean, just a beautiful community. You know, I, I remember like two weeks ago, I opened up an email, and it was just somebody just talking about, you know, he can't wait for the summer, and... <laughs> You know, it's just great that we see each other as as friends, right? Um, and it's and it's people like y'all who, when I go to a fight, y'all just sitting there like pit bulls off the leash, <laughs> just waiting for somebody like this. Don't worry about it. I went to the urinal, I went to the bathroom, and Papoose was there, and everybody was like, "Yo, Biz!" They didn't even look. Papoose was washing his hands. Nobody gave a shit. Everybody was like, "Biz, what up, boy?" Papoose was there. Pa Mo's like, yo, Biz, what up, baby? Who you got? Hey, Spence about to go down, baby. <laughs> you lost your money. <laughs> but mess with me if you want. The war room be there like pit bulls off the leash. It's wild, bro. It is really wild. It's, yo, I love y'all for that. Let me see. Flex on him. Seep, seep, seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. Let me see. Crawford will is my guy. Facts. But he needs to stop this shit. Yeah, we need him to, because out of anybody who I thought would be the best undisputed champion would have been Crawford. Because Crawford was done dirty. I didn't expect him to do that to Boots the way he was done. Right? I, I just, you know, and there was a quick second where I said, man, Spence would have never done that shit. Ah, he fought Mike Garcia's ass. <laughs> So I was like, never mind with that point, right? Because I'm like, he fought Danny Garcia, he fought Kel Brook. He would have never done that shit. Ah, he fought Mikey Garcia's ass. So that's what they do. You know, you start feeling like you're the man with the plan. You know, you're gonna you do boost wrong. I just ain't ain't didn't expect that from, from Terrence Crawford at first. But then when I start when I saw him on the Breakfast Club and I saw how he was moving, listen, I would have easily taken the rematch with Crawford versus Spence over this shit, easily. Chris Eubanks' chin, I don't give a damn if he weighs 190 pounds. Terrence Crawford can swat with accuracy and crazy timing. This is the punches you don't see. Terrence Crawford's going to have that guy on the craziest Bambi legs ever. The back of his head is already shaped like Roy Jones Jr., right? And I'm talking about how Roy Jones Jr., the back of his head looked when he was knocked out with Glenn Johnson. You know, that little point in the back, that's how his head looked. That's when you know he can get knocked out easily. They got the same shape in the back. Let me see. Eubanks uh, trained by Bo Mack. How would that work? Terrence Crawford probably give him Bo Mack. Like, here you go, dog. Hey, bro, you need all the help you can get. <laughs> Let me see. Um, Crawford should fight uh, Jenna Beck at least. Yeah, I would have I would have been mad at that, but not as mad as this. Uh, to take out the big dog at the division, then petition to fight Canelo, uh, then ride off into the, into the sunset. Yeah, well. But Canelo, Canelo ain't fighting David Benavidez. It, the section and body, and there ain't nobody forcing Canelo to do shit. He does what he want, right? Nobody forcing Canelo to do shit. Canelo ain't fight. Can you believe this? Can you believe this, man? Charles, Charles, brother, you, 
You just gave this community $30,000 to help save somebody's life. To help, and there's people jealous of, of J Dub. Look at J. That's J Dub right there who was giving the fifty. J Dub. People are. Is that J Dub? I think that's him. People jealous of Dub. And here he is again giving. A, I, there's nobody like Charles Edward Chief. Nobody. Nobody. I still don't know who this man is. I know he's Charles Edward Chief. That's all I need to know. But nobody like you, bro. Nobody like you. Flex bro. on him. Cheese. His name is Cheese. They say they don't fuck with me, but <laughs> bling bling. King Kong ain't got. Oh, J J J J. Flex on him. Seep 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got shit on Chase. My man, he said, Jackie, ain't you supposed to be at work? Yeah, Jackie ass supposed to be at work. She like fighting too much. Her ass. Flex friend. on him. Cheese. His name is Cheese. They say they don't fuck with me, but. <laughs> bling, bling. King Kong ain't got shit. Oh, Jay, 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 Jay. Hey, hey, Jackie said, I am. <laughs> yeah, you ain't working. Jackie, you ain't working. If you at work, you ain't working, sister. Your ass ain't. <laughs> Jackie said, I, I'm his. <laughs> Chris Eubank seems like a James Bond villain. Yeah, he's a James. I, I love him. Chris Eubank, just like his daddy. He got the gift of gab, the God, facial expressions. The guy's a, he's, he, 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 he's a show. He's a joy to watch. You get his ass whipped. When he wins, he act like he's the cat's pajamas, right? When he talks, he act like a, so sophisticatedly greater than everybody. Just casually the best fighter ever. He just like, I mean. You know, then he get his ass slapped. You know what I mean? He has this face because he slept and shit, right? I mean, the guy's amazing. Let me see. Chris Eubank, uh, Bati, uh, get uh, ran through like a bum girl. Hey man, that hurt my feelings. Cause see, in my mind, Yam Gardner was hard to to get at. But I don't. But you know what? That's none of my damn business. Actually, no. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. There you go. That she's still Yam Gardner, dog. She's still nobody. That's none of our business how she gets down. All right. Nobody put everybody's black book out. You know what black book is? <laughs> GNZ is like, what the hell is a black book? <laughs> you know, putting out people body counting shit. You know, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Oh, Leo, my God. Flex on him. Seep, seep, seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. I got to fix my uh, currency, my man. But I don't know where the. Uh, plate brothers are at. What is that? Charcuterie. Dude, my, my vocabulary. I'm from the hood, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I yo, got my masters and everything. It's just still, I'm still a shark. Shark you. This is embarrassing. Uh, are at LOL Cheese and Cheddar. Uh huh. But I'm here to uh, enter the heavyweight era. Oh, he said he's here. He, see, people are fighting for their spot, bro. Uh, your Discord link expired. Uh, was trying to join. Much love. Yeah, yeah. I keep asking people to put that back up. Man, brother, hold on. Let me give you your love, Leo. Let me give you your love, brother. Let me see. Hey, what's what's the word? Hey, what's the word that I was messing up on? Biz glazing. Glazing who? Muzz just love saying the word glazing. You can't give love now. That that's the black community though. Hey, that's the black community though. Glazing, cause we're so we're crap in a barrel. Like we're so negative with each other that they you create a negative word for giving love. Love is not what we do, right? So you give another brother some you glazing. You can't give love now. And we're against it. Yo, it's, it is the most toxic shit in the world. The most toxic shit in the world. Let me see. Flex on. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. My man said all respect to cheese, though. Real ish. Yes, Lord. Hold on, brother. Let me give you your love again. Hey, 
Hey, hey! This for the war room and the community. Hold on! You hold on! Flex on him! See, 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 left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. That was $300 in two seconds. That was, brother. Oh, he's coming for the spot, brother. Ain't no way that you, you Let me see. Uh, my man said, damn, Leo. <laughs> damn, that hurt. Uh, Chris Eubank uh, got the peanut head from the Proud Family film. Yeah, I know, brother. That He got that shit. Right, there's like a nook at the very end, at the very tip of what happened, bro. <laughs> what happened, y'all? What what could have possibly happened? What see, see, what could have been said? What could have been said, bro? Let me see. Uh, this guy she supports you so much. Uh, you would think y'all had a personal relationship. We do. That's he's like he's a friend. We're all friends in the war room. Uh, let me see. Turns out uh he's just a loyal supporter. Oh, right, right, right. Uh love the content, biz. Love you, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, obviously he just wanted because it's not just me. I've seen Charles Edward Cheese on like different platforms, like rap rappers platform. Who a uh, Joe Button or something like that? I was just looking at Joe Button. I saw Charles. I'm like, oh okay, Charles. He just gives love, bro. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, A B said Yam Gardner is the can man. This is not cool, man. Anybody can't get it. Uh, he wrong for that. Yeah, he, he, dog. This, this guy. Ricky! Some great. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie, trick or tie, tie. Bang, bang, bang. A great day on the map. Easy day, day. Flex on him. See, see, see. See, left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on oh, Trey. Trey, where you been? Uh, sorry, War Room. Been out of uh pocket uh, for a minute. Brother, shit. Y'all. Some great. Trey. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie, trick or tie, tie. Bang, bang, bang. A Trey day on the map. Easy day, day. Shut up, don't you worry about it, brother. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing, mama. Shit. Let me see. Uh, Tales of Yam Gardner's uh, sexual uh, deviancy as has as shaken me to the court. Yeah, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to say he lying. <laughs> he lying. <laughs> Got Tony Harrison like. See, I didn't even know they were dating. You know. Uh, she looks uh, more feminine now that I know that. So what makes a female? Just being loose, huh? Just being loose. That's that's the, that's you can't get. I love those jams. You can't get more feminine. The the the, the looser she gets, the more feminine she is. Huh? That's boy. I, I swear before Lord. I swear before Lord, boy. Y'all men ain't shit. Oh, let me see. Uh, Abdullah Mason. Uh, beats Andy Cruz right now. Book it. Well, we can't book it. <laughs> we don't know. Um, I got Andy Cruz though. Uh, had my brother say duck pies with Mello and uh, oh, Hame Mungia. Y'all, yeah, 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 yes, Lord. Uh, but about that Yam Gardner vid, get at uh, uh, Broner. <laughs> I'm not listening. You guys gotta understand. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, uh, the Fury one. Uh, Bam, uh, Bum Gardner is about to make a hand wrap sponsored by OnlyFans. Y'all, y'all are relentless. I shouldn't have came on this early. Y'all, ma- uh, it's pronounced uh, like uh, cooterie or charcuterie. It's a display of cheeses and meat snacks. Oh. We <laughs> y'all some sophisticated. I would have just called it a, 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 a cheese rack. You can't say meat rack though. Did you say meat rack? That oh meat snacks. Okay, gotcha. See, I would have just <laughs> I would have just said a, a meat meat and cheeses. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh this will be a uh 
super califragilistic fan. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, Biz, what weight class did you box in? Uh, no weight class. I didn't even get a chance to, to have a real fight like a, an amateur fight. I was just training. The only time I um, competed in a real thing was in Taekwondo. Um, everything else was just training. Uh, I trained in jujitsu um, for a while. Uh, uh, probably the longest in jujitsu. Um, I was I was practicing boxing my whole life but really being part of gyms i was part of three different gyms in boxing but i never had an amateur bout um and taekwondo i competed that's where they wanted they thought that i was going to be the cast pajamas in taekwondo i was more serious about it because my father was almost a black belt in taekwondo so that that's where my heart was for a minute but then i you know no disrespect to my father but i saw that art form as being more sporty then i started getting to the point where i wanted to hurt people like defend i um, hurt people i think so that's why i started leaning towards uh jujitsu you know i had i was more violent i was a more violent character before even with my happiness i was a more violent person before when i was younger than i am now you know i'm only happy now i i do i can't snap though i vibrate very high but i keep myself out of places where i would snap um but because of how I, I, th I think I want to find the best way to to hurt some to, I think uh, hurt to hurt somebody. I think, <laughs> I think that's what I was on. I'm, I, I I've tried to psychoanalyze myself, you know, looking back at how I was, you know. I think I think that's what it was. I was like, nah, man, Taekwondo, nah. I don't want to artfully sporty whoop somebody's ass. I want to break a bone, like break them all. Like, I think that's what I was on. Uh, let me see. Uh, man, I work remote, and you really uh, about to give me all of these hours of entertainment. Much love, brother. Uh, people need to realize how, how hard it is. Oh, my God, to do these shows for this amount of time. Much love, bitch. Yeah, because I'm by myself. You know, there's no breaks. I'm just sitting. I'm sitting here looking at a camera in a room, and I have to imagine that you guys are all here. When y'all laughing, I don't hear laughs. I don't see y'all faces. <laughs> it may look like it, but I don't see shit. But I gotta, I gotta feel it. I gotta feel that y'all responding, right? Let me see. Flex on them. See, see, see. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. That's four hundred dollars. I'm counting. That's four hundred dollars from you. Brother, uh, this is for Flex Friday. Oh my damn, brother. Who the hell is Leo? This is for the hater, brother. Who is Leo? Leo, you are Leo. He said, This is for the hate. Hey, y'all, just stop and love. Just stop it and love. Give love. Let me see. Uh, Biz, uh, that used to be a 40 pound dumbbell. Uh, what happened? It was never 40 pounds, was it? I think it was a 30. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe Ms. Biz, you know, she comes here and cleans up. Maybe she just moves some stuff around. I don't, I had two. Now I just have one. So she probably just moved it. Uh, yeah, she probably just moved it, bro. Uh, Leo uh, got his taxes back. See, y'all, some hate, y'all. Just love, bro. Just love. Where's your taxes? Uh, let me see. Brother, yeah, but I can't, I can't even hate. I, I owe. I owe. But when, when am I giving the government back the money that I owe? I, I scheduled it for the last day. <laughs> but I, I do think you should pay your taxes. I do. I, I believe in it. I actually believe in paying your taxes. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to give up. But I, I, <laughs> I scheduled that mug. For, it was it's the day before the last day. Uh, brother, uh, move that duck away from your uh, uh, YT uh, plaque. Uh, we don't need that negative energy near that. It's funny. It's fun. It's funny, bro. That duck is hilarious. It's it makes me happy. It, it just it's just funny to see, right? I'm not hate. It's just funny. This dude looks like he can fight. Uh, hey Biz, I was recently watching uh Christy Martin. 
Savage fights and wonder why she never gets mentioned uh, in the GOAT debate. She ain't a GOAT, though. She's a savage, but I watched her live. You were watching her fight? Yeah, I watched her live. I knew Ali was better than her. Layla Ali was clearly better than her. Clearly. Clear. She was a savage. You know, it was the emphases of uh, women's boxing. But I remember she was, Layla was clearly better than her. Wolf, too. Clearly. Clearly. She was a savage, though. But they were clearly better than her. So that's why she's not mentioned. She, she wasn't the best one of that era. She wasn't even the best one of that era. She was nice, though. But Layla, Layla was better than Wolf. People like to say Wolf because Wolf, you know, the underdog and stuff like that. She's kind of like the Frazier when you know Muhammad Ali is great. Layla is greater than her, right? But uh, Christy Martin, she wasn't the best one out of, out of them. That's like saying, hey, man, I was watching Tua. Why nobody say that Tua's the GOAT? Because he wasn't even better. He wasn't better than Lennox. Let me see. Uh, Leo uh, throwing those uh, Benny Franks around like water. Brother, yeah, they, he, definitely Leo is blessed. He's definitely blessed. A new member, baby. Bye bye. Leo is blessed. Uh, uh, Trigger Trey is blessed. Charles Edward Cheese is, 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 if there's a God tier, he's the Kool Aid of drinks. And I mean that, Charles, I mean that in a positive way. All right. There's drinks, there's, there's orange juice, there's Crown Roll, <laughs> there's water. Kool Aid is 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 the is God tier. <laughs> He's the Kool Aid. Oh, uh, let me see. Looks like Leo wants his own theme song too. Uh, yeah, he's getting there. He's he's actually getting there, bro. He's actually getting there, bro. <laughs> I mean, you you do something like that, bro. You're actually getting there. Let me see. Uh, I O I O. Uh, so it's off. Uh, to work I go. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. And and they helping me right now. Uh, let me see. Why do people shit so much on women's uh women's combat sports? People are like that anyway, right? It's like why do why did you know different races shit on other races? Anything that's not you, you shit on, right? You just find a way to you. Everybody's finding a team to pick, right? So that's why I don't like it because boxing is so fragile right now. We can't divide boxing up. We got to all be a fan of the sport and bring the sport because it's not now it's the sport against other sports. So we got to bring, but we're dividing each other. You got people that saying, hey, you think that this uh, white fighter is good. So you're a coon. Hey, you think that this Mexican fighter is good because your wife is Mexican. Hey, you think this black fighter is good because you're racist. You know what I mean? It's like we're dividing each other. Oh, you're for women. You must be for, you know, men being women. And it's like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Brother, we got to lift the sport. <laughs> Jeez Louise. You know, but it, it, it really is human nature. Right? Uh, let me see. Who the hell is Leo is wild? Uh, Leo paying your taxes. That's what I'm saying. Leo's paying my taxes. I don't know who he is, though. Like, who is Leo? I guess he's Leo. It's just like, who the hell is Charles Edward Cheese? But he's the man. That's who he is. Uh, uh, I can hear uh, the... At Duck saying uh payday. You can hear the duck saying payday, brother. You that's that's hysterical. Uh yo, after one my fights and wolf came to tell me good job, you're lying. She probably was was looking at you, you know, to be like to train you or something. And uh frog the ish out of me, my aunt. Because cause that's what I'm saying. She'll whoop your ass, that's for sure. And Wolf, she'll whoop your ass. Uh, I was like, damn, on the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she'll whoop your ass. Oh, you have to sit down on Ann Wolf. I don't give a damn. If you're a dude, you got to sit down. You got to sit down. You got to sit down. Ann Wolf versus Clarissa Shields. Or something. She, Clarissa won't be able to keep her off of her. She just got out box her. And, and Wolf was bullying dudes. I'm talking about as a trainer. She was bullying dudes. You had to listen to her. Oh, let me see. Maria. Eh, 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 eh. She was a Harriet Tubman of boxing. That wasn't funny. The only reason why I said that, let, let me just let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The only reason why I said that is because I know how tough Harriet Tubman was. <laughs> you know, like, y'all shut up. You, you want to go back like she was, you know what I mean? She used to bully cats and yeah, get them together. <laughs> that's that's what she listen. Wolf wasn't a Harriet Tubman of boxing. <laughs> she wasn't. You know, I can't help certain Joe. I just can't help. I can't help. I can't. I need to calm down. It's a lot. 
Let me see. Uh, cheese trigger tray. A uh, DJ. DJ too, Maria. Maria. Maria too. Hold on, hold on, Maria. Hold on. Let me give you your love. Let me give you love, girl. And Jackie's been coming up while you while your boy getting. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Give me a new. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie, cheat, trick or tie, cheat. Bang, bang, bang. A great day, only met easy day, day. Ch -ch 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 Flex on him. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on Trey. My man said, haven't been able to catch a lie. Uh, but watched all the uh, playbacks. Really, be as a true troll with the... <laughs> With uh the duck, uh happy belated B day uh to baby biz. Thank you, man. Uh keep it up. Uh Leo, I'm still chasing OG. <laughs> Hold on, my boy Trick. Some great Trick. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie trick or tie tea. Bang, bang, bang. But Trey day, only met easy day, day. Ch -ch 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 Tyson Bell. Uh, let me see. Uh, Biz, uh, I know I'm late, but why the F is Crawford for, <laughs> uh, for the money, I think, because uh, Saudi Arabia may be throwing that money. I, you know, you just, like I said, he, uh, I, all I know is that fight, dog, somebody's getting their asses taxed. All I know is that fight better be free. Actually, they better pay us to watch that. That fight is trash. Hey, why, why are you counting? Look at this. Yeah, what, what, See, sometimes refs got to, you know, that 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 knockout was hellacious. Y'all see that? Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, one punch from Ann and uh, mud butt uh, for a week. Yeah, you're going to have mud butt. She hits you in your stomach. Your butt going to be mud. That's one of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have more mud butt than an 80-year-old, right? Uh, you, you get your prostate check. Kool-Aid and uh, Bud Crawford uh, uh, greats uh, out of Nebraska. Hey, my man, what up, Biz? Blessings. Flex on him. Seep, 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 seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's over $1,000. It's been an hour. Hold on, let me let me give you a love first, brother. Let me give you a love first. Let me give you a love. I took a chance on myself years ago. And when I quit my job, I asked you guys. I said, if you guys can have my back. I took a chance on myself and look. You hear my voice? I took a chance on myself. <laughs> You make a thousand dollars in an hour taking a chance on yourself. Don't just jump out and quit your job. No, but ha but if you can have a plan, at, at at some point, all of you guys can ha just should have that moment where you take a chance on yourself. Just a risk, just a chance on yourself. Have an idea, and see if it doesn't work. Fine, but at least you took a shot. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Uh, my bad, bro. Uh, happy belated birthday. Uh, and love. Uh, the new Canelo doll. That brother. Damn. It's not my birthday. It's my son. It was my son's. But y'all, y'all hysterical. I'm from Texas. She wanted me in Kirkland camp. Knew it. I knew it. Uh, I was there when he broke uh, his note. Wow, had to pull out. You were there. Yeah, I remember when he pulled out versus Cotto Pauls. You were there? That's incredible. That's some incredible shit. Uh, let me see. 
Trey and Leo doing an old school money battle. <laughs> yeah. 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 Rasan can't take my name like that. Much love, bro. Family, we got you, bit Brother. Ricky! Some great. Trey. Hey, 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 hey. Trick or tie, trick or tie, trick or tie. For Trey Day, I'm in that easy day, day. Flex on him. Seep, seep, seep. See, left hand on you, left hand on you, left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on Trey. My, hold on. Jackie, what the hell is going on? She said, oh, we love you. Love you, girl. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, lady. Me you. Flex on him. See, 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 see. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong, hey God, <laughs> on me, Jackie! Y'all about to have me, hold on, man. Y'all about to have me looking like Hercules out here. <laughs> Y'all about to have showbiz on flex, dog, uh, given this contagious. It is, it is, it is. Uh, I can't uh, keep up with these rich people biz, but just wanted to say uh, you uh, the man. Thank you so much. Hold on, man. Hold on, you still gonna get your love. You still gonna get your love. Hold on. So tonight, gotta on the shelf. You know what it is Friday. I feel like it's Saturday because of the fights. Y'all at work. Don't forget, man, when y'all get out of work, the fight's gonna be over with. Y'all can have the fights and get y'all drinks. Kick it tonight. Kick it tonight. Get loose. Kick it tonight. Send it a hundred in spirit. Much love. Well, you know what, brother? In spirit. So tonight. Your spirit is worth more than cash anyway, brother. Mr. Nobody. That was very humble. Name. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pop. One time, one day I'm going to hit my left. One day I can fit. One day I'm going to knock a tooth out and y'all going to see it. It's going to be funny as shit and it's going to go viral. Like you flex on me. It's going to be very funny. But if I don't watch out, flex on this nice man. <laughs> King Kong ain't got on me. Uh, It's a family feud. My man. Love you, boy. Thank you so much, my brother. Let me see. I found your page last year. I saw your old videos, and I'm here now. I see the change growth, and I heard your story, too. Much love, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, Take that chance. Uh, Had to be scary, but, bro, I, it was. But my mother gave me the – my mother told me, don't call me back until you quit your job. Let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Uh, seeing what your uh chance turned into is inspiring. Brother, yeah, but, brother, I had people – Let me see. Uh, when was your son's B day? Uh, March first. Uh, mine was mine was Wednesday. Ah, oh, much love, brother. March first. He just turned eighteen. Just turned eighteen. He just turned eighteen. That, he was my baby before Knox in the box. You know, so it, it hurts. You know what I mean? But yeah, grown ass man. But let me tell you, I was having horrible anxiety with work. Yeah, you, you guys gotta you guys gotta understand. Look at those early videos with me in front of the green screen. I was working from home. I was supposed to be working. I hated work so much that I was doing YouTube. YouTube was my passion. You remember when I <laughs> I can say it now. Remember when I was flying to Canada all the time for Hard Knock Nights Live and all that shit? I would fly out on a Friday doing work hours. They I would I would log out eight o'clock in the morning. Didn't get to Canada and get back set up until two. I, I was, I was about to get fired. I would have gotten fired. You, had, I had emails of where, where are you? I was taking a chance on myself early. I hated my job after a while. I hated my job after a while. I did, and yeah, I was getting ba paid pretty good. I, I was a manager and everything. But I had crazy. I wasn't happy. 
And I called my mom and I said, you know what? I want to do the showbiz thing. And, and my mom said, then quit your job. Do it. She said, matter of fact, do it now. And don't call me back until it's done. That's my mom. I just bought the house and everything. I have responsibilities and everything. Ms. Biz already put me on her health insurance. She knew it was coming. I said, man, what do I, she said, you're already on my health insurance, dental, everything. And she was folding the clothes and she was smiling. She said, I was just waiting on you. That's how the women had my back. The women in my life, that's how they had my back. So when I, when I feel myself coming downstairs, say I'm done. I just got on the phone with my mom. You think I would, I won't call my mom back or oh, I'm going to call my mom back. Meaning I better quit my job. My mom, my mom is the goat. My mom is the goat. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Biz, I've been around since uh, you were under 25K subs and won a thousand uh, in one of your giveaways. Yeah, yeah did you? S dot, that's dope. Uh, when you switch to uh, POD more often. Oh, oh, you're talking about a, pot, a potting oh, as far as podcasts. I know what that meant. My bad. Uh, more often, uh, I was worried about your growth. Me too. Uh, proud that you uh, proved me wrong. I kept going. I kept going. Yeah, because you guys would show up for my live stream commentary. And a lot of you guys would like me then. I'm like, they got to see me as a, as a personality live. Obviously, I, I just got to, what they like on the weekends, I got to see if I can make that daily. And my, my growth was going down, but I just kept going now you know i'm getting thirty thousand views on a podcast but you, you know who else is doing that you know this community you guys are just like yo y'all shared and everything and y'all supported me in a tyson bit uh let me see um became a, a member thank you so much bye 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 who you got biz i placed bets bro on my bookie i placed bets on my bookie i put a thousand dollars on aj knocking out friends Naganu. i put two hundred dollars on joseph parker knocking out uh jean Oh, Zang. Uh, let me see. Uh, the love shown is beautiful. We need a live fight for everyone to link up and meet. I know, brother. I know, man. Y'all keep telling me. To, I know, man. Uh, I love uh, the recognition you receive. Very deserving. Thank you so much, Kenny. Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith. Uh, I was like, why that name sounds so familiar? Uh, can you play that Jackson one? Uh, one more. I mean, one more time for me. Yeah, I'm going to need a cigar later. I'll see that. It's time to celebrate this Friday. I'm going to get a cigar later. I haven't had a cigar in a long time. So, but everybody, nine to five so the show. The thing is, I can't drink and uh, smoke like a, I can't do, a, I can't do that like a thing. I can only do it. I mean, well, I probably can, but I'm worried because I got one kidney. <laughs> so if it's like a party or something, I can kind of casually drink. But I'm just, you know, I'm trying to be around. I'm like, I'm like afraid to really, you know, I drink a lot of water and stuff. You know, you, you'll see me smoke a cigar like during the summer, but I'm not, I won't even finish it. Like I'm, bro, bro. I, and you probably can, you know, I just want to be as safe as possible, bro. I, you know, life is fragile as hell. Flex on them. Seep, seep, seep. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. What's up, biz? Uh. First super chat, uh, don't got it uh, like Trey. Yes, you do. You got it here. LOL, but there's a little something. Thanks, brother. I remember the day you announced you was leaving your job and going to do this full time. Happy for you, bro. Inspiring. I know. And I and I remember, bro, people in the comments being like, hey, man, I don't know if that was a good idea. You know, y'all were concerned. It was Y'all weren't hating. They're like, hey, brother, I, I, hey, hey, man. Because I didn't have a lot of, I didn't have the quit job, quit your job, subscribe. Look at Connor Ben. Is he wearing a shirt under that jacket? He didn't. I didn't have the quit shirt. Does he have a shirt on? Oh, it's like a wife beater. So, okay. Um, I didn't have the quit your job type of subscriber base. <laughs> I was just done, I, and I, I bet on myself. Let me see. Uh, won't lie, my man. Won't lie. I hate uh this uh grind, but this low key made uh my day, bro. Uh huh. Uh, you're blessed to have that. I'm alone in this. I appreciate you sharing, man. Much love, brother. Yeah, you're not alone. And um, I see what you're doing, though, with Undisputed. You're, you're on the right path. Undisputed will be successful. I guarantee that. There, it, number one, it doesn't have uh, much competition. Number two, really look at Undisputed. Really look at the graphics and everything. Like, look at how everybody got their own fighting styles. Just really look at it. 
Oh, wait, I'm getting an Allen. Uh, hold on, man. Uh, you're a real success story. Remember when you quit your job, now you're getting a bigger bag than people uh staying at their jobs miserably. Miserable or something else. Hey, hey, oh wait, I had to open the whole fight card. I opened it. Oh, they he opened the fight card. Oh, my bad. Hold on, everybody. He opened the fight guard card. Let's go to fantasy boxing league. Can we make a prediction? He opened it. Everybody, real quick. Everybody, come on. Hurry, hurry your ass up. Get to the fantasy boxing league. The link is in the description box. Let me share. I, I'm going to share what I'm going to do too. I forget it. I'm going to share what I'm going to do. Um. Okay. What all do we have? Oh, Roman Fury. Oh, we can't do that. that hey, don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't cheat, bro. Because we already saw the outcome. Everybody, just do, just do from Ray Vargas on. Do from Ray Vargas on with y'all cheating asses. Don't, don't do this. Because y'all saw the outcome of the other ones. Don't, okay? We're going to go. I'm going to go Anthony Joshua by KO, one knockdown. Zero knockdowns. Zero knockdowns. He probably just, zero or one. One knockdown. One knockdown. One knockdown. One knockdown. And then he TKOs him. Let me save. Y'all cheating asses. Don't do a hey, have some integrity. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, Joseph Parker versus Zelly. I, I know there's a prediction. There's a difference between prediction and gambling, but I'm going to go with zero knockdowns, TKO. Joseph Parker. We're going to go there. Ray Vargas is going to knock Nick Ball ass all over the ring. I'm going to KO to... Uh, Ray Vargas, this shit about to be sick. Let me see. Let me say that. Those are my predictions. Those are, we only got 50 minutes. Everybody, jump on the Fantasy Boxing League. You see the time ticking there at the bottom? Y'all cheating asses. Don't be cheating. All right? I'm just going to do the, the main card. Thank you so much to Allen. Now, Allen done, he, he done trusted y'all asses. All right? Um. So that's, those are my predictions for the Fantasy Boxing League. Thanks. Shout out to Allen. Shout out to Allen. All right, I'm about to close this on up. Wait, before I do that, where am I on the leaderboard? Am I still even? Chick is still three. Allen Scullo, 50-50. <laughs> hey, 50-50 knows his boxing, bro. Y'all go best around. Take a big L. Uh, let me see. Price Boy Freak Hat Man. Am I anywhere in this mind? I'm at 14 now. See, God, dog it. I told you I was about to drop out because I haven't been doing my predictions. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Uh, let me see. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Uh, great story, Biz. Got to uh, leave that nine to five up on the shelf. That's why I say it. That's why I got the song. Uh, hits different now. Yep. Shout out to Mama Biz. There you go, Kenny Smith. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, let me see. That was dope. Uh, I same boat with you. Come to my job and start a uh, deli of various businesses. Oh, best feeling. Really? Oh, Alan said he'll catch the cheaters. Alan said y'all about to get busted anyway. He said he'll catch the cheaters. Y'all little cheat, little, little cheat asses. Yeah, y'all ain't going to be able to cheat, Alan. Y'all little. Uh, let me see. Uh, new member, baby, baby. Uh, Biz, are you calling O'Malley versus Cheeto? I, I might. I might not. This is, you know, let me tell you what's been happening to me. I want y'all. What's been happening to me is the muscles in my head has been getting tired and bigger from screaming so much for hours. Also, my voice, my vocal cords, I'm getting raspier and rasp and like a scratchier sounding voice. So I'm going to need breaks. Because when I do shows, I don't just do shows like, yeah, show biz. And yeah, I do a show, right? I'm screaming and everything, right? Sometimes I get sick. Y'all don't realize, I, not like, you know, I catch like a cold easy because I'm up and I'm screaming. I'm exerting a lot of energy. So that's why sometimes, you know, if there's a UFC fight, I mess around. But like, hold on, man, I may, uh, breast may be more important. So, you know, it all depends. It all depends. Let me see. Listened uh, to the podcast for years. Uh-huh. Never donated. Thank you so much, brother, for donating. It's not shocking to see your success. You've got something here. So make sure they pay you when it's time. You know, brother, Um, that's what my manager said. And uh, I'm happy I got him. 
I'm happy I got him. Um, that's what he said. You know, because there's a lot of things I've done actually for free that y'all don't know. Right? Um, not about like the stuff I say about fighters or anything. I'm talking about just like plugging a product and stuff. And um, it's like, yo, it's time to time to get to the back. I know you're working with your heart, but it's time to get to the back. You know, so I hear you. I hear you, brother. Uh, let me see. Uh, imagine meeting uh, Biz in person and all of the chanting uh, is uh, unison. Oh, my God. Uh, up off. Oh, my God. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, made my bookie account and bet on the card. Let's go. Get to the back, brother. I hope you got to the back. I hope you get to the back. Hold on. I got to play the song for you, too, bro. I got to play the song for you. Hold on. Here it is. <laughs> Let me see. Um, great story, Biz. Been watching for years, and I'm going through a similar story. Uh huh. I'm doing what I love now, profitable, because you're good at what you love. That's why you love it. Uh, thanks, brother, for sharing. Much love, my brother. Uh, let me see. I argue with you some days, uh huh, and I agree with you others. Uh, that's the brotherly relationship, of course. And we'll argue and be upset with each other. It's all love. It's, I love you, boy. Uh, let me see. Uh, that we can relate to 100 because we try. At the end of the day, we're trying to make boxing great. Uh, Tim Butler, facts, be easy, bit. No, you, you're right, Tim Butler. Uh, let me see, Matt, my guy, Matt. Uh, sucks. These fights are scheduled at such an inconvenient time. You got to get used to it, dude. That knockout, that Anthony Joshua, shit. Uh, let me see, inconvenient time. Uh, -huh. uh, for us employed Americans, uh huh, in uh U.S. that work from nine to five, he broke it down. Uh, hope they change it up, and they won't be able to, cause they got to make money. People got to show up to their shit, so they got to be free. It's just, we just got to deal with it. And here's the thing, Matt. They've been dealing with it from us for years. You got people in China watching American fights. I mean, they've been, we got to make that sacrifice. Let me see. Flex on them, chick. Seep, seep, seep. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong. Ain't got on chick. Let me see. We are family. Uh. <laughs> from the OJ to the war room with us. I, I, no, that's not. I thought that was going to be the song. <laughs> he said, from the OG uh, to the war room with love. That's all he did. I started singing this shit like a little. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Mexican uh, women are loyal. Uh-huh. You got you a good one, Unc Biz. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, she's definitely loyal. She's definitely loyal to the point. Dog, she's so she's so loyal. I'm happy I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Can you mess around and fumble that bag, bro? Let me see. A collab with you and Southpaw TV uh will be lit. Um, from my understanding, he doesn't like me at all. So why would you? I don't think, but you know, really, as well as I don't really do much collabs anyway. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, a member for a month. Bye bye bye. -bye. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, what your push up game looking like, Biz? I I lift weights more than push up now, doing push ups. But I do push ups as a burnout at the end of my workout. So, you know, um, I just do like five sets of thirty, right? now but it's like a burnout of so it it it, it burns you know because i've been i lift the whole time and then i do five sets but the problem isn't my lifting the problem is um uh, my my i think my testosterone has dropped because of my age honestly i think my meta just my age so i got to be far more careful i'm still learning my diet i got to be far more careful with my diet than ever before far more i don't know when that when it happened it happened overnight Right. So I can lift until the cows come home. If my diet is not right, I got a lot of muscle on in here. But look at the fat surrounding it. I, that's why there's no cut. I got I'm bulky, but I, bro, that's not a good look. Right. So I, I I'm, there's a lot of salt going on. I got to get that together. And, you know, Miss Biz, she just cook it up. You know, I got a Latina. You know, so she just be like cooking that shit up. And it's like, damn, baby, you gotta, you gotta hand me a salad, bro. 
Uh, let me see. Casual boxing fan here. Can you teach us how the points are scored? Casual boxing fan here. Uh-huh. Can you teach us how the points are scored? Well, what do you mean? So when when it all depends. Okay, so whoever wins the fight, I mean, whoever wins a round gets 10, and, and whoever loses a round gets 9. But if it's a knockdown, you if it's one knockdown, it's 10-8. Right. If there's two, it's 10, seven. So at the end, they still just tally up all the points from each round. That's that's really what it is. Whoever won the round, if it's if it's if both of them get knocked down, it's nine, nine. You know what I'm saying? Or or eight, eight. When you have like a tie round, it's like 10, 10. So, you know what I mean? It's really whoever wins the round gets 10 and how they win is how. You know, how is well, how the other one loses the round is how many points they lose. Oh, let me see. This is the Holy Grail of Boxing Podcast. If you work uh, is your play, if your work is your play, you will never work a day in your life. You think I'm working right now? I get exhausted, but I'm happy. Let me see. Uh, they try and turn you into Hulk uh, with these donations. Brother, honestly, I got a workout in. Uh, rip. Yeah, I know Dragon Ball was my child. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I remember Dragon Ball before it was Dragon Ball Z. Right? Wasn't that Dragon Ball when the kid was running on that dragon and um, and the cartoon looked ashy to the mofo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are cheating. He said he'll release the names like A, B. That's funny. But he see people cheating. He said he's catching them right now. Y'all, I just asked y'all. That was it. Yeah. I remember, and it had that. I remember looking at that like, this is incredible. So there was, so anime back in like the 80s, I was wondering why they, why the animation was so good. I promise you, I was a little boy wondering because all the anime was on a weird channel. Like I used to have the vice grips and y'all remember that? I had the, you know, anybody from the 80s? So there were knobs. There was a top knob and a bottom knob. And the top knob had like certain channels, like the main channels. And the bottom knob had like, I don't know, global channels, I guess. I don't know. Like the bottom knob was like 44, 57. The top knob was like U, one, two, three, right? And anyway, I think you could turn the top knob to a certain thing that allows you to use the bottom knob channels. I think it went like that. And we had a vice grip. <laughs> And I remember we looked at Voltron with the bottom knob, right? You had Voltron, vehicle Voltron. You had Gigantor. All that stuff was on the bottom. And that's where I saw Dragon Ball. And I used to wonder, why are these cartoons animated so much better? The bottom was you channels. Okay. You so you had to put the for, the top knob on you, and then turn the bottom knob right. This man said pause on the knobs, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it went like that. Uh, I am a twenty eight year old diesel mechanic, and I work all of uh hours, all of hours. Uh huh. Your channel brings me the peace that I need. <laughs> Shit. I swear to God. Uh, thank you for what you do. Much love, my brother. I, I understand. My man Raymond said, don't agree with Southpaw TV, but more collabs could lift uh, not only you, but other brothers and the sport uh, we love. Uh, the most love. Uh, the most love you, boy. Love you, boy. Uh, I've done collabs. You know, you just got to pick the right collab. Let me see. Ms. B is like, nope. Uh, open up and eat these churro. I'm, brother, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. You are not lying. Correct. Okay, yeah, that's how it was. Let me get my my uh, water room temperature. Uh, you, you feel like you're at your grandma's right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get a little of this culture, brother. Just for clarity, if your job is doing something that you truly love, then you're not working. Right. And and that's rare. And that's rare. You know, um, the let me tell you, man, I didn't I didn't get a job in what I got my degree in. But in a in a very direct way, I use my education with my own business. 
I use my education with my own business. Let me tell you, what to cover, when to cover it, how often to cover it. Naturally, how to, how to argue, how to debate, how to put together your, argu your, your argument is from writing argumentative papers. How, how to start it, how to lay out the, that's why I asked you guys to listen. Listening skills. What was actually said all comes from education. What, how to find the problem with the business of boxing, how to find what the problem is and who to focus on. That's from school. That's from my MBA and everything. How to brand myself, how to market myself, how to do my thumbnails. What people saw. At, from the very beginning, what people saw as a weakness, I exploited it. My facial expressions. I look like a damn cartoon. So I, but no one looks like me except for Urkel. And he's out of business. <laughs> I know my face has got goofy expressions. And a lot of those faces on my thumbnails, I don't like how I look. I don't dislike it. But I'm not like, yeah, that's a cute picture of me. I'm just like. It's like, yo, that that face is ridiculous. <laughs> that face, I'm actually better looking than I express. So, yo, I know what I'm doing. I, and a lot of it is from, mostly all of it is from my education. So getting, I tell that to my son, getting educated helps you in so many ways, so many ways. Not just get a, a piece of paper to get a job, but it teaches you how to approach everything. When you're looking at the news and everything, you know what's really being said. You know what they're doing. It's like, oh shit, I know what that is. I actually know what you're marketing. When I was looking at that Ryan Garcia situation, I was like, <laughs> it's not that Ryan Garcia directly did anything. I'm just like, yo, <laughs> yo. I know what's up. <laughs> I know what's up. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know what's up. I know what's up. Okay. Let me help. Y'all want to hear something? Y'all want to hear something? Y'all ready? Because I'm only going to say this once. There's 2,000 you in here. So I'm going to hip y'all on some shit. Ryan is the clown? Fine. So am I. I'm called a clown every day. Maria, let me help you. Shoot, okay. Once again, I think Ryan is genuine with his meltdown, okay? But let me tell you how his meltdown helped. I was like, holy shit. Let me tell you how his meltdown helped marketing. It's not even that simple. Those tickets are overpriced, right? I just want y'all to listen to me every step. Those tickets are overpriced, correct? Grossly overpriced. For Ryan versus Devin Haney. Ryan isn't known to be a pay-per-view star. Devin Haney, definitely not. Class of session, okay. So they had to overprice the tickets so they can get money. They had to find a way to, to thicken their revenue stream. So they needed to get to tap the pockets of the people who showed up because everybody else is going to steal it, right? Okay. In order to make the fight happen, they had to pay Ryan and Devin for what they did. But they got to make a profit too. Where are they going to get the profit from? The tickets. So they overpriced it. Talk to them, Biz. Okay. Who can afford those tickets? Not us. Not the common man. Who can afford them? Celebrities. Celebrities. Hollywood. Movie star. What's the best way to get them out? Attack them.
attack the elite. Here they come. I'm not saying he did that on purpose. I'm saying that's why it's going to work. So while everybody was, <laughs> I was like, did you did, did Oscar De La Hoya say anything? He was quiet. Did Bernard, Bernard Hopkins say anything? I was cracking. I was cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Would you ever fight another YouTuber and who? No, I'm not fighting anymore ever. I, I, don't, I don't have that energy. Uh, let me see. For I didn't get to ask at the uh, Jake Paul free fight. Oh, listen, bro. Let, let me tell you why. And, and I would never mention that again. I never mention that again. It's over with. Everybody who showed up to this just now, the only time, I'll never mention that again. All right? Uh, let me see. Uh, yo, Biz, uh, didn't know the car started. My bad. It's all right, brother. It's all right, Ike. So listen, let me tell you, let me tell you why I would never fight another YouTuber. Y'all want to know why? Want me? Hey, be unique. What's going on, be unique? Dope content. Uh-huh. It's not an NBA. Yeah, it's NBA. Did I say NBA? Uh, let me see. Biz, I lost so much respect for some people. They just don't get it. I know. I know, Maria. Let me Why, Biz? Let me tell you why I won't fight another YouTuber. Because if I want to fight, I go to the gym where there's some real bros at. If I want to fight, I ain't going to fugazi act like I'm fighting. Or try to pick somebody. What I'm going to hate on them for? What I'm going to call out another YouTuber and try to hate on them for? I, I don't have that energy. I want to fight. I go right there with some real bros. At. That's what I've always done. You feel like fighting? You got that fighting energy? Go fight some real bros. You whoop somebody, then step it up. Somebody will whoop your ass for you. I've been there. I've got my ass whipped many a day. You want to get, get that energy off? Go and get your ass whipped. Somebody will whip your ass for you. If, you, if you're not willing to do that, you're just playing anyway. I'm too real. I'm too real facts yeah i'm too real go right to the gym i get that energy right out somebody whip your ass for you good no problem we ain't there ain't none of us who will beat everybody ever if there are too many people that's weak in that gym go to another one where some real ones at get your ass whipped you'll be just fine get that energy out you won't even have that energy i don't have that energy for nobody i've got my ass whipped i'm good i'm good Show biz fighting a fight a YouTuber. I go right to the gym. There's gonna be a brother about six feet, as dark as midnight, ashy knuckles, got nothing to lose, and he's gonna beat my ass from pillar to post, and I'll be just fine. Come home like man, that was a good ass whoop, and I'll be just fine. You don't have you ain't you don't have that energy when you found the right people to tax that ass. Pause. So I'm straight. I'm straight. Mess around, go there, get a Mexican kid as thin as this here, get busy and whip your ass. Be walking around like this here. Be, you'll be just fine. You'll be just fine. You won't have that. I know I didn't. I got slammed on my back and I couldn't breathe at all. Boom. And I, woo, I was seeing stars and everything. I'm good. I am good. Let me see. From so fresh. Much love to you, brother. <laughs> Jackie, I'm, I'm just fine. Get the real energy out. And then you won't you won't have those problems. Let me see. I'm sparring. You sparring today. Yeah, go get your ass whipped. You'll be just fine, brother. You, you, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, ain't, no, ain't nobody. You know what I mean? You'll be just fine. You ain't calling nobody out. You ain't calling nobody out. You really want to call somebody out. There's a local gym right down the street. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, Hollywood mentality. If it don't cost a lot, it must be. It must not. It must not be worth uh, my time and energy. That part. Oh, uh, let me see. I still think you can get Jake Paul though. In a boxing match, here with my ass. Right now, I'm no. I'm, I, I haven't been. I have no timing. No, in a real fight, that's different. But in a boxing, Jake Paul with my ass. Oh, uh, let me see. So if you get offered five hundred thousand to fight another YouTuber. 
you turn it down. But, but, but I would want to know why. I don't have no, I have nothing again. I don't know YouTubers. I don't know them. I don't know them. Yeah, I turn it down. I don't know them. I don't need money. Like I would make 500000 on my own. I don't know them. If I wanted to fight, I would join a gym and start working my way up. <laughs> if I wanted to fight, I don't do no fugazi shit. I would go to the gym and start working my way up. If I ain't willing to do that, then everything else is fugazi. Please, I ain't shaking my ass for cash. Let me see. Anybody uh with a gold gym tank uh will beat uh Chris <laughs> Christ out you. Yeah, you got a gold gym tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me the hell out you. One hundred facts. Yeah, I don't have that energy for anybody. Nobody. I have no. I'm chilling. Y'all understand? I'm chilling. I did it already. I am chilling. I got a, a, a torn shoulder, rotator cuff, my arm. I can't even sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night like, ah. I got arthritis in my shoulder, two blown out, blown out knees. My, my, my Achilles is going out. My ankle be feeling weird. I ain't got that kind of time. My eyes stick out two feet beyond my forehead. I, I ain't got none of that time. None of that time, bro. I'm 43. I'm knocking on 44. Show be his fight. Fight what? I'm too busy trying to fight for my abs back. <laughs> and I ain't even mad at nobody. Inoue versus Neri. What's your thoughts? Inoue knocks him out. He, he just, he just, listen, Neri can fight. He can fight. He mess around and can hurt Inoue. It's just that his fighting style, Inoue is going to catch him. Uh, 40 to new 30. That's right. That's why I'm kicking it. Now I'm on something else. I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of my life on this hill. <laughs> I'm chilling. That was funny, brother. Please. Uh, bro, tripping. Uh, I'm shaking ass for cash for sure. Well, we, we yeah. You, you know, you know, people got different, people got different things that turns them on, right? You got, you got different things that, that pushes you. I don't even do this for money. I do it for the, I'm just different. I'm different. It, when I start moving for money, y'all going to see it. And when y'all see it, y'all done. <laughs> got to stay humble and got to know why I'm doing this. The only thing that makes me refreshing, the, what makes y'all come back, what makes y'all entertained by what I'm doing is that y'all feel how genuine I am. But once I start capping and shit, y'all too smart for that. Y'all going to see right through it. When you start shaking your ass for cash, that cash is going to be short-lived because people going to know. Once you lose your quality and now you're just doing it for money, it's short-lived. Keep your quality of work up so you can have a longer legacy, a stronger brand, and make money longer. When you do it for the love first, the currency will be there. I promise you. I promise you. Let me see. Okay, Shy Town, I hear you. A uh, real recognized, real. You looking familiar? One hundred percent. There's some brothers in the shy that'll punch a hole through me right now. All right. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, Zane come in. Uh, two hundred ninety-one point six. Expect an early night versus Joe, or a late night for Zane, or a late night for Zane. Uh, did uh your eyes bug out uh when you got slammed? I think that's where they settled, Salate. You trying to be funny? <laughs> your funny ass, <laughs> All right? I got two Sarate bald heads for eyes. As soon as I got slammed, boop, pop, and they just sat. They sat right there. They sat right there. Uh, let's make Showbiz merch. Uh, where it's the Errol Spence shark knocking on the door of forty-four years. <laughs> you still young, brother? Yeah, I got a young life, but but I'm old to fight, bro. <laughs> Jackie. Shit. Uh. When does it start? Man, we got we got uh, we got five hours. We got five hours before the show. Five. We're just here talking shit. <laughs> we got five hours before the show starts. Y'all gonna come in and out, have a bite, come back. 
You know, man, we just hyping up the show. We just talking. We, we there's been a few fights, but you know, nothing really, really. I can't believe how many people watched my uh, video this morning because I started my live. I'm undercutting my video, but y'all still like, yo, what's up? <laughs> Flex on. Seep, 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 pow. King Kong ain't got <laughs> on me. Let me see. Dude, that boy said, love you, boy. I thought that said, love you, booty. I was about to say, come on, brother. Uh, hi, uh, showbiz. I'm a big fan from Brazil. Hey, how are y'all doing over there, man? How y'all, uh, there's so many people that want to visit pr Brazil. I think I've heard that maybe twice this year already from France, you know, family member. I, like, hey, you want to go to Brazil? Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I think Joshua is a better athlete than Fury, for sure. Do you think, well, he's more coordinated. He's a better athlete. He's a better athlete. Uh, do you think Naganu survives until the end of the fight? No. I apologize if you already answered this. Yeah, I, I think he beats Naganu the way Fury should have. Oh, let me see. Is Showbiz the puppet coming back? Showbiz the puppet never left, bro. Showbiz the puppet never left. He was he was there for the thirty thousand uh, giveaway. Uh, let me see. Resident Alien, not yet, not yet. I haven't been watching much TV lately. That's the thing. Um, Biz, uh, do you think Canelo is waiting until Benavidez uh, can't make the weight uh, to to then drain him? If they fight, that'd be the circumstance. But I don't think that's what he's doing on purpose. I just think he doesn't want to fight him. That's that's first and foremost. I don't want to fight him. He obviously don't want to fight him, right? Everybody else, he can make an effort to fight. David Benavidez, he he doesn't want to fight. He's not making an effort to fight him. If he wanted to fight David Benavidez, he'd offer him twenty five million. He has the money for it. If he want, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you want to fight me? I give you thirty million to fight me. That's not how he's talking. And everybody else is supporting him. You know, pay day. You know what I mean? Five million. If he wanted to fight him, he'll make sure of it. Who would who would turn down the reason why you fight Canelo is for money. He gave David Benavidez, he's offered him five million. And David still said yes, because he wanted the opportunity. The reason everybody wants to fight Canelo for the bag. Everybody would get knocked out for the bag. But with David Benavidez, he purposely offered no bag. If he wanted to fight him, he'd be like, yo, let's make this 50-50. Like you can get David in the ring. Let, let's make this 70-30. Not 92-8. He just don't want to fight him. Let me see. Uh, you can't slam Charles Baker uh, because his mustache uh, doubles as a parachute. Uh, you been cooking, show biz. No cap. You bring a positivity to boxing. Uh, we need it, man. Love you, boy. Thank you, brother. I had a protein box from Starbucks, and it, it, it didn't do enough for my hunger. I'm starving right now. Let me see. A member for nine months. Thank you so much, my brother. Has the match finished? Uh, no, it's not for another four hours. We're just on early. Has it started? We're just on, on early, bro. They don't want that smoke biz. Uh, uh, I'll, right, I'll fight Canelo for $5. Yeah, there your chick was like, I, uh, Benavidez will spank him. Well, I didn't think so. So I, I thought Canelo would beat him. But just like what Riddick Bowe did to Lennox Lewis, I thought Riddick Bowe would beat Lennox Lewis. But when Riddick Bowe ducked him, I said, well, I guess Lennox would have beaten you then. I mean, if you obviously think so. Right? So Canelo was convincing me that Benavidez would win. I thought Canelo would beat him. Got a great text. Hold on, y'all. I got to see this. No, that's funny. That is funny. That is funny. I'm looking at my kids in the damn club. What the hell is going on? Why am I? How did my kid? How, how did my kids get in the club?
Somebody getting a whooping, dog. Somebody getting a whooping. Somebody getting a whooping, dog. When was the, yesterday that somebody getting a, somebody getting a whooping, dog? Some somebody getting somebody getting a whooping, dog. Somebody getting whooping. I heard that that may happen, but to see it, somebody getting a whooping, dog. <laughs> somebody somebody get an old somebody get an old school dog. <laughs> Kids sitting in the club. <laughs> oh, Ben said a shout out to my wife Daisy Sanchez. Love you, girl. AKA Baby Ducky. Quack quack. Love you, girl. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna tell you, he loves you for sure. This in front of three thousand people. Say shout out my wife, Baby Ducky. Uh, shout out Tate. Uh, Rich. Uh, he the molding model uh, for Sparty. Uh, did you think Joshua can survive a flush shot from Nagano? No. I don't think heavyweights can can take flush shots from each other. No. I don't think Nagano could take a flush one from AJ either. Um, no. No, neither one. Neither one. That's that's why you need defense, head movement. You got a box. You got a box. Not a whooping. Yeah, some somebody, somebody in trouble. Uh, best boxing commentary, YouTube facts. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. So what else, what else y'all got? You know, um, when Ryan Garcia said that he had a picture of an alien, I thought B-Hop. I, I thought it was going to be a practical joke, I swear. I said, okay, you're going to show a picture of B-Hop. He said, I got a picture of an alien. I'm like, right, okay, show a little picture of B-Hop. Because le let me tell you, when they had that video of him, um, uh, that, that strange video, <laughs> and they were playing tiptoe through the window. I was terrified. I was scared of shit. I got scared, man. That, that hurt my feelings. That hurt my feelings. I got scared as hell. Did y'all did y'all see that on Instagram? Oh, the window, the... I was scared as hell. Because y'all know that was the scariest moment in movie history for me. When I was at the movie, so I saw that. I, I got chills that went through my body, bro. That stuff was terrifying. Uh, AJ has a questionable chin. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he hasn't been knocked out every fight, right? Meaning that you have to hit him. Meaning that you have to box him and get to him. He's been punched on the chin before, so you know he. he you think he been? You think he's been knocked out every fight? You have to be more than just a puncher's chance. You got to be more than just throw a punch, right? If that's the case, AJ wouldn't be a great fighter, like he is. But we'll see. We'll see. You think he just get touched by Nagano and he gets knocked out? Put put a bag on it on my bookie. First round knockout. Put a thousand dollars on it. Let me see. Um, they said Canelo was going to fight Errol, but Errol said I can't. And yet, uh, that Ryan vid was scary, bro. They said Canelo was going to fight Errol, but Spence said I can't. I don't remember that at all. Uh. They add I don't it, I don't know when you're talking about, so you gotta you gotta really clarify that. Um, they added Arrow as before the Terrence Crawford fight, he was one of the uh th fights in a three fight deal, and he's a welterweight. Keep that in mind. So, um, but he got his ass whipped by Terrence Crawford, but he signed. But Canelo signed, so they they you couldn't sell Arrow versus Canelo at that point. But he didn't want to fight Terrence. When it came to Terrence, all oh, Terrence will welterweight. But you will fight Errol. Canelo was saying, I can't. That's Canelo. Uh, let me see. Um, A new member, baby, baby. Oh, uh, let me see. Biz, uh, Trey done told you about singing. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I can't. Oh, that's funny. I get it. Uh, let me see. Uh, super sticker. I get it. I thought you meant. Okay, hit the Tyson bell. Oh God, I get what you're saying. That is hysterical. Uh, can I get the link for live show? You on the live show now? I don't get you mean. Oh, you talking about, dude? You gotta uh pay for a pay per view. Well, you there's the undercard is for free. So go to the zone. Go to the zone. I am getting a little hungry, but I'm just trying to drink. I'm just trying to drink water. Trying to trying to you know get my abs for the summer. Y'all don't remember showbiz with abs. I don't think y'all ever saw 
a shredded show biz, right? I need a, a shredded show biz. Look at how good Tyson Fury looks. Pause. Tyson Fury, I mean, not his, I mean, his suit, boy, he got him and Floyd Mayweather, horrible dressers, horrible. But look at, look at Tyson Fury. Man, I may, man, I may have, man, Tyson Fury look ready, bro. Lupe, what's going on, boy? That brother paid a super chat. That brother played, paid a brother to shout me out on Fight Hype. You thought I forgot. And you shouted us out uh, when Ryan Garcia came out for the Duarte. Do you know how real, you, that's some Chicago shit. Do you know how real you are for that? Brother, no one does that. Everybody watches this community and everything and refuses to act like they do. Just disingenuous. And you were like, showbiz, what up? No, you did not have to do. They interview you. You know that, man? Shout out to showbiz, bro. Loop, that's some Chicago shit, right? We don't, we don't act like shit ain't going on when it is. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, put this uh, hot saw buck uh, on the fight night. Uh, zoom, zooms, and wham, whams, brother. <laughs> brother, that brother said, put that, that young saw bezel on there. Hold on, brother. I got to play this for you, brother. Since you, you said the song was straight. I'm about to play it for you. Boys, I'm with my boys. Even the unheard makes noise. So I tell them, we from the future. The past doesn't suit ya. The people can't mute ya. So tell them, we from the future. So I tell them, we from the future. Things ain't the same anymore. We don't like how it was before. You can look, but you can't see. You can hear, but you just can't speak. I'm from a time where a mindset is wrapped around a totally different concept. The pain and the suffering's yours. So the love and the gain is yours. Give me more, you break down doors. Where I'm from, there's no doors, just a platform. Expression is the law. And satisfaction, that's enough. Shout out to Lou Pay Fiasco. And I'm going to tell you this, brother. I would never try to share a track with you, brother. You ain't going to mess around and embarrass me the way you did Jay-Z and shit. You go ahead and take your rapping ass on. <laughs> you go ahead and you take your selfish rapper just shitting on goats and all that. <laughs> you go ahead <laughs> and take your barn up ass. <laughs> uh, how did the Saints uh, win a Super Bowl? Start from scratch. I'm talking about <laughs> gut everything out, brother. Start from scratch and have Taysom Hill in the game as much as possible. Let me see. A new member, baby. Bye, bye. Uh, you and the, uh, and the Haney still cool? Yeah, Bill Haney was just trolling me this morning. He was just trolling me this morning. Bill Haney's, the Haney's, I love the Haney's, man. Love you, boy. Like, I, I think, listen, I think Devin can be the, man, that guy. That guy is something else. Devin Haney is, because not only can he really fight, he take risk. Fight Lomachenko weight drained, right? Fight Regis Pro Gray. The guy, just like Teofimo Lopez, right? Um, but the thing is, his skill level is off the charts. Now he's fighting Ryan Garcia. Devin, you're going to have to crack him. You're going to have to crack him, bro. Really. You're going to have to beat his ass because this guy is so determined and so focused. And his grandma passed. Away. Love you, girl. Devin Haney, man. Let me see. Uh, shout out, uh, Biz. Uh, your uh, cheese videos are hilarious. Uh huh. Uh, I got Devin, though. If uh, they fight a uh, ninth round KO, uh, I'm not reaching. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I, I think it's it's highly likely that Devin, because I think Devin Devin would have knocked out Pro Gray. You would knocked him out, but Bill said, "Take it easy." Bill didn't like why go for the knockout when we don't have to give him an opportunity. But really, he could knock his ass out. Could knock Pro Gray out, right? So think about if Ryan goes after him. Uh, Charles Baker mustache so big his lip needs crutches. <sighs> That was, that was very funny. That that deserves 
that deserves this shit, dog. That that was that was that was very funny. Hold on, brother. Hold on. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with Sada Tay and Charles and Charles Baker at that moment. But but Sada Tay is is a goat of of roasting. Like he he's dangerous, bro. I would never want to be around Sada Tay. I know at the barber shop where well, he got no hair to cut, but wherever he goes, I know that he brother. You don't want to be around Sada Tay, right? Unless you need like a mirror or something, you know, you want to look at that shiny ass bald head and you, just to make sure there's no booger in your nose or something. <laughs> no, I'm, you know what? Don't roast me, bro. You already did what you had to do with me. All right. That was my last joke. I ain't got that kind of time messing with Sada Tay. I ain't got that kind of time. Don't go and ma- embarrassing me, bro. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, Showbiz, did you check the moist video out? LOL. Just wonder. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, brother. Like I said, I've been super crazy busy let me see lupe fiasco uh moral song Shh. is one of the greatest rap songs i i ever heard in my life let me tell you something man he got a few songs like that that's like is this the best rap song i've ever heard in my damn life the whole song about the whole voice box and shit that that listen bro listen bro this guy he has sleep like food and liquor too he got some sleeper albums Hold on. Okay, I was about to say, didn't I get? I, it looked like I got a super chat. I'm gonna start calling some fights in a minute, though. To be honest, uh, any thoughts on war comments to Nello? I didn't watch it. I saw it, but I didn't get a chance to 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 look at it. He said something about what did he say? Something about Nello ducking somebody or something? I I didn't I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it. So I I'm not going to speak on it. I heard something about it, but I forgot immediately. I, d- I didn't really take it. You know, because Andre Ward's retired. I didn't really, I didn't even find it relevant. You know, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't even. Let me see. Bill and Dev, uh, duo powerhouse uh, right now. I'm loving uh, personalities like Ryan, Tank, T.O., Shoo Shoo. Yeah. As a fan, uh, I uh, want all fighters uh, with personalities to head to the front of the uh, congregation. Uh, we need them. Yeah, you ain't lying, brother. You ain't lying. I like it all. And and I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. This, this, <laughs> these two last couple weeks were super lit for boxing. It was. It was. It wasn't, per, it wasn't exactly the most integrity two weeks, but it was on fire. It was on, it was off the hook. It was. Lupe versus J. Cole. Man, Lupe with J. Cole. Make, have that be a full album. We 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 wouldn't make it. We'd jump out the car while the car is still riding, right? Um, yeah. But Ryan Garcia going viral for you know his thoughts. Um, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Uh, Connor Ben versus Manny Pacquiao. I mean, just some shit, right? It, it it's been going down. It's really been going down. Uh, the whole Bill Haney and Adrian Broner, like it's going down. It's going down. It's it's a lot of antics and a lot of like crazy matchups, but it's going down. Uh, if Ryan walks out with Kanye, uh, that will break the internet. Yep, for I mean more than the meltdown did. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll break the internet. That'll break the internet. But but I'll tell you this: if he if he runs Chicago back, I'm like, yo, Chicago's a city. Uh, yo, Biz, I'm a Bud guy. Uh, he is my favorite boxer of all time. Damn, how old are you? Nineteen. And I want Crawford versus Canelo. Do you? But I would have rather see him uh, versus Boots than you, you Banks. Yeah, that that's that's pretty much the consensus right there. That's pretty much the consensus. Like I said, I was very curious, and I kept saying it. Okay, if y'all don't want him versus Boots, I'm very curious to see who he will fight. And then y'all gonna have to explain that. I'm just curious to see who he will fight because everybody sold up. So whoever he fights, if y'all argue for that over Boots, then I know what time it is, but if you argue against it, then y'all should have been with this community in the war room from the beginning because we're doing preventative measures to make sure we don't have bad matchups like that. Right? It's like if Canelo would have fought 
David Benavidez, there would have been people saying, I told you so, Biz. It's like, no, I told you so. What we got to do is show the business that the customers aren't going to fall for anything. And then when the business responds, it's like, I told you, the customers, the customer is king. Right? If you keep telling, if, if Coca-Cola start making chicken and waffles and it sucks and nobody buys that shit, nobody, people, stop making chicken and waffles. Go, because you making chicken and waffles is making your damn Coke. You're not putting enough focus on that and this shit's starting to taste nasty. Now everything's nasty. They will re respond. They, it may take time because they thought the chicken and waffles was that shit. But they they will respond when the, the money money makes the world go round. Don't forget the cool the cool album and that song. But that song, that song, bro. That song, I try I tried my best to make a song like that. Yeah, I try to bite. I try I try to act like you know. I try to tell a story of like a zombie s. You know, it, it just didn't work out. I couldn't I couldn't give the vivid. I found myself still in rhymes. Like, yeah, you know, forget about it. I can't do that shit. I can't do that shit. A reverse archaeologist or whatever he said, you know what I'm saying? You whatever, whatever uh dirt he couldn't spit, he swallowed it. And like the, the whole I ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> right? We say it's treasure with sunshine, and I, like I'm like, I can't do that. I ain't got that kind of time, bro. I'm not, you know, that's ridiculous. That's that's next level poetry right there. Uh, let me see. So what the F is going on with boxing right now? Ben versus uh, Pac, AB versus Haney, Camp. Oh, Camp, uh-huh. Ryan uh, having a mental breakdown on X, Tyson versus Paul, and Bud versus Eubank. Uh, it feels unreal. Yeah, it's off the hook, though, except for, uh, except for that. Because I'm going to tell you, man, Canelo... Nello, let me tell you what's going to happen. Let me tell you what's going to happen. All right. Nello versus Tommy McGee is going to be super fun and action packed. It's not the fight, it's not the matchup. It wasn't a proper matchup. But Canelo versus Tommy McGee is going to be super lit. All right. It's just going to be a fun fight. If you missed that fight, you, you missed the war. It's going to be fun. And what's going to happen is you're going to see Terrence Crawford at 160, and he's going to beat the shit out of Chris Eubank. And when that happened, the Crawford fanboys are going to go crazy and say he's the best middleweight of all time and shit like that, right? That's what's going to happen because he's going to put on a great fight. He always does. Crawford's going to knock him out. He's like, oh, now he's knocking out people at 160. Now he'll kill Canelo. Right? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Let me see. Who you who you going with tonight? Fights. Uh, place a bet on my bookie. Uh, I'm I uh AJ to knock out Naganu, uh Joseph Parker, uh to knock out uh uh Big Bang Zang. Uh, when you get your show, I'm gonna be uh your field reporter. Oh, just roasting the hell out of you. Know what? That would be dope. I don't know if you were joking, but that would be the type of roast that you be laying out. That would be dope. If I'm like, oh, okay, hey, hey, we got Sadate on the field. Sadate, uh, uh, what's going? What do you see out there? Well, I see a guy with uh, uh, uh two left feet and two right hands, and uh, I see another guy. <laughs> just, just be roasting people, bro. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, it's over. Uh, Drake put money on the gondola. Yeah, I, I spoke about that. Uh, let me see. I found the ring uh bell that was uh you Saddam uh Muhammad Ali uh versus uh Sonny Liston 19. What in a small town? I'm jealous. Uh showbiz, you don't like to steal lyrics, so I guess you don't uh want to be uh the next great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was that was a thing. But you know, hip hop started with lyrics being stolen. All the ladies, all the ladies in the house say, ow. Everybody was saying that. That's why we know it so well. I say, hip hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip, hip hop, you don't stop, a rocket to the bang, bang boogie. He didn't make that shit up. 
He didn't make, I mean, that whole verse was from the Cold Crush brothers, right? It, no, 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 no. Actually, my man, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello. Not Wonder Mike, the next dude, the chubby dude. Just do it, do it, do it. That dude, was, was that the guy? Yeah, he's still all Cold Crush shit. You know, hip-hop started with biting. Everything was a bite. But I do want to say, I do want to say, Hip hop was at its very best in the 80s, though. <laughs> hip hop was at Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah, I hip hop was at its very best in the 80s. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you how old I am. I'm going to tell you how I remember when hip hop first became commercial. Run DMC. Uh huh. I remember when I remember when Walk This Way came out. I remember when it dropped and I hated it. Everybody hated it in the hood. Everybody hated it. We like, you know, my Adidas and Peter Piper pickup. Like, we like that. But I remember, let me tell you, I, Cap, let me tell you. I remember when rap music was being done by, like, actors and commercials and shit. Yo. Sugar Hill Gang came out, right? I said hip, hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip, hip, and everybody thought they can rap. Why do you think, uh, what's the name of that song? Flash is bad, flash is good, uh, 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 to the sure shock, don't stop, and the, uh, uh, the body rap. She was trying to rap. She was talking about Grandmaster Flash, I think. But, Everybody thought they could ra immediately. You had, you had roadblock from GI Joe. Hey Joe, well, what you want to go? Like everybody was rapping, bro. And then it came back, and then we start seeing real rappers like Run DMC, the Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, Crush Groove came out, uh, Disco Three, the Fat Boys. It came back. It came back. But there was a minute where, damn, Sugar Hill Gang, gang came out and everybody was rapping. <laughs> I remember that. WWE wrestlers, everybody was rapping because they thought all you had to do was just talk. I'll never forget it, bro. I'll never forget. It was like 83. <laughs> and, I, and I thought I didn't know any better. I didn't know any better. I'm 24, and I wanted to see Boots versus Bud as the fight before a Canelo fight with Bud. Uh-huh. But I also don't think Eubanks has a chance versus Bud. I don't think – I don't know how Eubanks got the fight. And that's why I said boxing is going the wrong direction. The people who deserve the fight don't get the fights. The people who don't deserve it get the fights. And everybody thinks that's how it should go when boxing was never like that. People actually think that's natural. People think that's boxing. That the people who deserve the fight, all the matchups that's supposed to happen are the ones that happen at the end of your career. No, you're supposed to always just have those fights. Every matchup supposed to be the ones who deserve it. Now the way the business is, the number one contender who deserve it are the ones you push out. And you got people who argue for it. Yeah, the money, you know what I'm saying? You got to fight uh, low risk, you know, high reward. What did Boots do? Well, what have Eubanks done? Well, he needs a tune-up. If that was the case, Sugar Shane Mosley would never fall Winky Wright. That was no reward, high risk, but he had to do it. Uh, do you think these recent events are a good thing for boxing or bad thing? Good, because I'm genuinely confused. Also, you watching UFC tomorrow? I may not be, but it, it's a good thing. I may be watching it, but not calling it. It's a good thing. As long as you put some real fighters on the card. Oh, good left hand. Holy shit. Dolorana. Oh, good combination. Oh, hey, hey hold on, y'all. My man hung in there. This is a good fight. Ripping uppercut through the Cleveland. This is a good fight. Um, Where were we? Oh, yeah. As long as you put some real boxing on there, on the undercard. If you have Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson and some real fights, like a real, some real guy. Let's say they, let's say they, they did it right. Let's say. You have Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul and Devin Haney versus Tank on the undercard. Get what I'm saying? 
That's how you do it. You get you you get a great matchup on the undercard. I'm I'm just saying. What if they did something like that? You want to blow boxing up? What if they did something like that? Have a great matchup, people. Oh God, good combination. Hey, Lorena, letting this guy have it, honey. What's his name? Who need? Who not? Was he the favorite? Cause he get his ass whipped. I'm happy I did for God. Good combination. He. Oh, oh God. He's hurt. This dude. Yeah, Lorena. He 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 blew his load. Pause. He blew his load. He blew his load. But he's throwing some hard shots. Yep. Good right hand. Dog. Hunai. That guy got a chin. Lorena. Oh yeah, I know Lorena. He's the one who who uh who took a dive against Dubois. He took that dive. He had Dubois hurt and he decided to stop punching and we caught we saw the dive. He about to do it again. He about to do it again. Cuz Lorena got a uh, hunt who he hurt. My bad y'all. 38 seconds left in the second round. Is that him? Because I remember the tattoos. Good right hand. He about to do it again. He about to blow it again. He about to blow it again. A loser by design. He about to do it again. Good body shot. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. They slugging. 13 seconds in the second round. Good uppercut from Huni. Hunai. What's his name? i never seen him before. Good combination from Lorena. He about to do it again. Is that him? Let me look it up. He looks just like the guy who Dubois got that gift against. And I'm going to continue to call it a gift because I called it in real time. I knew what was up. Let me see. That's him. Before the Usyk fight. That's him. That's his ass. Damn loser. That's him. He's going to mess around and do it again. He's going to mess around and do it again. Where do you rank Lil Wayne? He, he could be anywhere. He can be anywhere in the top, from the top 20 to the top 10. Uh, to me, I don't have him in the top 10. Got him in the top 20, though. That guy's great. Rapper's Delight. Uh, man, did you see uh, uh, Tyson uh, face off with Jake, with Paul? Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I put it in my video. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Eric B. and Rakim. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about Eric B. and Rakim in a minute. I'm gonna tell you something about. I'm, I'm gonna tell, we'll get back to it. Grandmaster Cass uh, wrote the Sugar Hill. It was it, that's him. That's him from 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 Cold Crush. That Grandmaster Cash. That Cass is from Cold Crush. That's the main guy. Used to have that curl and shit. Uh, Bibble is my favorite boxer. If he beats Better BF, uh, what is next for him? Uh, hopefully the winner between uh, David Benavidez and uh, Volstic. Oh, uh, let me see. She called out Fab Five Freddy in the song Blondie and. She did. She did use her uh, hook in one of uh, his songs too. Sure did. She called. She actually did more for hip hop. Actually, yo, home girl, that sign Sugar Hill Gang was a great singer. She sung "Pillow Pillow Talk," one of the sexiest songs in R and B history. But yeah, women, women was in the forefront. Uh, John Cena got a platinum album, uh, not song album. John Cena got. Well, I mean, you know, that's how you do it. You use your little celebrity or whatnot. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Y'all were y'all were a uh, fantasy matchup: Keyshawn Davis versus Raymond Ford. Keyshawn may be too thug. He it's just too big and too thuggy. Uh, it's not. Uh, and what a uh, fighter does? Uh, Bub remind you of? He reminds me of Floyd. He kind of reminds me of. This going to be terrible to say, but he kind of reminds me of Sugar Ray Robinson. They don't remind me of Floyd at all. Oh, let me see. Top five Marvin Gaye tracks. Good body shot. See, he about, he about to blow it again. Lorraine about to blow it again. Pause. Good good lead right hand from who? But I'm, I'm going to tell you, 
Hooney is, is a very durable cat. Lorraine about to blow it again. Pause. Matter of fact, no pause. That's exactly what I mean. You about to blow it again, bro. Top five Marvin Gaye tracks. Um, top five, my top five favorites or his top five best. Those are two things. I'm gonna say my favorites. I'm gonna say my favorites. Um, I like um, boy, that that's almost impossible. My mom was probably like, get that shit. That that's almost impossible. But I do like, hey baby. What you know good? I'm just getting back, but you knew I would. Hey, Trey! War is hell. When will it end? When will people start getting together again? That's my shit. Uh, that, um, come get to this. I really like that. Dang, I like Jan, too. Oh God, you, you Jan! Oh my God, I seen that to Ms. Biz all the time. But I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna save y'all the exfoliant. Um, shit, distant lover, man, brother, that I named three already. That's 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 tough. That's tough. Ah, don't talk about my father. Oh, because God is my friend. Jesus is my friend. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mercy, mercy, me, trouble, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. Because sexual healing is good. I know that's one of the later ones, but that's good. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. I'm not going to do that shit. Forget you. And you can kiss my ass for the rest of your life. Uh, let me see. What else we got? Yo, don't don't irritate me ever. Ever. Don't do that ever again. <laughs> uh, let me see. <laughs> let me see, bro. Because y'all y'all playing games. Uh, if I should die tonight, uh, my favorite song ever. Man. Uh, let me see. Uh, don't... Don't know if anybody said it yet, but how about Bud versus Jamal Charlo? I don't feel like seeing Bud any. I don't feel like seeing Bud versus a guy who's been out the ring and all that. For what, man? For what? Let's get some active fighters who deserve the fight. Uh, Sylvia Robinson. That's right. Started shooting pillow talk. Uh, records. Her husband Bobby Robinson. Bobby Robinson. I don't know him. Started uh enjoy records before that. Okay, Black would know that. Uh, Black Five Entertainment would know that. Uh, somebody said something about Rakim. Let me tell you something. The 80s was the best. It was the best because, number one, people weren't biting off each other. They ain't bite off each other in the 90s either. I, if you say the 90s the best, I got you. But the 80s the best to me because that was the peak of, because hip-hop started with the DJs. Good left hook to the body, Lorena. That was the peak of when the rap artist and the DJ was at his peak. You st AJ, I mean, uh, AJ, LL Cool J was talking about Cut Creator. You had Public Enemy talking about Terminator X. You had uh, DJ that Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Don't forget, he was first. Um, um, Run DMC talking about Jam Master J. They were still Eric B and Rock Kim. You know, my my DJ for president, like they were the, the scratcher and the cut. The DJ was still the main thing. And, and the rapper was at his, that's why the eighties was at his best, bro. It was his best. When you take away the cutting and the scratching, bro, it's like, damn, it's still nice, but you took it away. Right. Remember Terminator X public enemy, right? Remember that tray flash. Uh, 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 uh. That's that was cold. Terminator X hit it. Go, go. I mean, and you still had the hype man, flavor, flavor. Like hip hop was like, you can't get better than that. Then you had the 808 beats. 
I mean, you just can't get better than that, bro. You just can't get better than that. And it was still about having fun, too. But what I was going to say about Rakim is Rakim, LL Cool J was like, he was like a mutant run from Run DMC. He was run, but he was wearing red instead. And he was like, he was a mutant swole vert. And he changed the game because they had a first love song. But Rock Kim, he was still screaming though. You know, no rapper can rap quite like I can. I, he was still screaming. Rock Kim was about flow and lyrics. And his voice was just, you know, you know, E F F E C T, a smooth operator operating correctly. It's like, okay, now he ruined everybody. Like Rock Kim, Big Daddy came too. But Rock Kim came and just, you know, because Ron and them, you know, who's high? That was sick. And you even had Beastie Boys were screaming and shit. But that, the fiend of a microphone. I'm a microphone fiend after 12. It's like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, it's over with. <laughs> Rock Kim changed the game. It was over with. Uh, so, hey, yo, what's up, brother? Showbiz. I've been grinding like a mofo. Yeah, I'm sure. But I had to stop by and say, love you, boy. And uh, let's go, Nagano. You're going to forget confidence. Uh, is going to be huge for AJ. Yep, always is to win a fight. But I'm going, Francis. Love you, dude. Hey, brother, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother, before you go. You got you got to remember. You got to remember what we used to do for you, brother. Yeah. Let me see. I just had I just had to go through that that little hip hop history right there. Cuz that was the shit. Can't show us the fight uh, only if I want my my channel uh blocked. Uh let me see. Chaos and uh Solana trending meme uh for the fight. Let's F and go. Really? Barry White. What's the main event? What a oh, wins in in about four hours. In about three four hours. Dar Lorena got him against the ropes again. Good combination. Lorena Lorena maybe when I need a I need a inner city blues. What's going on? See, what I'm saying. Uh, got to uh give her a yeah, huh? Uh, I want you. See, I want you. To want me. I, see, that's what I'm saying. And I want you to see that. I'm not doing this. And Trouble Man. Okay. Oh, you, you put that out there. But that's bullshit too. Right? Because they're all good. They're all good. Hold on real quick. Y'all hear it? Come live with me, angel. Come live with me. Dun, dun, dog. I want to be your lover. I want to no, stop. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, don't do that. Don't. I would not call boxing for the rest of the night. I just grab some wine and bump some Marvin Gaye. Y'all keep messing around with me. Y'all won't see me. Keep playing. Keep playing. I'll be playing. Come live with me with some wine and a cigar in my drawers waiting for Miss Biz to come home. Y'all keep messing around with some roses in the tub. Y'all keep messing around and candles and shit. Stop. Marvin Gaye is the GOAT. You had all these people talking about R. Kelly versus Michael Jackson. He ain't close. He ain't getting past Marvin Gaye. Stevie Wonder, shut your asses up. Biz, my G, uh, you doing UFC tomorrow too? Damn, I think I'm going to have to. Y'all keep, man. Keep asking me to do that. I think we'll have to. Hold on. I think my daughter's calling me. Hold on. Kurt. Hello? Hey. Hey. 
you and and Kalel still in Milwaukee? Yeah, I think it's like the Milwaukee area right now. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right like, bye. Okay. What are they doing all the way over there? Oh, uh, let me see. What are they doing all the way over there? Here we go. I want to be your lover. Why are they all the way across? All right, here we go. Must have left a whole state. Uh, Curtis uh, Mayfield uh, needs more love. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Nagano got uh, to test AJ confidence early. He can't sit back and box with AJ until uh, he is warm and uh, sweating. By then, uh huh, it might be too late for Nagano. Yeah, I know. I know he can't let AJ get in the rhythm. He can't let AJ get in the rhythm. Al Green, uh huh, hit the Tyson Bell. Al Green. Hold on, hold on, real quick. I got to see what the hell. No mugs, you know, just, just way, way too grown for me. Let me see. Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, hip hop male and female song. What's your favorite hip hop male and female song? Mine is all oh by Mary. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Come Close by Common is my favorite rap song ever. So that that has Mary J. Blige. That's my that's my favorite. That's my favorite hip hop song. Ron Osley, uh, Love of You. Oh my god, go Tyson. Uh, Love You Boy. Brother, yeah, brother. For the love of you. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Hold on. Let me tell you, let me tell you a good, a good, a good song. Let me tell you a good song. Hold on. Let me let me tell you a real a real a real good song. I just gotta I just gotta find it to remind myself how it go. Oh, okay. I got it. I got a text, and okay, I got it. I got it. Never mind. I was I was half concerned. I got it. <laughs> uh, my ex wife just hit me up. Okay, I'm a little less concerned now. All right, here we go. I was wondering what the hell. What the hell, bro? Let me let me let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you the, the 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 best say method man. Hey, let me tell you something. Spending my day. Mm. Thinking about you, girl. The Al Green. Al Green. Being here with you. Being near with you. I can't explain myself. Oh, why? I... Hey, you listen, listen. You, if you try to cue, and that song is on, try to cue. Have you an old fashioned or Long Island? Have your woman make you a Long Island, and you you got the ribs on the cue, and you hear spending my day on a beautiful. You that shit gonna burn. That fool gonna think about you, girl. Everybody on your deck is gonna be like being here with you. Hey, listen, go to a black barbecue. <laughs> Let that song come on. Nobody is eating shit. That food is gonna be on that fork. Wow. That paper plate. Hey, listen, bro. Shit. Feel like I People gonna be like, hey, it's your play, player. Playing spades. What led, bruh? What led? <laughs> what led? 
when I look in your eyes. You everything stops. And then he smacks. Let me know <laughs> how you feel. Boy, me loving you and you loving me. I said me. Brother, you is it's Take your ass to a black barbecue. <laughs> LL Cool J and J Lo, uh, all I have. Oh, yeah. All I have. Yeah, that was a joint. That was a joint. That was a joint. That was a joint. Baby girl, I'm what you had. You know what I'm saying? LL Cool J, best physique in rapper's history. Now, Joseph Parker uh, is the Sean Porter of heavyweights, 100%. Uh, we got to get to this boxing, though, man. We done messed around long enough. We got to start calling the fights. <laughs> we done fooled around long enough. We got to start calling the fights, though. Yeah. Seems to me. Yeah, yeah. We, we we gotta start calling the fights, bro. Cause this is a very exciting fight. Everything that got messed up. Hold on, y'all. Okay, it can it got back. Run DMC King of Rock was the first album I ever bought. Those guys are a big reason I'm in the biz today. You're in the you're in the rap business, brother. Sign. Sign black business. Uh, I got uh Parker winning by decision. What you think? I got it by knockout. I, I bet on my bookie. I got him winning by knockout. I bet on my on my bookie. Hello, Biz. Uh, just showing some love and RP to the legend. Yeah, brother. Akira. Yes, Lord. Dog, this fight is a slugfest, and I'm missing it. I, I forget. I'm about to call the last couple seconds. There's blood everywhere and shit. Oh, that's it. Is that the end of the fight? There's blood leaking. Hold on, y'all. We got. Let's just call this fight real quick. Let's call this last round or whatever it is. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> you got four or three. Yeah, this this is. Hold on, dog. <laughs> we got to call this. We. This is really dick. Ridic Yeah. Uh, what's the name? Hunai. What is his name? <laughs> Shoot, Trey Haynes. Trey Haynes sitting right there. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. AJ, the landlord. Yeah, I think I think AJ. I think AJ gets busy tonight. It's time to call the fight, though, because this this here is is ridiculous. It, this the last round or what? Cause this Hano never got knocked down. Hunt, what's his name, dog? <laughs> Hunai. This the last round, huh? Two minutes fifty seconds. And this is the oh oh, it's eight out of ten. Oh, we got some more. Okay, good right from Hanai. Let's go shooting the jab, bouncing back and forth. Is his name Honey? Oh, good left from dog Lorena. Everything he lands, that dude is living Lorena loca. Oh, good hook to the head, to the uh, body head. Two left hooks from Hanai. Honey, Hyundai, Hano. What's what's the name? What's the name? Good combination from, good combination out to Southpaw for Lorena. Lorena putting that forehead to the chin of Honey. Honey, do how you say his name, bro? It's Honey. Let's go. Uh, we just got Lorena on the ropes. Dog, Honey is his name is Honey. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's Hooney. Okay, I can do Hooney. Okay, cause I couldn't call him brother Honey, bro. Uh, I just could like all right, good good combination from Hooney. Uppercut, right hand miss. Good body shots from Hooney. Dog, Lorena is the wrong guy. You want to unless you give him a bag. Good combination, Lorena. Lorena. <laughs> between between Hooney and Lorena, that, that's hard to good combination from Hooney. Split just splitting the guard. Oh, good right hand. Hooney, Hooney caught. Look, see, that's the thing about Lorena. He'll mess around, blow his low. Pause. He'll blow his low. Good right hand from Hooney. Good left. Lorena, they both, they, they got some chins like bricks, bruh. Oh, good uppercut off the ropes from Lorena. One minute, 10 seconds left in the in the eighth round. Yeah, seems to me. Face that. Oh, good hook to the body from Hooney. Good combination to the body from Hooney. 
Hooney's going to the body like a big dog because he's like, I know you. Good hook to the head, hook to the body. See, Hooney's smart. He's going to the body like, I know you ain't got much left. There's there's nothing left in the, ga in the gas tank, bro. 45 seconds left in the eighth. Damn it, Biz. <laughs> I know, Trey. Yeah, seems to me. But he said, oh, 40 seconds left in the eighth. Oh, good uppercut from Hooney. Oh, good right hand. Yeah, Lorena. Lorena, Lorena just, he just, yeah, he ain't got much. He got tree trunk legs, so he just can't. Oh, good right hand. Good hook to the body. Yeah, Hooney about to put him out. It's those body shots. Good straight right from Hooney. I, dog, Hooney is, is, he just nice with it. I can't get mad at Lorena. I thought Lorena, because of what he did with Dubois, I thought he'd lay it down tonight. But nah, that jab left. Oh, good hook from Lorena. Lorena said, not this time, dog. They got. They must be doing a lot of neck exercises. Pause. I'm. I don't like the way I'm commentating. It, it, it's very Pornhub. Oh, uh, let me see. Come get to this. Uh, come live with me. Uh, two of my faves. I'm saying, bro, come get to this. I've saw. I've saw. Come get to this. Just by stepping in the house, bro. I am Marvin Gaye many a day. I will put on my Marvin Gaye Scully and just. Bruh, I look just like that album. That that shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on the album shit. <laughs> Did I get your cash app? Uh no. Okay. I I didn't. I didn't. Let some Marvin Gaye come on. The whole house. <laughs> what time the main event? Western time, brother. Hooney, good, good uppercut from Hooney. Oh, good right to the bot. Oh, good left from Lorena. No, Hooney, keep throwing those straights to the body, bro. Keep throwing those straights to the body. Oh, straight upstairs. See, that's my problem with Lorena, boy. You know, he'll let his hands go. You know what I'm saying? He'll let his hands go and then, uh, you know, kind of blow his load a little bit. Good jab to the body out to South Park. Good jab upstairs. He's trying to box. He's trying to box. Let me let me get my win together, you know, because he can win the fight. From my understanding, he's winning, right? Or is it close? It may be close now. It may be tied up 4-4, to be honest. But I haven't been watching the whole fight. Because it doesn't look like Hooney was completely out of the fight ever. God, good straight right hand from Hooney. And I wonder if Lorena got any smoke left in his punches. He may want to put it all out there in the 10th. Somebody's getting dropped in the 10th. You see the crowd starting to fill up? What time is it? It's, it may start turning up. Ray Vargas is in a few fights, right? Dar Lorena messed around and he has no more, no more in the tank. Good job from Lorena. Oh, they both landed uh lefts on each other. Good uppercut from Lorena. When Lorena got popped, he pops you. One minute, 23 seconds in the ninth. Good job, Lorena. Good combination. Lorena, with that left, right hook, that was nice. See, see, look at look how Hooney is walking him down back into the, the ropes, though. Lorena has no problems going against the going leaning against the ropes because he's just gas. Those body shots, though, you know, you, either you're going to fold or come out swinging. Lorena came out swinging. Hooney does. He doesn't. It, it doesn't take much from the cut off the ring, though, because Lorena got no legs. Really. <gasps> right hand just missed from from Hooney. Dog. Oh, good left from Lorena. You know, these guys got some massive chins. Like, they're, I mean, they've getting, they've caught each other with some solid shots. These big dudes, you don't want to fight neither one of them. You don't want to fight neither. They will hurt you, bro. They will hurt you. You don't want to fight neither one of these guys. They could take a punch. They strong as oxes. You know, they got some athleticism. Lorena smiling in the crowd. Good combination from Lorena. 18 seconds in the ninth. I mean, these are some tough guys. They're bleeding everywhere and sweating and smiling in the crowd. And like these some these. Oh, good right hand from Hooney. Good combination. Yeah, that buckled the knees of Lorena. That one too. 
made Lorena hop. <laughs> that made Lorena hop. Bruh. Let's get it on. I know, man. Ah, babe. Let's get it on. Sugar. Let's get it on. Brother. Let's get it on. Ooh. We are sister the people. So much to get. Understand me, sugar. Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. I need to start calling people sugar. I need to go to the bar, bartender be like, hey, here's your drink. Right, thanks, sugar. Leslie, I love you. There's nothing wrong with me loving you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, two minutes, 50 seconds of the tip. Shit. That, he, wasn't, he wasn't just singing. Leslie, I love you. That's diff. That's, that's not singing. That's serenading. That's like, that's something else. I don't know what to call that. Good, good left. Oh, good right hand from Hooney. He knocked sweat off the back of his head about 10 feet. <laughs> Ah, good counter left. Oh, oh, good left hook from Hooney. Two minutes, 15 seconds and a 10. I love you. Hey, yo, y'all just, just don't get off Marvin. Let Marvin sit. Let him, let him sit like this here. Let Marvin just let, cause y'all gonna mess around and have me not call the fights, right? Just let Marvin sit. Let him sleep, bruh. Let him sleep. Don't do this while I'm trying to call the fight. Uh, one minute, 49 seconds and 10th. Good left hook from Lorena. Leslie. <laughs> I can't do this, man. When did you stop loving me? When did I stop loving you? Now, um, Marvin... Let him sit. Oh, he hurt. He hurt, honey. He hurt. He. Honey's hurt with a left hook. He hurt him with a left hook. We got to let Marvin sit. We got to let Marvin sit. Lorena got him hurt. Let your hands go, Lorena. Good combination. He hurt him bad. He's on Bambi legs. One minute, nine seconds. Ref, break it up. Let your hands go. You can do something great, Lorena. You can do something great. Bam. Got to let your hands go. Good jab. Bam. Uh huh, that was good left hook. Lorena, walk him down. His legs don't bam be Lorena. Oh, he let him go. He let him live. Lorena will let your ass live. That's that shit. Bam, good left from Lorena. Bam. He he let he let him live. Forty nine seconds. Let's live. I love you. I told you. Thirty eight seconds left. Oh, good left from Lorena. He will let your ass off the hook. Something's wrong. Good left. Let go, Lorena. Go, Lorena. 28 seconds. Why are you backing up, Lorena? I, I'm telling you, he's allergic to winning. He's allergic to doing something great. Let your hands go. 15 seconds, bruh. Stupid ass. 10 seconds. Now they clapping. Go. That man, Marvin Gaye, says something that can make you do wrong. Make you. No, let just let Marvin chill. He hit. He, he rocked him on accident. He rocked him on accident, bro. He he rocked him on accident. Let me see. Uh, giving uh, yourself uh, to me ne can't never be wrong. If the love is true. Oh, baby. Mm -mm. He was doing too much uh, for sex at that point. I I'm saying, bro. I'm saying that brother, that brother was sexy, sexy. 
That brother was on his sexy Rexy, dog. That brother there. <laughs> dog, Lorena. This guy let him off the hook. He did the same thing with Dubois. He let Dubois off the hook. He let Dubois off the hook. What round? That's the end of the fight. He let he let Hooney off the hook the way he let Dubois off the hook. He may have an issue. He may have a mental block. You got to be kidding me. I had Lorena by KO with one knockdown, and he let Hooney live. Yep. Yep, Allen. Yep, Allen. Yep, Allen. He has a mental block. Some people are like that. When success is at the front door, they can't walk through it. I know people like that personally. I know people like that personally. They will work against it. It's like they can't help themselves. They'll blow it. Hey, all you need to do is get up in the morning. I'm telling you, you'll get $100 million. They'll get up late. Both. 96, 94. Okay. 98, 92. Unanimous decision. WBO Global Heavyweight Champion. Or WA. Hooney. Yeah. Lorena let him off the hook. He can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. He had him hurt bad and he took a step back and he can't do it. Um, some people, um, listen, I don't want to sound bogus, but it's true. Some people are losers. Some people are losers. Chick, some people are losers. He, he, he's, a, he's a loser. I'm sorry to say that. I hate, but there are certain people, they, he had him rock and he took a step. He didn't let it all out to win by all means. He can learn from this. Who? Hooney? Because Lorena won't learn from shit. He did that with Dubois. He won't learn from for shit. That's what he is as a person. He just can't. You'll be like, hey, you got it this time? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. And then he'll blow it. Pause. Harsh. Okay. Well, I need to use a different word if it hurts your feelings. I need to use a different word. Uh, he's a can't doer. Whatever makes you feel good. But I'm telling you, there are people like that who, hey, man, I got a good job for you. All you need to do is show up to the interview and he'll blow it. Real talk. Yeah, there are people like he will blow it and then talk about how he's never gotten a chance. There are people who are like that. Lorena let him go. He let him live and then clapped at the end of the loss. He ain't got it. He can't get right. No killer instinct, no will to win. There are people who win no matter what. Right? Not just the song, I'm just saying. There are people who win, win, win no matter what. They find a way to win. And then there are people who find a way to lose. That's Lorena. There's just different type of people on different ends of the spectrum. And then there's average people. Most of the world is average people. Most of the world see students. But there's people who, man, they win no matter what. They can't lose. They will refuse. Even when they lose, they win. And then there's people who, yo, all they need to do is take a, wake up in the morning, take a step, put a half an effort. They won't. They can't. Something happens. They fumble. It. They fumble the bag. They fumble it. It's called self-sabotage. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Bad decision, bad decision my ass, man. This guy, some people will never be a bride. Never. Just a bridesmaid. 
What do you think about October London? I listen to him all the time. It's like having new songs from Marvin Gaye. That guy's my dude. And I liked him immediately. Hey, man, that's a fake-ass Marvin Gaye or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Dogg was like, let's go, October London. Let's get, let's get to the back. Back to the drawing board, yeah. Yeah, back to the drawing board. Can anyone still hear him? Oh, oh, his mother passed away yesterday. Yeah, that's right. I heard about that. He fought today, and his mother passed away yesterday. That's huge. To get in the ring after your mother passed away. But I'm telling you, man, finish the fight. You could have finished him. You could have finished him. You could have done something great. Sorry for the loss for, of his mother, though. But he fought. That, that shows something. But finish the fight. Oh, uh, let me see. Damn, yeah, that hurts. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, where can I watch the fight for free? You know what you can do? You can... You can go this way and then turn up. <laughs> Man, stop stealing fights, bro. Stop stealing fights. Nice. Some of y'all complaining uh, about losers are outing yourselves. Uh, well, they, they don't like the word. They, you know, this is Gen Z. So they they don't like the word. That's fine, cause I'm saying he ain't he ain't, he ain't a bum. He ain't a bum. You know he a fighter. But there are people who are. We, I'm not going to use losers. It hurts people' feelings. Can't doers. Underachievers. How about that? Anything? I don't know what what whatever word would make you feel. I mean, I'm from the old school. We more, we're less sensitive. So underachievers. What, what word y'all want me to lose? Which which one hurt your feelings less? All right. But what I'm saying is there are people who are like that. There are people where something always gets in the way and they got a ton of excuses. And then there are people who went through the same thing as they did, same circumstances, but won. It's a state of mind, bro. It's like a mental block. It's like a mental block, bro. I don't want to hurt y'all feelings, so give me one. Give me a different one. Give me a different word. Dude, they 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 got they got Naganu looking so vicious in that in that poster. He looks so vicious in that poster, bro. Let me see. I hate hearing the excuses. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, there's just people like that. There are just people like that, man. I'm telling you, I, I don't want to out out anybody, but I know people like that personally. And you always gotta you always gotta help them with their excuse. Like, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, they they did expect a lot. Right? Yo, I, I mentioned this before. Um, what's my man name? Royster59. He said, um, strong friends. He made a song called Strong Friends. There, there are the strong friend that nobody even asks if they're okay, because they always expect them to always be okay. Right? You know, the, you, hey, if you don't know that strong friend, then you're the strong friend. There are, there's the strong friend that honestly always give you advice and help you out. But no one helps them out. Because you're like, man, they'll be okay. They go through trials and tribulations too. It's just not as big for them. They're the strong friend. They know how to handle everything. Internally, mentally, they're strong. Nobody looks out for the strong friend. And then there's the one friend who always got issues. You always got to help them out. Bro, that's me. Yeah, Maria, you're the strong friend, right? And the thing is, you don't ask for help because if you did, you don't even like the feeling of asking for help. You just, that's just what you are by nature. 
Same over here. Uh huh. Yep. And then there's the person who you always got to bail out of jail or ran out of gas on the street or always oh, just need some shit. Hey, man, you know, you know, I'm kind of down. I need 20. I'm not saying, you know, being in a bad spot. Everybody gets in a bad spot, but I'm talking about consistently, routinely in a bad spot. Those people that I mean, you just know when you get a phone call from them, what do they need? They're going to need something. Every time you get a call from oh shit, it's going to cost you. Just answering the phone going to cost you 40 bucks. You got those. You got those. Yeah, bad choice makers. Yep. And that's what I meant when I was hurting y'all feelings about Lorena. That's what I meant. He had him hurt and he took a step back. And that guy was severe. All he needed to do is let his hands go some and they would have waved it off. But he, he let his hand and then he did. He just stopped. It was the last 30 seconds. He needed that. He was losing the fight. Step back. What were you trying to save yourself from? You were losing. Put it all out there. Bro. Facts. Uh-huh. Speak, Bill. Speak. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying, but there, there's a good sample size of people in here. There are 3,100 people in here. Some of y'all is the weak friend. So I don't want to hurt your feelings. But, yeah. Hopefully this conversation makes you a strong friend. Oh, uh, let me see. Biz, who do you have in the Parker Zang? Hey, I put the money on uh, my bookie for uh, Parker to knock Zang out. Came in 300 pounds. Zang doesn't go 12 rounds well. Joseph Parker survived um, not getting hit by Wilder, so he knows how to move very well. We see, you know, he, he fought the best of the best. We saw him get knocked out by Joe Joyce, though. But he fought, he fought AJ. He fought the best of the best. He, he trains with Tyson Fury all the time. That's that's his training part. That's who he spars with all the time. So Zang, Tyson Fury, who's better? You know what I mean? Like you look at that height and everything. That's who he deals with on the daily. So you gotta add, you gotta add that. He he's not gonna look at Zang and see somebody he's not used to dealing with. He he looks up at Fury all the time and and spars with him every every sparring session. I think he's gonna survive Zang onslaught and then knock him out. I mean, Zang gonna be tired. Uh, ESPN breaking news: LeBron James has diagnosed uh, with Sada Tate. Has been diagnosed with Sada Tate. Don't, stop, Charles Baker. Stop, stop it. Zang been on the roll. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wilder washed though. Uh, Biz Zang his hard as f. Can Parker uh, fight a perfect fight? He did against Wilder. Um, you didn't. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. G five, G five, Wiz, Wiz. I didn't just say Park Wilder. I said Wilder along with training with Tyson Fury. You know, I'm just adding a bunch of things. The reason why I got Parker over Zane not because of one thing. It's a bunch of things. But then two, the reason why you feel that Wilder's wash is because of Joseph Parker. So you're proving my point. You think Wilder's wash not because he. He knocked out uh, uh, the Viking uh, in 20 seconds. You didn't think he was washed then. You think he's washed because of the performance he had with Joseph Parker. That's why you think he's washed. Right? You think he just got washed overnight? Joseph Parker's better than him. He ain't fought nothing like Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker's better. That was his second best fight fighter he ever fought was Joseph Parker. He lost to the two best fighters of his resume. And here's another thing. Mr. Uh, Wilder was washed. Nobody survived a Wilder fight without getting knocked down. How did Joseph Parker do it? Wilder's just washed? All right, then let's give Joseph Parker no credit for Wilder then. How about training with Tyson Fury every day? I'm just saying him looking at Zang isn't going to be different. Zang can win. Definitely knock him out. But looking at him ain't going to be something he never dealt with. He deals with Tyson Fury every day. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Facts. Uh-huh. That's all I'm saying.
Now, Zane can win, of course. He's 300 pounds, for Christ's sake. But I'm not crazy for saying Joseph Parker, that's all. Uh, let me see. Uh, losers uh, is the correct word. Uh, the people in here who always ask to see the fights for free are those same losers. Uh huh. Uh, we're talking about, yep, y'all ruined the world uh, for everyone. Y'all ruined the world. <laughs> He's sick of it. Kane is sick of it, dog. <laughs> Good points. Beautifully said. I'm saying. I'm saying. Anybody can win a fight, of course, especially a 300 pound Zang. He's a great fighter. I'm just saying. When the last time you seen Zane go 12? And how did he look the last time he went 12? So if Joseph Parker survived the first five rounds, uh-oh. That's all I'm saying. Especially at 300 pounds. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let me see. Uh, AB versus Barbosa, uh, co main for Ryan versus Dev now. Really, Biz, the channel's so good, uh, make you want to slap your mother. Uh, hit the Tyson bell, brother. Are you lying? <laughs> AB versus Barbosa, the co main. You got to be kidding me. Hold on, let me let me let me check to see. Are you are you kidding? Or uh oh, we got we got a cash app. We got a cash app. Nothing wrong with me. I did get. How did I get George? Oh, man. Stop singing. That's Trey. That is the funniest shit. Trey Cash at me $100 to tell me to stop singing. Hold on, everybody. Some great. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie cheat, trick or tie cheat. Betray day, I'll be mad. Easy day, day. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Was not funny, bro. This man cash at me a hundred bucks to tell me to stop singing. That is the funniest. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, 20 bucks from Colby. Thank you so much. Hit the that is hysterical. That is hysterical, bro. That's. Oh, my. I was having a good time singing to it. Here he like, shut your fucking ass. He's an angry man, bro. Shut your ass. <laughs> that was dope, too, because I um my daughter just asked me for a hundred bucks. Um, and that's why, and I sent it to her, and then you gave me the hundred back. Thank you so much, Trey. That was cold. That was cold. Let me see. Preach Biz. Uh-huh. Biz, how will you rank Manny on the all-time grace if he beats egg shape form? Uh, I don't think he moves up to me. Um, from beating the egg shape form, he's already just great, man. Um, wait, fans always calling a good or great fighter washed when they lose. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't necessarily move up. I mean, be he just fighting Conor Ben is enough for me. I, I, I he's just great, bro. The guy is where, where you want to put him, you know, he, he won't be in my top five, but I, I think I already got him in my top 10. You know, I, I, uh, is he? No, he's not in my top team. It's right outside of it, though. I got him over Floyd, right? I got him greater than Floyd, so I got him high. Uh, it thinks it's a little bit more than that. Okay, Wilder was smiling after the fight. His heart wasn't into the fight, that fight. Parker handled uh, his business and uh, stay away uh, from the right. Yeah, but let me tell you something. You can You cannot be into the fight while you're fighting. Right. He smiled after he could have been like, damn, I'm, my goose is cooked. My goose is cooked. He hasn't. I told you guys a million times, but hey, it could be whatever you think it is. We're just going to have to disagree. I told you guys, Deontay Wilder, he was my favorite heavyweight. But I said that he was taking advantage of the big, fat, slow heavyweight who can't move. So he was able to just land the right. And I was telling y'all. The fighters in the 90s were washing because they can move. That's not enough. That This isn't enough. You have to be able to jab, hook off the jab, and do things, especially when you got a fighter who can move. Joseph Parker can move. So he was weaving, ducking, and coming back with fire. He could not do it. He has bad feet and everything. He starts, I can't beat him. 
This is not enough for a fighter who can move. It's just not. It's not, bro. And I was looking like that, Joseph Parker, that's the type of guy that would beat him. Who would have always beaten him? More than that, bro, it is not, is not, it's not a coincidence that his two bet the two best fighters on his resume beat him. It's not a coincidence. I like Wilder, like I love him like a play cuz, but it's not a coincidence. Oh, uh, let me see. Who else uh was hurt uh hearing uh the, the Alicia man? I was definitely hurt, bro. I was hurt, bro. No, I was hurt, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, that 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 stung me big time. That stung me big time. But believe whatever you want. Forget it. Just say that Joseph Parker didn't deserve the win. Whatever you want. All right. But it was easy for a boxing analyst to see. But you don't see it. Fine. How about the fact that Joseph Parker? I mean, he done fought AJ. He done beat Andy Ruiz. He fought Chisora. He. I mean, forget all that. He trains with Tyson Fury every day. So Tyson Fury is six nine. If you don't know who he is. He's six nine, power, uh, throw great punches, arguably the best heavyweight in the world right now. And he's going up against Zhang, going up against a 300 pound Tyson Fury, and going up against a 300 pound Zhang isn't going to be foreign for him. That's how about that? That's enough, right? And I'm just saying he got that practice dealing with that. So it's not crazy that he can beat him. Let me see. You're going to make uh, me withdraw uh, my bet, man. Uh, which fight this saying go 12 rounds. That's what I'm saying. Every time he goes 12, he's all over the place. Every time Zane goes, we've been watching Zane here for years. For you, That's why we thought Joe Joyce was going to beat him. Because we thought Joe Joyce was going to survive Zane's onslaught, but he couldn't. My thing is, every time he survives, seven, eight, right? Every time you drag Zane out, he's all, he's He's breathing heavy and all and all over. The, he looks bad. But it's all good, brother. We, we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, let me see. Uh, he wasn't angry about losing. He seemed too content with the result to me. He always been a one trick pony. Then you're right, Michael. And then I'm wrong. All right. It was his it was his attitude. Zane's going to knock out. Uh, Zane's going to knock out Joseph, Joseph Parker. I'm just saying I'm not crazy for saying what I when it comes to Wilder, you're the expert. All right. So let's drop the Wilder thing. Joseph Parker dealing with Fury is another reason. Him fighting AJ and going 12 is another reason. Him beating Andy Ruiz before people even knew how good Andy Ruiz was is another reason. Whatever. <laughs> you're the Wilder expert, so you're completely 100% right when it comes to Wilder and Joseph Parker. But how about everything else? Joseph Parker isn't just one fight. You know, the, you know, you know his resume? You know his career? You'll understand what I'm saying. You'll understand exactly what I'm saying. They still, they they haven't fought yet. They haven't fought yet. Ruiz was an anomaly. Yeah, you're absolutely right, brother. You're absolutely right. Zane by KO, you're right too. P uh, put your money on my bookie, bro. Didn't Zane have a terrible performance? On the Canelo versus Yodram undercard uh, going the distance. There was a guy named Forrest that was whipping his ass. That's what you're talking about. That's what you're talking about. Forrest was out there whooping his ass. That's precisely what you're talking about. Uh, that was Allen who was talking. My man said, for let uh daughter keep that, uh keep this love, Biz. Thank you so much, Kobe. That was beautiful. Gave me $62 cash app from Kobe. Thank you so much, my brother. Let me see your, your love, my brother. It was a draw, right? I think it was a draw. People thought that uh Forrest got robbed. I forgot. I forgot, Alan. I forgot. Thank you so much for the cash app, my brother. That was beautiful, man. Yeah, um, he said, let your daughter keep that. Yeah, who was Forrest? Right? But that's okay. Boom squad! Love y'all. What's going on, Deontay Wilder? Let me see. Parker gonna bang Zang. We'll see. Put your money on my bookie. We'll see. I think I need some potato chips or something. Let me see. Uh, Jerry Forrest, majority draw. Yep, it was Jerry Forrest. Remember that, Alan? Everybody, look at Zang versus Jerry Forrest. 
y'all would at least see that I'm not crazy. But a lot of people, you know, here's the thing about boxing, all right? The thing about boxing is a lot of people watch a fight or two and then talk about it. So people don't know Zang. They just saw Zang versus Joe Joyce. They heard about the first fight and watched the, the second. Now they got a lot of shit to say about Zang. Or they just know Wilder. Don't know Joseph, Joseph Parker's career. So they only speak it like Michael Simmons was only speaking towards Wilder. He doesn't know Joseph Parker. Right? He doesn't know him. So you got people just found out about Terrence Crawford before Errol Spence. Now they all Terrence Crawford fanboys and stuff like that. But they don't know the sport. They don't know anybody else. They don't know what's going on with anyone else. Right? They don't know the guys they fighting and who they fought and stuff like that. So they just start talking. And you can tell when they talk because people who know boxing can tell when they hear them. <laughs> like, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> right? You know about one person you follow. Those are called fanboys, but you don't know boxing, right? So Zane can very, very well stop him at 300 pounds very well. That could very well be the case. But I'm just saying it's not crazy to think Joseph Parker stops him. It's not crazy. People just know, hey, Zane, the one that beat Joe Joyce, knocked out Joe Joyce. That's, that's all they know. We talking about Jerry Forrest and shit. Let me see. Uh, Dr. King tried to love somebody. Biz, I missed the last few shows, so I know you probably talked about it already. But Ben confirming, uh, oh, Benson confirming uh, Canelo turned down 92-8 uh, split. Uh, isn't that uh, the craziest thing ever? Well, it's, it's, it's not crazy when you know the motivation. He, he It doesn't matter if it was a 99-1 split. King, he ain't fighting Benny. <laughs> that shit could be a 99-1 split, right? It could be a 100-0 split. He ain't fighting him, bro. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think this is the most confident I've seen AJ in quite some time. No gum chewing. <laughs> uh, No trying to be friends. I, I'm very excited to see this performance. I still had to put some money on the Ganu, though. I feel you. Here's the thing, Nate. Did you see Naganu's face when he looked at him and started smiling? Because he was like, uh, this is different. I promise you. Francis Naganu ain't scared of shit, but he know that's different, though. When he saw Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury was acting stuff out and doing all the show. When he saw AJ, AJ was like, he was like, oh, okay. I know what that is. I'll fight those all the time. Steve Payne and shit. Like, I know what that is. Like, okay. And then when they asked him why you smirk, he said, because I know that he wouldn't beat me in a street fight. I know he wouldn't beat me in MMA. That's what that that's what his explanation was. He said, I smile all these guys because they wouldn't beat me in MMA. He's already talking about trying to get a victory for himself. Francis ain't scared of shit. He's going to go out there and fight. But I'm saying he's going up against a prize fighter who got power, who took him seriously. Tyson Fury didn't. He had stomach and try to act like he, he, he barely trained for him and then got dropped. And I think he lost the fight. I think Francis won the fight. All right. So. But AJ taking this boy seriously after what happened with Tyson Fury. That could be a one-off. That's why I say it's a good – my prediction is AJ beats Francis the way he should have been beaten by Tyson Fury. That's what I think. That's what I think. But but the boxing community in the States see AJ as soft. No matter what he does, no matter what he proves, who he knocks out, they, they see him as soft. So – they think Francis just knocks him out. It, it, they've been seeing AJS off since the Andy Ruiz knockout. Right? So, it is with that stain that's on AJ. So, we'll see. We'll see. But when AJ knock him out, it's going to be like, well, he was an MMA fighter. Right? AJ ain't going to be getting any credit. He's, he's, he's permanently soft. But... <laughs> We'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> Dr. King tried to love somebody. My prediction tonight is AJ KO in the sixth round. I think Tyson Fury is just an idiot that didn't take it seriously. Yep, at all. Yep, and showed up thinking it was going to be the easiest fight. AJ is serious. Yep, that's how I see it. AJ don't want to be embarrassed, and he don't want to be, he don't want his fight for undisputed against the Fury Usyk winner to be taken from him. And plus, AJ know that people see him as soft. See, this is what happens. AJ's not in silk pajamas. Nobody gave AJ, just gave him credit for being AJ. So because of that, he will forever have something to prove. He got a chip on his shoulder. Those are the best fighters. 
Those are the best. Ty Terrence Crawford before he beat a Errol Spence. That guy. Those are the best fighters. When AJ was chewing gum and shit, whack. But the one that people don't, it's like, yo, you're soft, you're hard. He, now he got a chip on his shoulder. Those are the best fighters. Right? Canelo in silk pajamas wearing pink underwear and shit. Doing that, that, no. No. <laughs> right? People got to get off out the silk pajamas. Now you're real with it. Uh, Dr. King tried to love somebody. I'm a Tyson Fury fan, and I'm legit pissed at him for humiliating boxing like that. I'm saying, brother. But why would why should Tyson Fury take him serious? Right? But now you know. You got to take him seriously. You got to take him seriously. Uh, how much time left, cuz? Uh... About three hours. We got about three. We got about three, four hours left. I'm about to get some chips in a minute. Uh, will you show the game here? Uh, the fight? No, because it's illegal. Uh, when's uh the fight starting, please? About four hours. Uh, AJ by K. Hold on, let me go get a bag of chips. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, all of y'all are still here too, man. That's dope. Usually if I leave for two seconds, everybody drop off. And... Look on the Ben. Kind of Ben always looks mean, man. He don't look like a good guy. He looks, he looks like a bad guy. You know what I mean? You don't look like you don't look like a guy that like let if if my daughter brought him home, I'd be like, what up, boy? I'll say, hey baby, talking to my daughter. Come here real quick. I'll take her to the to the kitchen. I'll say, uh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. But dad, you didn't even get a chance to meet him yet. Wait. Get him out of here, man. Cause let me tell you something. Cause that dude's gonna end up slapping you. Get out, get him out of here. It's because if he touch you, I'm going to jail for life. All right? Get him out of here. Let her bring something like that home. Hey, this is my new boyfriend. Oh, yeah? How you doing, brother? What's your name? My name's Connor. All right. Come here, baby. Let me talk to him. Because if you don't kick him out, I'm going to kick him out. And I mean physically, I'm going to kick him in his chest. Kick him out the door. So, 
You know, you can't judge a book by school. Yes, yes, I can. I've been living for a long time. Get them out. I call them in work. Yes, I would. I call them in work. I say, get that out of here. I swear Bills was singing Marvin Gaye uh, getting chips. Yes, I, how you know? How you know? How you know? I was singing, come get to this. Wow. Wow. Actually, I started when I was uh, peeing. <laughs> that made me spit out. <laughs> that was a lie, by the way. That was a lie. Oh, let me see. Mm -hmm. We are frosty. Mm. I needed these ruffles badly. I really did. Biz parents in 201. Mm -hmm. Yo, some plain ruffles. Because I like these with hot sauce and cheese. Do y'all make that meal? I've been making that meal. <laughs> It's not a meal. It's a snack. But I've been making that snack. I think since I can climb on a chair. I think I was like six years old. Chips, hot sauce, and put some cheese on it. I really want it right now. I just didn't make it. I just grabbed the chips. That sounds tight. You haven't done that? Mm-hmm. Try to bake the baked ones. Mm -hmm. We got a little, we got a little four hours until the fight. So what y'all want to talk about? <clears throat> well, what time the fight starts? Hey y'all, stop asking that. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that no more. Listen, Google it. <laughs> Google's right there, dog. Just, just... <laughs> Get them out. But he'll give you the best uh, deal in the age. That's true. That's true. You know what? Just keep them around. Because I may want an omelet or something later. <laughs> Love you, Bill. Love you, boy. Ruffles with hot sauce, yeah. Put, but put some cheese on it. Sprinkle some cheese on it, and 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 then when you have it, you see how this curves. You have the cheese in there with the hot sauce. And you know, you'll scream. You'll scream. I'm not trying to eat too many of them because I want like a salad or something. Uh, let me see. Uh, showbiz, they watching you eat chips and shit, bro. <laughs> 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 that was that's exactly what's going on. I don't know why that was funny, bro. It's just how he delivered it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. One time my brother was. One time my brother <laughs> one time my brother was at the movies, right? My oldest brother. And he's watching the movie, but some people are talking. I hate that too. I pay money for a movie, not to hear y'all talk, but to watch the damn movie. And some people were talking behind him. So my brother was giving gestures and shit. You know what I mean? My brother was just like. He was doing that. <laughs> and then he looked back. And then he heard a guy say, hey, he wants you to be quiet and shit. <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing all this, some guy just like, hey, he wants y'all to be quiet and shit. <laughs> since y'all not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> and, my and they got quiet. All he needed to do was just say, hey, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> and they want you to be he wants you to be quiet and shit. Hey, how about you give your honest opinions or undisputed as a whole and their direction, but also their silence towards the community? How about you give your like hey, how about you give your that's some conceited ass shit? Oh, let me see your honest opinions. I always give but see that that makes me not want to respond, bro. You think I just lie to y'all? I always give my honest opinions. What the hell are you talking about? Or undisputed as a whole. I mean, I'm not. I don't think three thousand one hundred people want to hear about undisputed as a whole, um, and their direction, but also their silence to the community. Hi, right. um, since you paid for it and shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think their direction is great. I think the career mode and their direction is great. They just got to uh, make sure the animations is suitable for everybody. And now, right now, it's very easy to knock people out. So they, so people were crying about more knockouts, and now it's too easy to knock people out, right? Um, they just got to get everything. I, I'm happy that it's still in beta. They got to get everything perfect. They're trying different things. It's very difficult to make a game. Try it, right? Make a game that everybody likes. It's very difficult. Um, and I, I think it's a great attempt, especially with boxing, because supposedly there's no money in boxing for video games, right? And look how much look how much they put into it. Look how many fighters at Canelo. They got all these big guys. You know, all that money comes out of their profit, right? So um they taking on a big thing, and 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 I like the direction they're going. I like the physics base, I like uh the way the tunes look. They just got to get just make it sharper, make make the animations and, and everything sharp. And that takes some time. It is it's hard to make things perfect. But their silence toward the community, I get too, because of comments like that. It's hard doing this job. Think about what everything people are saying right now. People are making fun of me, saying I'm soft and doing all this. That that wears on you over time. You know, you can't just deal with a bunch of people just let, letting their day off out on you all day. You're one person. It gets irritating. They, they, the whole point is to break you down, make you feel bad. So I can understand why they're like, yo, man, I, you can't really please them. Let's not listen to what they're saying because not everybody knows what they're talking about. So if you keep moving to what everyone's saying, you're never going to get it right. You're going to make these people happy, these people mad. Then you make these people happy, these people mad. So listen, shut everybody up, stop looking at them, and focus on your game. Because that's how games are made anyway. If you don't develop the game in front of people, they don't know what they're missing or winning anyway. You gave people too much control. Do like EA does. Make the damn game and put it out. People don't want, wouldn't even know what they're missing. Everybody wants control and an opinion on something. Man, focus. You know which kind of game you want to make. Make it. Do your damn best and put the game out. I hear them. I hear them. Nobody knows what they're talking about, but everybody got an opinion. Hey, do your best, bro, because really we don't have any boxing games. So I'm happy that they even tried it, man. Uh, Haney Garcia, probably the darkest uh, yet uh, entertaining uh, fight builds up, build ups. I said, yeah, I know it, it was, bro. Haney made fun of what happened to Ryan or when he was when it was two, yeah, and his grandmother just passed, right? So that's the type of energy I wouldn't even put out. Uh, showbiz, why is it uh, that when Wilder fails, they give him a pass, but when it's AJ, he does not get a pass? The hate AJ uh, gets is so bad because you know most people that feel that way relate to Wilder more than AJ. It's not about the facts that happens in boxing; it's about who's more relatable to you, right? So the black community in America is relates more than to wilder especially when wilder said to this day the black community when they when we hear aj talk and he has that accent you can he sounds very sophisticated and he carries his way more of like a i, I want to say more uh sophisticated right it's a way that we don't really identify so much in the states Right. So because of identifying with some it's who's more likable to you, it's not about what's really going on. It's about who's more likable. So they if somebody don't, that's how boxing works. That's how sports work. That's how everything works. An entertainment, period. Music. If you don't like Drake as a person, you're going to hate on everything he does, even if he makes some great songs or have great lyrics. If you don't like Jay-Z as a person, it doesn't matter. Right. So it's about like a like ability. So people who like Wilder more because they can identify with him more, it's going to cut AJ down all the way, or anybody else. Tyson Fury, they just going to cut down and lift, even if he looks bad or do exactly what they criticize him for doing. 
he could do the exact same thing and it'd be like they have an excuse for it. It's not about the fighters or what's going on. It's about themselves, how I feel about them, how they make me feel. That's why when I criticize fighters, certain fans get hurt because they feel like I'm talking about them. Why? Because that's their favorite fighter. So you're making me feel a certain way because I like them so much. They're not defending them. They're defending themselves for liking them. So that's what happens, right? It's really about, it's really about who you identify with more so than the facts that's going on. Let me see. How about you get, oh, yeah. That's really what it is, bro. Me, I can separate myself from all that. I appreciate all people, no matter where they're from or anything. Um, but on top of that, what people eat don't make me shit. So if you're looking bad, I'll say you look bad. If I'm looking bad, I'll say I look bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're looking great, you look great. But they call that glazing now. Oh, since you paid for it, it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me see. Bills, love you, boy. Love you, boy. Definition of more. Uh, 100 bills. Uh-huh. Have someone answer when they fight. You don't even got to wait that long. Just Google. The reason why I know when the fight start is because I Googled it. That's what I did. Just do the same thing I did. You ain't even got to wait long, bro. Just Google it, bro. Just Google it. And come right back. You, you have all the answers you need. You ain't even... Let me see. Uh, <laughs> why didn't just look it up? Yeah. That's what I did. I just looked it up. Uh, Just looking at the records. Ch Chamberlain uh, going to smoke this dude. Hey, let's call this fight. Let's call the fight. Let's call the fight. The best Spider-Man biz, Toby Andrew Tom. The best Spider-Man movies to me is obviously Tom, but that doesn't mean he's the best Spider-Man. Andrew was the funniest. Toby got my heart because he was the first one and he his eyes look buggy like mine. So Toby. Dog, Chamberlain over here landing the left. On on or uh, on Gwen. Um, the best movies are Tom, obviously for me. But Andrew is the more um charis the most charismatic one. But he's not the most Spider Man s. The 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 closest to Spider Man Tom is a young kid like Spider Man. Good combination from Chamberlain. He's a good he's a he's a kid like Spider Man. Right, Spider-Man is supposed to be a kid. Good uppercut left hook who goes up against his teachers, really. Um, while Toby got my heart though. Good left, good left. Shit, hold on, y'all. These mugs are rugged as hell. Gwen hanging in there. I'll tell you that. Gwen's hanging in there. Good right from Gwen. They they both they both in a clinch, and Chamberlain got Gwen and pushed him against the rope. Ah, good shoot the jab. Everybody, y'all go to Fantasy Boxing League. Oh, good left. Join the Fantasy Boxing League. The link in the description. Oh, good uppercut from Chamberlain. Shit, Gwen. Gwen looks like he's puffed up already. Oh, does Gwen? It's the first round. Does he have a black eye? What? Oh, God. Because, see, Gwen is sitting at the end. I'm going to call him sit at the end, Gwen. He's sitting at the end. Good left. Good left again. Good uppercut. He's right in punching. Now, that eye is busted up in the first round good left from chamber that left Gwen, because gwen is sitting at the end without head movement good left from chamberlain again got gwen against the ropes it, he's you got to move your head gwen good good hook to the body good left good uppercut that up see either he catches straight or he falls in and catches an uppercut shit 45 seconds left in the first round good left from uh, Hey, 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 hey. Gwen, move your head from side to side. Good right hand from, from Gwen. Good right hand, Gwen. Good right hand, Gwen. Now work. Hey, these boys, dog, that, how does Gwen I look like that? It's the first round. It's 20 seconds left in the first round. This guy, I, good left. 
his eye looked like that Kimbo Slice shit. Remember when Kimbo Slice hit that dude and that brother eye was inside out? That, I mean, he's going to have the Forrest Whitaker effect. Oh, good uppercut for the rest of his life. That NyQuil eye, that eye, mm-mm, mm-mm, brother. Yeah, he's finished by the third round. That eye is crazy. That eye is crazy. These two months, I rather, what do you say? Diamond in the flesh. Uh, what happened with Nicole Ali uh, last night? What happened? I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. I have no idea. I have no idea. But that cafeteria fight uh, scene is crazy. Uh, Toby, the one. Yo, man. It's, yeah, Toby. Toby's the truth. Because he... But see, Andrew stole the show to me in that Spider-Verse movie. That last... Spider Man, Andrew stole the show. He was the funniest one. He was the he was the one that everybody he he made fun of the fact that he didn't have the more dynamic, spectacular movies. As an actor, and he's not the be, he's not the best Spider Man, but he was the more most charismatic actor. Like he he's the most likable. On oh, a good right hand from Gwen. And, and when he showed up, he showed up the best. When he came in through that little ring, that little dimension, he showed up the best. Two minutes, 30 seconds in the second round. Oh, good left. Good uppercut from Chamberlain. Well, all I need, let me tell you something. All I need to get by. All I need is for Gwen to move his, not, not the way he, not to duck like that, blinding himself by ducking with his face straight down. He got to keep his eyes up, keep his chin down. But I just need him to do this. I just need him to do this while Chamberlain is. He, he ain't going to do it now because you can see that that's just. There you go. He, that, he just did it. I just need him doing this without Chamberlain punching. I just need him weaving his way a little bit closer. Good combination from Chamberlain because he's walked straight up, straight up with his guard up. And he has this all right here. Just That's why the uppercuts and the straights are landing on him. Good uppercut from Chamberlain. That eye is stingy as hell. Yeah, you can't rabbit punch. Rabbit punches from Gwen. Good jab. Good uppercut from Chamberlain. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen got a hang. Good uppercut from Chamberlain. Good left hook, Gwen, on the exit. Good right hand, Gwen. You, you, you got. He got some good offense. Yes, shitty defense. He just got a Chamberlain just letting his hands go on Gwen's ass because everything. Every he could close his eyes and hit Gwen. Good left from Chamberlain. Chamberlain's a rough. He's rough. Oh, God. Good uppercut because he's throwing him from the shoulders. Even a good right, good left. He's just catching him just from the shoulders. Just bam, 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 bam. Just throwing them, bro. They all landed. 55 seconds in the second round. Oh, good one, two from, from Chamberlain out to Southpaw. Oh, good uppercut from he, he, everything is hitting that eye. That that eye has gotten so big that even when he's throwing a, a punch to the body, he hits him in the eye. 38 seconds in the in the second round. Oh, good body. Oh God, good combination from Chamberlain. He, he, shit. Gwen. Gwen, your eye is leaking and dog. Why? <laughs> good left from Chamberlain. Brother, you can't move your you, you just I don't know what's wrong with you. you. You still don't get it. You can get popped upside your head a million times and you're not going to move your head. Ten seconds left in the second round. Good body shots from Chamberlain. You just get busted upside your head. You just stay there. Good one, too. I, it, oh, good up. Oh, good left from Chamberlain. See, if you're not used to fighting the Southpaw, you know, it's, it's just going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, bro. Curious, Jorge. Let me see. Yeah, I got a buddy with a uh, Whitaker eye. Uh huh. Uh, we call him a uh, Pinky Pink Pick Eye. Stop, man. You do? Yeah, Whit Whitaker eye is all right, man. I don't, so don't want to hate on Whitaker, bro. I don't want to hate on Whitaker. Whitaker is one of my favorite actors of all time, bro. Uh, I think Spider Man Two is clearly the best Spider Man movie. 
Oh, you're talking about Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2? It's clearly. I like I like the Spider-Verse movie with all three of them. But I get what you're saying. Hey, Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Jamie Foxx was good, though. It was, I, I, I Jamie Foxx was laughable as a, like, I get that, but it was good, though. It was good. Yeah, two old Chamberlain for sure. They looking at that eye. Somebody said round three. If you would have placed a bag on my bookie, yeah, they whisper in his ear. They say if he gets not hit in the eye one more time, it's over with. That eye is dangerously hurt. Dangerously hurt. Like he can go blind. Look how that eye looks. Good, good jab from oh god. See, that was a good one, too, from Chamberlain. And now Gwen is turning up more, right? Because he, he knows that it could be stopped. Good combination from Chamberlain. But here's the thing. That's just going to give more opportunities for Chamberlain to catch him in the mix. Because Chamberlain is swinging while he's swinging. Oh, good right hand. Ba bam! Good combination from Chamberlain. Chamberlain's going right out there. Ba bam! Good combination from Chamberlain. You know? Boom, boom. Which, which manipulates the guard, and then he can catch him with a hook. Good jab. From Chamberlain. That one, two. See, he, he don't even have to hit. Oh, good left from Ch yeah. The, the ref almost was like, "Hey, bro, hey, that shit, hey, hey, stop that, stop that. That's it, that's it. That 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 I, hey, bro, that should be it. Then yeah, take him to the doctor, take him to the nurse. He need to go to the nurse. He need, you know, when you get called in to the nurse and and you're kind of happy, you hope something's wrong so you can go home. Get in school and shit. No, they just gave him his mouthpiece back. So, hey, bro. Because he don't even have to hit him in his eye. He can just hit him in, in his guard. And his and his glove can keep hitting his, irritating his eye. Bruh. Bam, bam. Good combination from Chamberlain. Ah, ah, good uppercut from Chamberlain. See, Chamberlain is jabbing towards that eye. He's jabbing the opposite side of the head. Everything's going over there. Oh, now he's manipulating guards. So, bam! They're going left right down the middle. So, he was throwing he was throwing it right over here. And then went, bam! Soon as my man opened up his guard a little bit, he's manipulating his guard. Good left. One, one minute, 25 seconds. Good body shot. Now he's trying to drop the guard, right? Hitting the body, body, trying to drop the guard down. Then catch him on stairs. One. Boom! Good, good left. From Chamberlain. Bam! Good body shot. If 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 I was Chamberlain, when, when I grab him, I'll bump him with my shoulder. Right in the eye. One minute left in the third. Oh, good one, two from, from Chamberlain. Good left downstairs. Good jab from Chamberlain. Good jab, Gwen. Work. Good right, Gwen. Now work. Oh, good. oh one, two, three from Chamberlain. Then a, a four to the body. Gwen's eye is, is that looks, that hurts me. It, See, you see, you see how he's jabbing on the opposite eye. 20, 25 seconds in the third round. Good head movement. See, look, look, Gwen. Look at Chamberlain's head movement. Just bam, good left. You know why? Because he threw that that hook to the body. So he dipped down there, and then he threw an overhand left. Somebody messed around. Oh, good uppercut from Chamberlain. Somebody messed around and said third round. He may not come out. He may not. <gasps> good left again. Hey, man, get that shit out of here. Because he can't see. He can't see. Uh, Bait was 100. Uh, movie uh, with Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Bait, bro. Anybody else in anything? No? Okay. Biz, who is Chris Eubanks? <laughs> you funny, bro. My man said, the lost art of blocking with your face. I get what you're saying. He got his guard up. That eye is, is bouncing around. Okay. That eye is bouncing around. I know what you're saying. 
because it's guard like this, right? Only getting hit with strikes, right? Right. And then he doesn't, he just like this here. Brother, what do you think is going to happen? All this shit's going to get ripped up. I know you're protecting the hooks, but everything else is going to get ripped up, bro. Good head movement. See, Gwen, good, good one too. It's almost like Gwen moved his head by accident right there. I guess he made he made a third round. Good combination to the body from Chamberlain. Double jab, right hand from Gwen. There you go, Gwen. Gwen's a fighter though. He's a fighter as far as fighting heart. He ain't much of a good technical fighter. Oh God, good counter jab from Chamberlain. Yeah, if I was Chamberlain, I'll start throwing those jabs to the body like Floyd Mayweather. Bip, 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 bam. Boom. There you go. Just like that. Get left upstairs. Just like I said. Chamber. Bam. Good hook to the body. He got he got he got he got Gwen against the ropes. That's where Gwen doesn't want to be. See? Because he, he, he rubbed his head against the eye. That's what you do. Now the ref got to break it up. Yeah, that's what you do. Old school. Everything is at the at the eye. I'm telling you. If I clinch, I'm bumping them. If, like I'm doing shit, bro. And that's what Chamberlain did. Oh, good. Oh. The Chamberlain set up that uppercut beautifully. He used that measuring stick and he fainted down. Bam. <laughs> Bam. You see, this is a boxer puncher. Oh, good. Two uppercuts at, by, by Chamberlain. And you would think that that's all he does to throw uppercuts, right? No, that's all. That's what Gwen's, Gwen's giving him by blocking like this and dipping straight down, bro. He's he's not at an angle at all. Now he got Gwen's, Gwen against the ropes again. Look, put your shoulder in there. There you go. There you go. Work. Good combination. Look, put his head on his eye. Just, you know, the ear. Rub, yeah, rub all the grease from your hair on his eye. Just Dog, that right there, bro. You come out of that like shit. 50 seconds in the in the fourth. Look, look, now he's holding his eye like this. He just Gwen just walking around like this. Here. Good right hand from Gwen. Hope hopefully the oh god, good come. Hopefully the adrenaline has taken away the pain. But he's gonna feel that tomorrow. Isn't it? Dog just jab, body jab. That's what I'm saying. If Chamberlain just starts shooting the jab downstairs, bam, bam. Oh, he jabbed way out. Boom, boom. Good combination from Chamberlain. Bam, bam, good combination to the body by Jam. Jam ripping shots to the body. Bam. He can knock him out with a body shot. Bam. Good shots to the body. Yeah, they threw in the towel. They threw in the towel, dumbass. Over with. <laughs> Turkey Allen Sheik threw in that towel. He was just like, brother. Shit. Got Turkey Allen Sheik grabbing a sheet from his hat. And... No, Alan's still talking about to me. Toby Maguire, Spider Man, had an aura like uh, an Alex Alex Ross painting. Yep, uh, man, you know your shit. Alex Ross, my favorite artist. Uh, something that the others didn't. Garfield uh, captured Spider Man's charisma perfectly, though. His charisma, yeah. But see, Tom has the age right. He got the little kid right. Who won? Chamberlain just stopped him. He just stopped him. That eye there, you got to take him to the hospital. He got a fat eye with a cut at the end of it. You got to take, hey, hey, take him to the hospital, dog. Take, take, take him to the hospital, dog. <laughs> Show the fight. No, I'm not going to get my channel blocked because you can't afford twenty dollars. Go, go watch the fight, bro. Twenty dollars. Hey, hey, in in your entire uh, livelihood. Because I don't want to spend twenty dollars, man. If you don't get your knuckle, yeah, yeah, Chamberlain won. Yeah, yo. yeah, right now it's twenty bucks. Just to get the zone is twenty bucks. Uh, the pay per view is thirty five dollars. I'm poor. That's why I'm doing my job and not getting blocked. I don't want to be, I don't want to be poor anymore. I'm trying to make sure I don't be poor. Y'all trying to make put me in a poor house. Showbiz. 
ruin your livelihood so you can be in the poorhouse. Like, I ain't got that kind of time, bro. I ain't got that kind of time. The chats get so weird during fights. Yeah, I know, Jackie. More people come in, they don't really know the channel, so they're just trying to get known. So they say, ah, ball shit. Who can say the worst thing ever? Like, rip Joe Rogan. Who can get as much of a dick as possible so people can see him? You know? But I, I know who the real ones. I know who who's in here. Let me see. Uh, Turkey through the turban. Yeah, I'm saying, bro. That brother was like. <laughs> uh, let me see. They pay-per-view of 35, but you have to pay the $30 subscription. There you go. Be as your legend. Love you, boy. The outsiders trolls. Yeah, but they start off trolling. Many, many of, of my diehard show business partners, like many of you in the war room, started off trolls. How many of you guys started off hating me? Oh, this guy's weird. This guy's a clown. And then just found yourself trolling or saying, I hate this guy, and listening to me again and again. But hey, man, he may be onto something. <laughs> How many of you guys started like that? Like, wait, he may be onto something, bro. Uh, is Bud ducking boots? Uh, yeah, yeah, but not because he's afraid of them. He just you don't want to fight him. Uh, let me see. If there's no money in boots, fight. How is there money in this dude? You banks, I know. Or is money not a problem? What do you think? Because this is how boxing works. All right, boxing works like this. They're going to fight. No matter what, a fighter is going to fight. So you got to make a decision on who you will fight. So let's say you're willing to fight for, let's say you're willing to fight for $500,000, right? Fighter A is a great fighter that you have to try for $500,000. Fighter B is a fighter you will beat easily for $500,000. Who you choose to fight lets the people know what you're made of. Really, it does. Most fighters in boxing are advised to fight fighter B, who you can look good against for the same amount of money. So then when they choose fighter B, they still want to be given their respect, though, because they know in their heart when they look in the mirror that they avoided fighter A. They know that. So they rely on their fanboys to have their back no matter what. Everybody know you should have fought fighter A. Everybody know. Fighter A, Boots, will make him three-time undisputed. Chris Eubank has no belts. Got whipped by lesser fighters. Don't deserve the fight. Boots does, though. He was mandatory. Number one contender at welterweight. Has an IBF title. That was vacated to him from you. That's your belt. And he's a fantastic fighter. Extremely skillful. Everybody know what kind of fighter he is. But we all know, we all know, even the fanboys know, they know, but they are for him no matter what, even for him over themselves and over boxing. Don't talk about my Bud Crawford. So Bud fights him, right? There's, that makes zero sense, right? Even if you say he's at 160 and he wants to slowly campaign, he was going to fight, he wanted to fight Canelo after Errol Spence. He was going to jump from 147 to 168 anyway. Why not fight Boots? You re you willing to do that anyway. Canelo said he ain't going to fight you anyway. So why fight that guy? But his fanboy is going to have his back no matter what. They're, going to have, they, they're for him more than themselves. They're for him more than boxing. Terrence Crawford, one of the greatest fighters I've ever seen. But I know, as he knows, he should be fighting him. He knows. He's the A side. He should be sending him the contract. He knows. Canelo Alvarez know he's avoiding David Benavidez. He know that. I'll fight anybody. You can say that all you want, but you know, when you look in the mirror, you know, and we know his fanboys are busy trying to convince themselves. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Well, at least say he's good. We all know he's great. Canelo is an all-time great fighter. Crawford is an all-time great fighter, but we know what they're doing, though. We ain't got to lie. We ain't got a lot.
And like I said, this, this channel doesn't sell out. So we're going to keep it a bean. I'm still going to watch the fight. I'm going to watch Crawford whip Eubanks' ass. It's going to be funny. I'm going to watch Canelo and Jaime McGee. That's going to be a slugfest. But I know what they did. The, 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 the Ducks right here. Right? Let me see. Biz, uh, what's your thoughts on Crawford and Eubank? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, I did not. I Wait, I did not going to lie. Uh-huh. I told you I had uh, big ass eyes and you hit me uh, with the dog clip funny. And I was like, yo, this guy cooking. <laughs> oh, that's how that happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> Flex on him. Seep, 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 pow, King Kong ain't got on me. Skills pay the bills. Much appreciation to my favorite uh, page on YouTube. Underrated, but I love uh, Spider-Man 3. It is. My son loves spider And I've been, I've been Sp amazing Spider-Man 1 with Lizard. I didn't like that much. And Spider-Man 3, I didn't like. But my son, Knox in the Box, watches them both all the time. I found myself... You know how your kid is watching some shit and you just doing your thing and then now you find yourself watching what they're watching? I'm like, yo, this shit wasn't bad. Like, the Sandman was fantastic. I was mad at Venom. But still, it's like, the movie's good. <laughs> uh, my childhood right there. Uh, one love. Fanny, uh, March 23rd. Uh, time to catch a body. Uh, a, no, J-Body, though. Funny. Funny. Uh, let me see. Man, I love this channel. I'm still... Uh, Relatively new. Oh, my eyes just went blurry for it, but it's uh dope as thank you so much. God bless you, brother. It did it again. 100. Much love, brother. Hit the Tyson Bell. I don't know what I think I had to yawn or something, bro. My eyes went. Oh, uh, let me see. A new member, baby. Bye bye. Uh Biz, what's your thoughts on how much capital uh one needs to promote boxers and Half a oh I you know what my eyes just going it I need glasses man I need read I need reading glasses and have a stable of fighters that's active okay what's your thoughts on how much capital oh I don't know I don't know that part of the business I have no idea I have no I have no idea but the, another thing is um boxing has like there's the forefathers right you have a golden boy you have match room you have top rank and PBC. They don't let anybody in. That's the thing. They they beef with each other, but they ain't letting nobody extra in to take that money. So whatever capital you're talking about, all right. You saw BLK Prime. They BLK Prime could not get the fights because they would have to ask. No matter if they had a fighter like Adrian Broner, they would need one of them to let them have one of their fighters on their platform. It wasn't happening. They said hell no. Nah. Now they ain't get a chance to get a fight off. Adrian Broner was there, and then he left. They're not, they not letting you in. You're going to have to have buku money, like Turkey Al Sheik. To get in, let me see. Bud is making a uh, risk versus reward assessment. They do it all the time. They do it all the time. Let me see. I've seen your live. Because because here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Bud wanted people to take a chance on him. They did him dirty. They did Bud dirty. But when you get there, what are you going to do? He did the same thing with Boots. I, I, Keith Thurman did the same thing with Earl Spence. I keep making the same point. Floyd Mayweather was asking Shane Mosley for a fight. He was asking all of them, Tim Zoo, all of them. He was trying to get at all of them. I remember when he was just hungry and he finally got Oscar De La Hoya, right? When he got there and he was doing his thing, he didn't give Keith Thurman a chance, though. He fought Berto and Conor McGregor. Keith Thurman got there. He didn't give Earl Spence a chance. You you forget what it's like when you want the chance. Errol Spence got there, you know, he on the other side of the street. Take the easy route. Terrence Crawford get there fighting Chris Eubank over boots. That's why they all do it. They all are get in silk pajamas. They all do it, and they claim that they're not doing it, but they do. I was in your live of a fight, you were calling, and I was like, why are you moving his head like that? That do it. Because I find myself being in the fight like, brother, move. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. A bug fight at 160 erased the too small sand for, from Canelo. It doesn't. It doesn't. 
Oh, let me see. I remember your April Fool's Canelo versus Charlie. Oh, that's a long time ago. Nice. 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 It doesn't because Canelo don't want to fight Terrence Crawford anyway. He signed a deal to fight Errol Spence. Right? It's, what's David Benavidez? Too little? What's David Benavidez? When he don't want to fight you, he don't have to. He does what he wants. So him fight Chris Eubank doesn't do shit. Chris Eubank is a monster middleweight. Don't do shit. Uh, this next fight is uh, Double G uh, versus uh, Butter Beaver. What happened, dog? Double G. That's funny. What? What is this? What is this? Uh, Tarver came on your podcast and said uh, B Hop uh, knew better than to rematch him. I wanted to know what you think. Um, was it a Crawford Spence situation? B Hop. B Hop knew better than to rematch him. I never even thought about it. I just thought B Hop whipped his ass. <laughs> I didn't. I never thought about it. So I think to the boxing fan, like you said, is it a Crawford Spence situation? The boxing fan was already fine. Like Tarver as a fighter, I can get why he's like, yeah. But as a box, like boxing fans, we were like, yeah, B House better. We we were good. We didn't need we didn't need a rematch. I can understand why Tarver thought so, but the boxing fan wasn't like because he dropped Tarver too, right? That fight. I remember rooting for B Hop because I didn't like Tarver for because I was a fanboy. I was a I didn't realize how how great now Tarver's my boy. Personally, I like Tarver more than Roy. Cause Tar, Roy act like I doesn't exist. I don't exist. Tarver, like, what up, boy? Like, Tarver's cool as hell. I just spoke to Tarver on Instagram. Tarver's my guy. I I hated him for years. That's what I get. Tarver taught me. How through whooping Roy's ass twice, almost three times, how not to be a fanboy. I didn't recognize he did something great. So I was rooting for B Hop. Like, man, get him, get him back like a little duck. I was acting like a little soft fanboy. But I do remember after maybe it was a little bit extra with me because it was redemption. How Roy didn't do anything to Tarver, B Hop did. But I remember being like, yeah, you know, but I don't think I don't recall anyone calling for the rematch. Let me see. Sup, Bear? Just got off work. Uh, how many fights left? Man, the whole main card is left, bro. We ain't waiting. We're hours away. Uh, you see Francis Fury arguing during the press. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Bitch, you think ProBox TV can eventually compete? Yeah, because look at who they're competing against. There's no Showtime anymore. There's no HBO. ESPN cut a lot of the boxing budget. Um, because ESPN is eating off UFC. So, a Montclair Jack. I, I I got one. Anyway, um, um, that brother over there fly them, but look at Francis. Um, yeah. So YouTube is running boxing anyway. YouTube analysts and everything what we're doing the youtubers are running boxing anyway boxing isn't being covered anywhere other than the zone so yeah they could make their way mm -hmm. also who gets bo mac bud or chris probably bud if i if, if i was bo mac i'd be like brother he's been with buds from the out the gate you ain't gonna go to chris because you was there for one fight <laughs> Uh, you don't need glasses. Old Gray just want to say something. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. Uh, what's up, Biz? Listen, Bud is my favorite fighter, but he needs to fight more often because he might not have uh, much time left in the ring. What you think? That's what I was saying. He needs a tune-up anyway. And if everybody thinks Boots is an easy fight, then you might as well fight him in the easy fight and, get, and become three-time undisputed. Right? Everybody was like, man, Bud, Bud, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. And getting on me for that criticism. But now they fight Chris Eubank. Everybody like, ah, ah. Because he had to fight anyway. And Tim Zhu and uh, Keith one time, Thoyman are fighting each other. Canelo Alvarez is fighting Jaime McGee. There was no, Jamel Charlo was pretty much out of boxing. He ain't doing nothing. So they, there was nobody to fight other than Boots. That's why he's fighting nobody. He's fighting Chris. 
at 160. There was nobody. So I was like, so y'all tell me who he should fight. He ain't going to wait two years to fight so he can try to fight Canelo, who's going to say no anyway. Errol Spencer, him, fell through. I kept saying, who do y'all want? They just kept saying, no, man, Boots ain't deserve it. And now he got Chris. And now y'all stuck. Lying to yourselves like you've been lying. And like I said, saying, agreeing now is too late because we want preventative action. We want the customer to tell the boxing business what we're not going for and what we demand so they can know where the money's at. Now, if they find out there's no money in Terrence Crawford's Chris Eubank, hey, fans, where's the money? That's why when I put the polls up and stuff, it's important. 3,400 people. There's boxing business people in here right now. They're just quiet. Right? So when we're preaching this shit, Stop trying to bail out these fighters so you, me, we can get the fights we want and for their legacy, and it grows the sport of boxing because I'm telling you, the casuals are like, this is why we don't watch this shit. Who is Crawford fighting? Chris Eubank. Who the hell? So I'm saying, you look at Chris, look up Chris Eubank, you'll see him getting slapped. Look up Boots, you're like, wait a second. And this community can help push boot. Look at, he's the matrix out here. Like, oh shit, this may be one. But the fanboys did whatever they took to allow for boxing to still have the same recipe that's making it fail anyway because they're lusting over one man. And I'm saying get on board of the boxing revolution, bro. Be for yourself as a paying customer and be for improving the sport of boxing. Say what you demand before the fights, when, it's, when you can do something about it. Don't say you want Benavidez now after he signed a deal with Jaime Magia. It's late now. Once again, we messed up again. You got to do it before the fight. Before the fight is even a question, you got to let them know what you demand. People still won't get that because they're about the guy that they're lusting over more than the sport and more than their dollar. Let me see. I hate that all these great fighters are standing in uh, the long Canelo line. That's why I like when Benavidez moved on. Then Canelo fanboy said, well, he moved on. He moved on because he wasn't going to fight him. What do you want him to do? Nothing? Stand in that long Canelo line? No. He's going to fight Bolsic and he'll take the winner between better BF and Bibble. Forget it. I'm going to make my own legacy. Canelo obviously not fighting me. Uh, Tarver was uh, out of shape because of the Rocky movie. That's his fault. That's the same thing I said about Errol Spence. Errol Spence was weight drained or Errol Spence was hurt or whatever. It's still Errol Spence's fault because with Errol Spence, there's always an excuse. But talk with, with Terrence Crawford, he's always ready. So he's greater. Hey, it was a Rocky movie. That's why when, what I was talking about earlier. There are people who you always got to give explanations for. And then there's people who are always ready. So either way, you give B-Hop his love for being fight ready. You should have trained harder. You should have done something. What did Tarver say about Roy? When they said, when they gave that excuse about Roy, when Tarver said, any excuses tonight, Roy? You just gave Tarver the excuse that Tarver was talking about when he was talking to Roy. Because Roy came down from heavyweight. And that was the excuse. But what did Tarver say to Roy? Just sweat and make weight. If you got to make weight, sweat and make weight. And that's why I said, any excuses tonight, Roy? Now you over here giving Tarver excuses. B-Hop, he, hey, he did what he had to do. You win in the preparation. Haney versus Garcia might be my uh, fight of the year. Man, Otto Beck versus Raymond Ford. That was my. Young as you. Uh, yeah, I produce Dustin Biggs. Produce Tarver is cool. As, yeah, man, Tarver is cool, bro. New member, baby, baby, baby. Biz, have you ever played The Last of Us 1 or 2? Uh-huh. I played them both. I didn't finish two, though. I was having a ball, but I didn't finish it. And the show is great, too. Uh, when the fight starts. Uh, think uh, Javante Tank Davis is fighting Frank to get ready for Haney? I do. 
I think that's a perfect fighter. That's the first slick fighter that he's fought. And he needed to get one in to prepare for Haney or Shakur. One or two. It could be Shakur. But either way, if you want to be an all-time great and get into a Hall of Fame and stuff like that, I understand money. But it's time to be a, be a legend. Because I don't think Javante Tank Davis got into boxing just for the money. I think you want to be an all-time great. Every fighter do. If you listen to Javante Tank Davis talk, he talked like a fighter. He don't talk like a moneymaker. He talked like a guy like, I'm ready to get these dudes. Well, let, let's, listen to what he said. Listen to what he said right here. Listen to what he said right here. I know we got, I know we got two fights lined up, but that's the main one that we focus on because, you know what I mean, it's, a, it's been a lot of talks in the boxing world, and I, I ain't really trying to do no more talk. I'm ready to, you know what I mean, go through everybody. What is the inner motivation for you for this fight? No disrespect, but to come get niggas. No lie. 100%. 100%. The people that runs his business who advise him, they think money. That's where the roads cross. One is thinking money as they should because they're not fighters. And the fighters are thinking fights as they should because they're fighters. Right? But at some point, the fighter got to be like, hey, you're wasting my prime years. I'm trying to be great. At some point, the fighter's going to say that. Floyd did it. He bought himself out the top rank contract. Roy did it. He dropped his father. Hey, I got to be great, bro. I got to be great. I only got one life to live. I got to be great. You waste my damn time because you're afraid to lose money. Let me see. Thoughts on Jenna Beck versus Crawford? No thoughts because he's about to fight Chris Eubank. Uh, your forehead is a six pack. That's mad cool. Thanks, brother. Going to sleep. Uh, tired of waiting. Good night, brother. Uh, let me see. What time are the fights? Uh, to AJ versus Nagano. Crawford should be calling out Matias. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I was just saying, well, people see a fight or two or heard a name or two and then start talking. <laughs> see what I'm saying? That's that shit. That's that shit, bro. <laughs> That's that shit. Just don't know what the hell's going on. That's that shit. <laughs> Matias is hyped out. That's what you got from that? <laughs> That's what you got from My man said Matias is a hype job. That's what he got from it. <laughs> now Tank wants to fight, wants to fight everyone. That was a while ago. He's been one. That's the point I want to make. He said that before the Hector Garcia fight. That's where his mind, the, the point I'm trying to make is that's where his head's been. But the business, his advisor's been on money. He's He want to come get people, fighters. You're saying now, you missed it. That was over a year ago. Let me see. Uh, who should uh, Boots fight since Crawford is busy? <laughs> Anybody who's willing to fight him. He can't. It's gonna be hard for him to make fights. Everybody's afraid of him, so or afraid to look bad against him. Anybody he can fight. If Crawford ain't gonna fight him, who you think can fight him? Anybody he can fight, bro. If I was him, I go to one fifty four though. Tim W, what's going on, brother? Say what's good, Ben. What's going on, brother? You said Spence. Anybody can fight him, man. Let me see. Uh, when are you uh, going to ask Canelo some questions? <laughs> Canelo doesn't like me, though. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, Boots is Andre. What? No, they don't fight anything alike. Boo. He's closer to Roy, and he ain't no Roy. 
uh, I hear you, but I've also heard him say he's not concerned with going down as a great and just wants to make money and dip before he takes damage like they did. Mm -hmm. That's what Floyd taught him. But number two, what did he just say? His fighting spirit, he wants to whoop Haney and Shakur's ass. You can't just talk to Tank. You can't just say, Tank can't just live with, yeah, you ducked Haney and never fought Shakur. He can't live with that. He can't live with that. He can't live with that. That pisses Tank is different. That pisses him off. You see how he's talking to Frank? Especially coming out of jail and been stuck in the house. He's been stuck in the house coming out of that dude pissed off. You look at his tweets or his ex post or whatever when he's talking to Frank Martin. When he's talking to Frank, he's like, man, I'm gonna I'm a murk your ass. Like he he's he's done with the shit, bro. He's done, but he's being held back. Many fighters are. Many fighters are being held back. Jamal Charlo's career was ruined. Uh, what's good, Biz? Uh, just showing some love, brother. What's going on, RC, brother? Uh, he right uh, there, bro. Uh, what you mean? He right there, bro. What you mean? Oh, that? Y'all mugs, they're too clever with the you dig. <laughs> Point. Yeah. You know, let, let me tell you something. Back, back in the day, in the 80s, if your name was Frank, your name was Frank. I don't know why we're like, hey, what up, Frank? That that was a thing. Your name was Frank. Hey, what up, Frank? <laughs> hey, what, what up, Frank? Like, it was Frank. You know what I mean? So I, I'm just talking like the brothers did back in the day. Let me see. Uh, do you think uh, Boots is in a bad spot? Yeah, he's good. He's in that Terrence Crawford spot, right, when you're good where Terrence Crawford was. He's good. He makes you look bad, right? Uh, let me see. All the older guys at 154 and above will duck him, and so will the young guys around 140. Well, he's 147, but yeah. Much love, brother. Yeah, I mean, that. look at Turkey. What's going on, brother? That That's what happens when you're dangerous. He's in that clubber lane spot, right? He's clubber lane. He has to keep fighting schmoes until somebody give him a chance. Is this the main card? Oh, they playing the anthem of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Oh, that was it? I was trying. It looked like they were mouthing words, but I didn't hear words. I just heard instruments. I saw. I just saw them two. To his left, I forget their name. Uh, Kwa, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Usyk's boy. And this woman, I just saw them two at in in uh, at the Canelo fight uh, against your male. A uh, biz. Uh, you got to start showing the clip of Will Smith selling bone dens uh, density machine uh, when boxing tries to sell us bad. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. Fabulous. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, as soon, uh, I mean, as long as we only talk about famous boxers uh huh, and how much followers they got, uh, the sport will suffer. And so the rest of the of the many good boxers there are yeah but we don't do that on this channel we talk about all fighters right if you if you come to this channel for a second you'll know especially our podcast we go around the boxing world every time so when we when we use the famous fighters in the thumbnails casuals show up and when they show up they end up learning about the history of boxing about other fighters women fighters we bring them all up all right so that's one two the it's not the lesser fighters that we have a problem with the lesser fighters are hungry. They're the clubber lanes. They're fighting each other. But it's the it's the people, the fighters in silk pajamas, that the casuals know that we got to hold to a certain standard. We got to make sure that they are putting on the great fights because those are the ones that people are going to watch. If they're putting on shitty fights, then all of boxing fall because nobody's going to watch the shit fights because people aren't dumb.
They get shit fight after shit fight, and then they don't trust boxing. You get what I'm saying? Like tonight, AJ versus Francis Ngannou should not be the main event. It shouldn't. AJ versus Francis Ngannou will bring the people, so they sh that should that fight should happen. That's fun. But the main event is Joseph Parker versus Zhang, 100%. People, if they would have, people going to show up because AJ Francis Ngannou was on the card. But don't make them the main event. Get what I'm saying? People got to stick around, right? They got to know who the main event is. Well, if AJ versus Nagano is in the main event, who the, that real shit is the main event. Joseph Parker versus Zane. We got to flip it. We got to flip it. Do you know how many times the best fight was on the undercard? We got to get this right. We got to get this right, bro. That's why Jake Paul was right for putting Amanda Serrano as the main event and him as the co-main. That's why I like what he did. Now, Amanda Serrano had an injured eye, so she couldn't fight. But still, uh, Terrence Crawford said uh, they wasn't giving me the big fights. That's why. Now he's in a position and he picks B-level fighters. That's right. Come on. Uh, make it make sense. I feel he's scared of boots now. They. That's just what fear. I don't know. Look at Rocky three. It's Rocky three, bro. They get in silk pajamas and sophisticated, bro. This is the main card. The main card came on. The main it's starting. I gotta call the fights. Uh, let me make Canelo fans uh noise. Uh, Canelo Doug Benavidez for the fifth time biz. You count it? I, I agree. I, I trust you. I trust that it's five. I trust you, bro. And you, and I'm pretty sure you can pinpoint every time. I trust. Uh, what are the best casinos to gamble at in the U.S. and in what states is uh illegal to gamble online here in Georgia? Dog, my bookie, dog. <laughs> my bookie is all I know, brother. My bookie. That's the uh the channel sponsor. Is my bookie above everybody? Let me see. Kerbinov. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Y'all see that. Nick Ball and Ray Vargas, brother, that, that stare down was, you should start your own boxing organization. <laughs> I need a lot of money for that. Y'all need to get a, a GoFundMe or something. <laughs> you need, a, I need a lot. I'll start my own fantasy boxing league. The link is in the description box, and we're playing already. We made some predictions already. I'll show you. I'll show you once we, we uh, when Ray Vargas start fighting. Cause that's the that's the prediction I started. Uh, sup, biz? I got Zang and Francis by KO TKO. Okay. Uh, let Lemur her uh, that lion. Uh, mine for the one time, one time. You you bet on my bookie. Hopefully you get to the bag, brother. I know I bet on the the exact opposite, so I'm trying to get to the bag myself. Terrence Crawford said they <laughs> wasn't giving big fights. Oh, I read that. <clears throat> 11 30 p.m. it starts, but well, we all got different times. Hey, here we go. Yeah, the link is the description box. You'll be shocked to see the Fantasy Boxing League. Let me show you. Let me show you before we get started. Let me show you the Fantasy Boxing League for, for you guys who haven't seen it. It's totally fantastic. Uh, let me see. It's something that this channel has started. I'm rate 15. This is my profile. These are the leader. This is the leaderboard right here. All the way up to the top 50. Right. Um, you get to make a prediction, but there's no fights because all the predictions are 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 in now. This is the dashboard of the Fantasy Boxing League. This is it's the beta, but it's free for everybody right now. The game rules are here. This is your prediction history. And you're going to be able to look at other people's prediction histories very soon. You see the time on this because this is what's current that we made predictions on. And these are the points. Now, in the game rules, they, they'll show you how the points are tallied. All right. And these are the current leaders, the top three. You got Chick, who's in the war room right now. Allen is the uh, project manager. Uh, Scullo, he's in the war room right now. 
right? Um, it's it's a it's a fantastic it's a fantastic thing. The link is in the de description box. You guys should join. Um, it's about making the right predictions. If you know boxing, and you follow boxing well enough, you can make the right predictions. Now, when it become official, right? When we give an official launch, you're gonna be able to start your uh boxing leagues, and you compete within your leagues, and the, all the leagues compete against each other in in a leaderboard. So it's it's going to be very 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 fantastic, and right now it, it has a lot of success success already. But wait until we get the 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 uh, boxing leagues together, and we when we do it officially. Right now though, it's good to get started, see how it works, see how your predictions work, how you're going to be able to approach you know climbing up the leaderboard and all those things. It's fantastic. Oh, let me see. There are only three more fights before AJ. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, let me see. Uh, show biz. Uh, what's goody champ? What's going on, Jonathan? Jonathan, man, what's going on with you, brother? Hey, this, this, this fight's going to be ridiculous. This fight's going to be ridiculous. This fight's about to be ridiculous. Madrinov, Madrimov versus uh, Kurbanov. Hey, I, I, I got Madrimov, but this fight is about to be dumb. This fight is about to be dumb. Watch, watch, watch this matchup. Watch this matchup. Let me see. Yeah, this fight is about to be fight. Check this shit out. I've been watching you since <clears throat> years ago, and I share your view, Biz. Uh -huh. Love the, uh, from Barcelona. I hope you achieve uh, your purpose, and thanks for your joy. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. No, how, hey, the car starting now. Kurbanov and, and Matrimov. This is going to be very, very difficult for me. I just want you to know to say those names is going to be, it's going to be, I'm, I'm just going to say Kerr and Mad. All right. Because this, this is going to be very difficult for me to, to, to call. All right. Here we go. Because I'm going to be stuttering and slipping up on the words and everything. Madrimov versus Kurbanov. I'm going to be having a hard time. All right. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to tell you already. Kerr is moving extremely well. Good job to the body, Madrimov. Hey, Kerr is moving extremely well already. That was a good jab from Kerr. Good jab from Kerr. Madrimov going to have to just get in there. Bam. Good jab from Madrimov. These boys are in incredible shape. Like, this is their fight. Like, they're like, listen, this is what it's all about for me. They done stayed up thinking about the fight and shit. Good right hand. Dog, Kerr is over here. Kerr looked like it's his night, bro. I ain't even lying. I, I had I had mad winning, but as soon as Kerr came out, I'm like, he looks ready. That jab from Kerr is intercepting a lot. Good jab to the body from Madrimov. This man, I mean, my man Madrimov is is fighting like a uh, Beck the bully, bro. He got to be careful. I could see the overhand right just destroying Madrimov, and Kerr is being very economical. He ain't going. He ain't going to throw it yet. He's going to make. Madrimov feel very comfortable with dropping that left hand. Look how he's pawing his left. Curious. I'm I'm terrified for Madrimov at this point. Good jab, Madrimov. Oh right, see, I told you he tried to lullaby him, and he threw that looping right hand. He he knock him out with it. He he, he just missed it. Watch, watch. Kerr Kerr is trying to loop that hand. Matrimov got to keep the keep that guard up. Good job, Matrimov. You got to keep that guard up, baby. Hey, Matrimov looked like he's just sitting at the end of shit. Like this, this one minute ten seconds. Good hook from Kerr. Is it, see, this fight, this fight was necessary for Matrimov. Bam! Good right. You see it? Right hand, right down the pipe, landed right on Matrimov. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt got that that little weak Philly shell jumping off. Good jab to the stomach from. They both they both got huge holes going on in their defense. But I like Kerr's footwork better than Matrimov's. 
Oh, good check left hook attempt from Kerr. Shit. This, this may this may be how Bilbo and Better BF end up looking. Oh, good right hand from Madrimov. I don't know how he landed that. Oh, that now I know is that Philly Shell. If you throw that right hand high enough, and bruh, that Philly Shell be pissing me off when you don't know what you're doing. You got to be very good at it, man. 15 seconds in the first round. Most people aren't, but everybody keep going to it. Good right to the body from, from Madrimov. They they both both of their right hands are somebody's. I mean, look at the opposing defense. They both are susceptible to the right hand. They both are susceptible to the right hand, bro. Hey, what's up, Sean Porter? How you doing, brother? I ain't seen you in a minute, brother. A new member, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, the taco shell. Yeah, you said double G. That's what you were you were talking about. But see, but see, Triple G was a far better jabber. He fights like Beck the bully. Madrimov fights like Beck the bully, bro. He's he made his face may look like Triple G, but his he the way he's fighting, not even close. <clears throat> Triple G was a well-oiled jab. He, he had the best jab in the business, though. He had the best jab in the business. Yeah, Kerr, Kerr, Kerr won that round, in my opinion. But you know, you saw something. You you saw you saw how that straight right from Madrimov can can do his thing. The footwork of Kerr is a problem. Good jab. There you go. Good jabs from Madrimov. There you go. Maybe Madrimov took that first round because I I have Madrimov winning. But the way that first round looked, I was like, Yo, Kerr looks too good for him. Pause. Good head movement, man. Now there you go, man. That's the Madrimov I know. Now shoot the jab. There you go. They now we're talking. Had to get your timing down, Madrimov. Good jab to the body. Madrimov is moving way too much. Like he's over tiring him out, especially being so heavily muscled. But he he has to. Oh, that uppercut was a great punch selection from Kerr. He just missed it. But if you look at how Madrimov was moving while he was jabbing, I can see why that uppercut was just the perfect punch. Two minutes left in the second round. Oh, good left hook from Madrimov. Good right hand. You just missed. Throw it again. That weak Philly shell. Throw it again. Good jab to the body. Right hand just missed. That looping right. Kerr believes in it. And I believe in it too. I think that's a right punch against Madrimov. Left hook just missed from Kerr. Kerr taking that step back, clearing the distance very well. And I like how educated Madrimov is while he's moving forward. He's just not moving forward with a good jab. And I think he's afraid to get countered, get his jab countered. It's not like his jab is the greatest jab in the world. So he 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 knows where his flaws lie. Oh, good hook. Good double jab to exit. Good work. Now, Madrimov can easily get Kerr against the right hand just missed from Kerr. Can get Kerr against the ropes because Kerr takes a step back all the time anyway. And he, he circles sometimes. Oh, good right hand. That's what I'm saying. That weak-ass Philly shell, bruh, because he's not lifting that shoulder high enough, bruh. That right hand is going to come right over top. Look at that ear. Red as shit. His ears as red as his trunks. Right hand just missed from Madrimov. He's he going to knock her out. Good, good. I'm, ha I'm happy Madrimov got himself together. Good left hook from Madrimov. See, now everything is landing. Now everything's landing. Get right to the body, Kerr. Ooh, see, Kerr is so smart with that uppercut. He's just not, he's just not landing it. Good left hook from Kerr. Left hook to the body from Madrimov. Keep working. Jab to the body. There you go. Keep working. Bam. One, two, bam. Left hook. Madrimov working. Kerr started shaking. Oh, good one, too. See, see. I'm telling you, they're both susceptible to the right hand. But Madrimov is landing his more and more. He landed his more and more. The problem is now Kerr is trying to have a more textbook defense now because that Philly shell was not working against that right hand. But his textbook defense is even weak. His textbook is weak.
uh what's up uh showbiz uh i bet uh on aj and zane i bet on aj and joseph parker joseph parker one one uh-huh magic muff gonna get the ko uh-huh with the with the with the right hand he may he may do it with a with a lead and left hook though because that lead and left hook start finding this mark when curse start squaring up so that lead left hook has nothing really against here go here bam when he starts squaring up more, and maybe he's not even squaring up. Maybe it's Madrimov taking a little step to the left and squaring him up for himself. Because when he threw that left hook, he was more squared up. Jabs to the body from Madrimov. You want to know why? Because he's going to throw a right over top of it. So he, he's going to throw a jab to the body, right hand over top. So he's jab to the body, jab to the body. Bam, up, jab upstairs. He jumped with it like triple G. Y'all just said he looked like Triple G right there. I don't give a damn anybody. He looked just like Triple G right there. Little hook to the body, hook to the head. Right hand from Kerr. All these from Kerr. Kerr got, oh, good left hook from Adrian Muff. This ain't going to work, Kerr. This ain't, that ain't going to work. Bam, good right hand. That ain't going to work, Kerr. That ain't going to work. Yeah, you're going to have to change that up. Kerr had his hands dropped and he was trying to use his head as bait. That wasn't going to work. Madrid Muff is just too surgical right now. Oh, where, oh, where has my little Jake gone? He got he got that double barrel shotgun. He's too surgical right now with it. Two minutes, five seconds in the three. Good right hand, Kerr. Right hand just missed again. I'm telling you, Kerr knows the right hand supposed to be there. The difference is, good right hand from Madrimov. The difference is Madrimov got better instincts than I thought with his head movement. Way better. Oh, good. Oh! That left hook landed again. Madrimov is taking a slight, a, a, a quarter of a step to his left, and he's throwing a hook. He's squaring Kerr ass up. One minute, 30 seconds in the three. Good left hook. See? Yeah, yeah, see? Now now Kerr is like, yo, I'm about to sit in this, in this Philly. Now watch what happens with this right hand. Watch what happens with this right hand. Because he's leaning straight back, too. Watch this. Watch this. He's back. He's back in that real tight Philly. He's trying to make the Philly as tight as possible. Watch this right hand. Bam! Bruh! That right hand, man, all night long. It's all night long. So, your boy's throwing the left hook to keep him in that Philly. I got to throw the left hook to keep you worried about it. Watch the right hand. Watch the right hand. Oh, that left hook got his face bruised up, so he don't like how that feels. So he's going to be in that Philly for a minute. Now, you see? You see? Now, look look at the footwork. Look at the footwork of, of Madrimov. Oh, good right hand from Kerr. Madrimov starts stepping to the right more because he's looking to stand that right, throw that right hand over the shoulder. 30 seconds left in the third. Good lead left hook from Kerr. Kerr doesn't know what to worry about. That's sweet science. That's called the sweet science. I'm so excited by how I saw. Oh, good left hook from Madrimov. How I saw Madrimov look at this math equation for one round and then start breaking it down to solve it over these next two rounds. Right hand from Madrimov. So now, I'm going to be honest. Right now, Kerr only has a boxer's chance. I mean, a puncher's chance. Kerr only has a puncher's chance right now. He has to land a good shot. Because there's nothing discouraging Madrimov from breaking him down. Nothing. Biz, you don't like the Philly? I like the fi I don't like the Philly alone. Mm -mm. I hate it. I actually hate it. I like when a high IQ fighter uses the Philly. I hate Teofimo Lopez's Philly. I hate I like I like Boots Philly. Floyd Mayweather was mwah. him and James Tony. Mwah. Okay, that's the Philly. All right, but a lot of people have taken it on because of Floyd and they don't know what they're doing. Floyd said to himself, y'all keep jumping in this Philly. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. You got to really know how to catch punches and know what you're doing. It's not just this. You got to know. And then you got to know what offense to do out of it to make it even better. You can't just do that. It's actually a weak defense. It's kind of like after Ali when everybody was bouncing on their toes. Ali knew how to bounce back and forward, side to side. It's not just bouncing on your toes. Fight on your toes, yes, but know how to do it. 
Uh, it's not the same without Brian Custer last night. Oh, uh, what happened? Wait, did somebody get hurt? His Philly uh, is more of a cheesesteak than a shell. I'm telling you, that's a Philly cheesesteak, bro. I think I think he hurt him. I think Madrimov hurt uh, Kerr. I was trying to read the Super Chats. I think he hurt him. Good job from – see, everything's working. You, 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 good job, fuck that. Yo, the Philly ain't shit. It ain't shit unless you know what you're doing. I'm telling you, man. You better off doing the George Foreman mummy style. Two minutes, eight seconds. In the, that's why I was screaming at Raymond Ford last week. But then he got back in his textbook and he won the fight. There you get back, get in your textbook. Now move your head side to side. Kerr, shit. You just bounced it backwards and forwards. Good jab. Everything about the land. Now you now you just slugging. See, Kerr not even boxing anymore. He just need, like I said, just a puncher's chance now. He just punching now. He got none of that shit. Look, he's not throwing his hands now because nothing works. If you don't know what you're doing, don't even train with it. One minute, 30 seconds. Good left. Good right hand. Madrimov, he has the abilities. I mean, not Madrimov, but Kerr has the abilities. He has the abilities. Now he's back at, now he's at textbook, but now his guard not high enough. Right? He's used to his hand being like this from the Philly. So then when he does, he's sitting right here. Now he's back in the Philly. One, bam! Left foot clean! Brother, you ain't got shit. You, you got no... You, you, yo, y'all little kids, y'all young bucks better start boxing textbook. Unless you got it, unless you really got it, good right hand. Unless you got Floyd Sr. showing you some shit, get the hell out of it. 50 seconds left in the fourth. Good jab to the, to the chest. Uh, or unless you from Philadelphia. If you're from Philadelphia, okay. But other than that, bro, Good right hand. Good combination. From Madrima. Bam! Good right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good, good, good right hand, Kerr. 20 seconds left in the fourth. This is the fourth round. Good combination. This is the fourth round. Look like it's the 58th round. Good. Look. look. Madrima caught him with left hand. Look like Madrima has been beating him like, like a drum for 85 rounds. Good right hand from Madrimov. See? Now, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Madrimov is up, man. 3 1. Y'all get what I'm saying? Is Zane next? No, I think Ray Vargas versus Nick Ball is next. And then uh, Zane versus uh, Joseph Parker. But y'all y'all get what I'm saying? Swing round. Get your ass out of here. Yeah, George Foreman said that the Philly show was extremely risky. So did Floyd. So did Floyd. The Philly, it ain't the defense, it's Floyd. Floyd didn't even always do the Philly. Against South Pauls, he, he was textbook. You got to know what you're doing, man. Thank you so much, Alberto. Thank you again, Alberto. Yeah, Madrimov is nice. He never got discouraged. He never got discouraged by the footwork of Kerr. I can't wait to watch uh, <laughs> Oompa Boompa uh, versus Ray Vargas. Hey, Matt, that's going to be damn hilarious. That's going to be hilarious. Yeah, I can't watch the wait to The punch is going to be raining down from the heavens, bro. Two minutes, 45 seconds in the fifth. Bam, good right to the body. So somebody told Madrimov to knock him out. Look at how Madrimov is coming out. Somebody said, hey, man, get him out of here. Get him out. Get, him, get, 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 get Kerr the hell out. Bam, good right hand for Madrimov. See, get him the hell out of here. They say, get, they say, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Good jab to the body. Look, look how Madrimov is fighting. Eat him up. Eat him up. If you don't knock him out this round, you'll knock him out the next. Whoop his ass. Bam. Good jab. Boom. Right to the body. Look at that. And he ducked right into it. So he threw the right hand to an area, and Kerr ducked right into it. <laughs> oh, good left hook after the jab from Madrimov. Good right hand. Almost sneezed my eyeballs out, out the socket. Two minutes, five seconds in the fifth. Oh, they're already hanging halfway out as is. Yeah, but cut. Left hook just missed. Shit. <clears throat> That's the thing about the spring coming, boy. I, oh, good right hand from Madrimov. Yeah, yeah, he's hurt. Good left hook. He's hurt. 
Get the hell out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. Keep 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 letting your hands go. Good 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 hook for Matthew Muff. Oh, curse the tough cookie. He's like, come on. Look look. Bam bam. Good hook to the body for Matthew Muff. One minute thirty five seconds in the fifth. Good good head movement for Matthew Muff too. You don't know where this is. Am I going to throw a hook? Uh, am I going to throw a right hand? Bam. There go left foot. Boom. Good jab. Curse like shit. But Matthew Muff know that face. He's seen that face in sparring. I know that face. I know what that looks like. Kerr, just throw, throw the right. Ah! Kerr didn't have much funk on the punches right there. One minute, ten seconds in the fifth. Damn. Kerr, Kerr, some of his, I think it's the body shots. Kerr's not throwing the punches with the velocity. Good left foot to the, it's the body shots. Good hook upstairs. He got Kerr hurt. That left hook to the body. Oh, good jab to the body. 55 seconds left in the fifth. Bam! Good right hand by Matrimov. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to be ringing your bell. You can ring my bell. <laughs> I let that right hand. Yep, that was it. That was it. <laughs> Stop the fight. <laughs> hey, I knew that right hand. He did a round off flip flop back. I knew that right hand was landing right there. But listen, whenever y'all, if, if, if Miguel makes the short of this, as soon as he went to throw it, I said, it, it hit around the butt. Why? Get that shit out of here, man. Get that out of here, man. Over with. Over with. Over with. Thank you so much. Remember, but he said, bless you. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh funny uh guy in his own way. I dig it. A funny guy in his own way. I dig it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, my brother. Over with. Yeah, it's over with. Madrima whooped his ass. It's over with. It's over with. He whooped his ass for, for, for five rounds. Yeah, he spanked his ass. Spanked his ass. You can't just up and bam. You can't just up and sit in the Philly shell because you got quick hands. Just sitting in the Philly shell because you got quick hands, bro. I got Parker by knockout. I, I know everybody like what, but yeah, I have I have a reason for it, brother. That Philly shell ain't gonna that you know. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this too. Remember when my Donna hurt Floyd? He threw that overhand. Remember when my Donna hurt Broner? Remember when when he when he hurt Broner? Don't get it. Don't don't get the big head. <laughs> Parker gonna get KO'd. My book is right here. Put the money on it. Put the money on it, bro. Uh, weight is a big factor. Uh, remember what happened with Canelo. All right, but one, um, Joseph Parker been sparring with Tyson Fury, who's six nine, three hundred pounds for years. All right. So Zang isn't going to, because Joseph Parker is part of Tyson Fury's camp. So Zang ain't going to show him something that he hasn't seen. That's one. Two, like I keep telling you guys, Zang, if, if you take him into deep waters past the sixth round, he looks horrible. He has horrible stamina. Horrible, especially at 300 pounds. But don't take my word for it. Let's, let's watch the fight. Let's watch the fight. You know, I'm not crazy. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, he looks like, uh-huh. You think that was a good stoppage? Of course. Kerr thought it was a good stoppage. I ain't the one getting punched on. Kerr thought it was a good stoppage. That's that shit. Parker's chin is suspect. No, it's not. Parker's chin ain't suspect. Uh, I agree. I have Par Parker by unanimous decision. The Zang weighed in at he weighed at at two ninety one point six. Chain to say, "Yep, right there." That's why his his 
his uh stamina's always low. He's a chain smoker. And he's trying to give give up on it. He's trying to give up on it. Zane's gonna outbox him. Cool, cool. For 12? He's gonna outbox him for 12? Cool. Cool. When's the last time Zane went 12 rounds? When last time Zane went 12 rounds? He's gonna outbox him for 12? When last time Zane went 12 rounds? Yeah, the dream, Matrimov. Herkovich, what year was that? What year was that? And I have a follow-up question. What year was that? Two years ago. How did he look when he went 12? Good or bad? 2021. How did he look? Good or bad? How did he look when he went the distance? Good or bad? Bad. Okay. There you go. There you go. Shit. Horrible. I know. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, let me, let me, let me, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me, let me show you something real quick. Gassed. That's how I look when you take them to deep waters. That's how I look. Now, many of you only know him versus Joe Joyce. I know Zane. I know Zane. Joseph Parker just got to survive. If he can't survive, then it's a wrap. But I know Zane. I know Zane. I know Zane. I know Zane. Who was that guy he was fighting? Who was that guy he was fighting? What was his name? What was his name? Ah, 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 ah. Jerry Foster. There you go. Who has Jerry Foster fought? <laughs> I'm just saying, brother, 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 gifted 50 showbiz the adult memberships. <laughs> Dr. King tried to love somebody. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. I got to give you your damn love. <laughs> Here's a Tyson Bale. <laughs> uh, will it be tougher than Wilder, you think? Yeah. Uh, Zang is a better fighter than Wilder. Yeah, it'd be tougher than Wilder. Uh-huh. But what's going in, in, in Parker's favor is that 
Parker train against Tyson Fury. He'd been in Tyson Fury's camp for three years. How long he been with Tyson Fury, y'all? He spars him all the time. Zang is a poor man's Tyson Fury. He, he <laughs> He's always with him, dog. He's always. Do you think Fury's not helping him against Zang? Dog, Fury, brother, he's, he, he, <laughs> he's been with Tyson Fury for three, four years. Brother. <laughs> Tim Butler, I mean, Jesus, Louise. It's not like he's like, man, Zang is big. And Zang, he's been with Tyson Fury, bro. Tyson Fury. <laughs> Why do you think he looks so good against Wilder? Four years, pimp. Four years, pimp. What did my man say? Four years, pimp. Now, that's the reason why I bet on Joseph Parker. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm just saying why I bet on him to win. But we'll see what happens. Parker got to swim without getting wet. You ain't lying. Brother, did you do it again? Brother, ho brother, hold what the... <laughs> Don't forget, it's Friday night. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf. And lady, Dr. King tried to love somebody. That brother got the party started. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I don't know who the hell, whoever outside must be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. My, the way my dog's barking, whoever's outside must be Leatherface. Because, geez, Louise, there must be a, 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 a hatchet murderer, an axe murderer outside. Uh, what's up, Biz? How often do you check your email? Uh, not lately. Not lately because I've been so busy with a lot of stuff. What the hell? I've reached uh, out to you a few weeks back related to business. Good brother. Much love, brother. I know I got a lot of business going on too, brother. If I didn't reach back, I, I just, I probably didn't read it. Hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Man. Oh, it actually felt good to walk around. I don't think my butt was falling asleep. I've been sitting here in this chair for too damn long. Grab the Uzi. I thought it was on. Charlie. My wife gun is far more bad. My wife got the got the best gun in the house. <laughs> brother, look, Dr. King tried to love somebody. Brother, ho brother, ho a song right there, Dr. King. That like that that song you want to talk about having a good ass time dr king got the party started 50 memberships brother my goodness mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. but that's the kind of love we give here this community is full of love right you got people say hey yo give me one just come around come around bro uh -huh. grab the shockwave you remember the kind of the the other gun i have yeah brother the the shockwave is is nice but it got nothing on the magnum my wife has 
I grabbed the Magnum. It, 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 when I thought somebody was outside the house, I grabbed the Magnum, bro. I was like, listen, I'm trying to blow through the door. <laughs> through the person, through the car. <laughs> you don't got to open the door. Just bam. <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> I wear a Magnum, too. That was for the ladies right there. My man say, you know, see if the ladies impressed. The ladies don't give a shit. Anyway. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> That's a mature game. The ladies like. <laughs> what can you do for me, brother? <laughs> can you make my life easier, brother? <laughs> One hundred and fifty members members in about three minutes because of Dr. King try to love somebody. Brother, one hundred and fifty members. Biz, this is a new new Congo player from Chuck R. Brown and the Soul Searchers. An EU band in D.C. So um, glad. Uh, you believe in yourself to create this show much. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, your real, your, you're really, uh, inspirational, bro. Thank you, brother. And a good dude. We love you, bro. Love you, boy. That was, that was fantastic. That was fantastic to you and, and the soul searchers, man. That is beautiful. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five upon the shelf. Hold on. Hold on. Dr. King tried to love somebody. Hey, every hold on, everybody. I think Dr. King just tried to love somebody. I'm trying to hear it is right here. Here it is right here. Brother, hold on, brother. Hold on. No That's 200 members in about five minutes. Brother, please. That's beyond support. Beyond support. That is the most, that's everything. Uh, oh, no, Dr. King uh, about to get showbiz singing again. <laughs> hey, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of messages now, so it's hard for me to, to click, but I, I love the love. Right now, everything is like flying through, and it's hard for me to see, but I love the love. All right, man. I had to get some of that, some of that carrot, that carrot action. So, Ray Vargas versus Nick Ball next, huh? Let's go. And then after that is the fight of the night for me, Parker versus Zane. AJ versus Naganu is a plus, but I got a thousand dollars on AJ. But listen, I heard somebody say King is wild, but here's the thing about Dr. King trying to love somebody. He knows that I've been on, right now it's 3.30 where I'm at. I've been on since 10 o'clock, nonstop. I've been on since 10 o'clock, nonstop. So Dr. King tried to love somebody. He's like, listen, brother, help support this man. So Dr. King, love you, boy. Uh, Biz, uh, look out for a fighter named Elver uh, Gallagher. Galarga. Okay, brother. That's going to be easy to remember. Uh, thank you so much, Jordan Wood. Bro snapping. Yeah, he, he, he's, I mean, that's just, that's just mad love, bro. That's just mad love. They showing, uh, when AJ arrived. They showing when AJ arrived. A new member, baby, baby, baby. Uh, bro was killing it. Uh-huh. 
This man said, Lawrence, you can borrow my wife. He told Lawrence he could borrow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Let me tell you what happened the other day. I was getting my hair cut from Rob the Barber. Shout out to Rob the Barber. Rob the Barber told this guy. He told this guy that he looked like he survived an abortion. Now, that is one of the meanest jokes I've ever heard in my life. This brother was feeling good, and he told that brother, you look like you survived a, an abortion. <laughs> Listen, don't roast in the barbershop. You're going to get obliterated by the barber. The barber has so much experience. He's like a fighter. He, he has so much experience dealing with, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Bring those members to the fantasy boxing league. I need to feed. No, this guy here. Chick thinks that he's the best in the, somebody got to get him. Somebody got to get him. Somebody got to get him. This guy supporting the show, but also I like the idea of someone potentially down to their last dollar being able to enjoy the community. There you go. That's Dr. King. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. He likes the idea of people still being able to participate and enjoy the community and don't really have the money to support right now, but can still enjoy the community. That's Dr. King for you. He's the man. He's one of the biggest supporters here. He's the man. Leo Ramirez, too. Uh, let me see. Uh, how you got 3.2 thousand people on the fights hasn't even started yet. Uh, proof uh, you ate uh, the man and the war room <laughs> that you ate. Proof you ate the man and and the is the war room. Brother, to have to have a lot of people here. Man, it's just it's I, I, it's just the community, bro. The community. No, dog. Ray Vargas is. Oh, I don't even want. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not very religious, so I don't know what that means. What we got going on. Um. I think it's the community. I think I think we put together the kind of community where everybody just feels at home here. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's just like watching me get my shit off. I think everybody actually enjoy each other un until shit gets out of hand. Then you see people like Jackie just not talking anymore. Like I saw that Jackie was just like, Right when things get out of hand, you're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Let me see. Uh, these across uh, the water fights always put me to sleep. Really? Thanks for calling the fights. Uh, they got to do better. Really? These are my favorite fights. I like the oh yeah, I like I like these matchups better than uh the matchups we've been getting. I shit, I'll be looking at UK and Japanese fights, and especially um here in Saudi Arabia. I just be like, man, we. We suck, bro. You know, I've been, I've been jealous of the matchups, actually. Uh, flex on him, yo, biz. You think Jake will solidify himself as a future champion? Uh, fighting Mike, not fighting Mike Tyson, no. But I can't see him becoming a champion, though. I do. And, and I know people are like, that's great. No, I, 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 the way he's dedicated, he's dedicated. He's dedicated. That's way concept. They just show way concept. That's my guy. Um, all Nick Ball uh, will be able to uh, do is Mario jump. Uh, uppercut yeah that hey brother that boom that I don't know what he's going to be able to do plus Ray Vargas got a chin I've seen him drop the knockdown but he got a chin bro uh let me see became a, a YouTube member thank you so much I forgot what I was saying but there's a lot of people I'm going to mess around and miss some comments all right I just want to let you know because there's it's really flying a boogie just got here battling a few the flu uh-huh that's because the earth is sick the weather is changing so ridiculously in the night and the i mean you, right I, i'm taking all the vitamin c i possibly can and i'm still i get tired um it's not uh the fight it's the commentators oh got you see because I, I watched the fights with the volume down so i wouldn't know okay i got you uh became a youtube member baby baby -bay. i have to have the volume down down or so i get copyright so i okay i got you all day i got you all day long what I miss, uh, Matrimov versus Coleman. The, that was a great fight. All right, the, the dream, Matrimov eight. 
I remember when I first saw him, I said he's gonna be great. A uh, new member, baby, baby, baby. Biz has Parker fought yet? No, they're, they're fighting next. This is this is Ray Vargas versus Nick Ball, and then um you have uh Zhang and uh Parker. I watched you uh two years ago, and to be honest, I love boxing more. Oh man, that's fantastic, brother. That is fantastic. We're doing our very best too. You know, boxing, boxing can mess around and disappoint you. But the thing is, I love the sport so much. I want people to love it as much as I love it. Right? I mean, Ray Vargas versus Nick Ball is gonna be hilarious. Like, like, like I know people in here who love the sport. Like King loves it, right? Uh Optimus Prime, he he loves it. Uh Maria and and uh um Jackie lo loves it. I mean, absolutely loves be unique is, is loving boxing right now. Um uh Lawrence King loves it. Matt is Matt's addicted to it. You know, there there's a lot of you here. Like Sadate, though he jokes, he definitely loves boxing. Um y'all here no matter what chick loves he's addicted to boxing. You know, so there's a lot of you in here who loves boxing. Not naming y'all all. Tim Butler. There's a lot of you who loves boxing uh the way I do. So we're sharing the love. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. This thing is flying by. Hey, check out the height difference between Nick Wrecking Ball versus Ray Vargas. Uh, got a homie. He used to say he can't stand your antics, uh, but I kept sharing your takes to the point now uh, he's sharing your shorts with me. Uh, real won't be denied. Brother, thank you. I know that's the thing. If you just take me for face value, no, <laughs> you like, get this dude out of here. But then it's like, hey, he's actually passionate and he's making great points, bro. You know, even if you disagree with me, it's like, at least he gives a shit, right? So, yeah, I know. I end up growing on people like that. I, I've been that way since a kid, though. People say, oh, man, this guy's soft. Then I whoop their ass and they're just like, hey, he's he's different. Because <laughs> I never act like what, what my heart is beating like, right? I'm, like, bottled up, but, I, but it comes out in a happy way, right? But I vibrate high, angry, and everything. Let me see. Uh, the War Room. Uh, the and the community was uh made by the members. Yep, we support each other. Yep, so welcome to all new members. Yeah, everybody subscribe if you haven't. That that's a good segue. You're right, brother. If you haven't subscribed, I don't ask y'all to subscribe much, but you should. You should and come around more often. You should subscribe and come around more often. You'll find your way. We'll mess around, and be talking about alien subductions and, and everything, bro. You know, you'll find you'll find out. Like, man, this is what I wanted. You know, you, you get some assholes every so often. You do. But we convert them. Then they, they put their insecurities away. They put their guard down. They end up having a good time. You know? Uh, Biz, if Loma won the fight against Devin, well, I think he did. I think Tank would have been Loma's next opponent. If you leave it up to Loma, yeah. Um, What's your opinion about that matchup? I got Tank. I had Loma. Now I got Tank. Uh, by the way, I learned more about boxing through you. Thanks, brother. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, now I got Tank. Tank. Tank Tank is fabulous. The problem is he doesn't have a fabulous career. That's the problem. And that happens. That happens. You know, it all, it's all about the team you put together. Let me tell you something. Shakur Stevenson, though he, he thinks I don't like him, Shakur Stevenson is putting together a fantastic career. Though that last fight was shitty against De Los Santos, it was a good opponent to have on your resume. Though De Los Santos is a good opponent to have on your resume. He's putting together a nice career. It's just now you know that he plays it too safe when he has, a, um, has an issue. So you want to know how does he act when he gets hurt, right? We've seen Terrence Crawford hurt. How does he act? You saw Tank hurt. How does he act? Knock your ass out. That's not Shakur. But other than that, though, Look at his career he's putting together, though. Hey, man, Top Rank be putting some careers together. I ain't even going to lie, bro. Top top Rank, look what they did with Loma. Look what they doing with Shakur. Look what they doing with Teofimo Lopez. They put together some. They, they I, I can't hate on them. Uh, I just listened to uh, the last two fights, and I hear the audio. Yeah, the audio sucks. Uh, show biz, any uh, hope in fighting uh, the Death Star? Who was that? You talking about like in Star Wars? A new member, baby, baby. 
hey y'all this is really flying by I'm, I'm i'm sorry if i miss it's going to be hard to pause i uh, spent a decade trying to get my son to watch boxing without results six months of the morning podcast got him on every day <laughs> yeah brother because there's probably a reason why it was hard to watch boxing there's probably a reason why bro y'all look at the look at him though nick ball look at his reach his arms aren't long enough to put in his front pocket. All right. But he looks like a little tough little guy. Look how short his. Hey, y'all. This ain't. Hey, man. What the. Sh hey, dog. What the hell? Look at this little dude, man. This is some boot. Look at his arms. Look at his arms. You got to be shitting me. This is, this is tremendous. Look at his arms. His arms are mostly boxing gloves. Right under his elbow, the wrist of his boxing gloves start. T-Rex, T-Rex, you're, 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 you're giving him, you're giving him love. <laughs> right? You're making him blush by calling him a T-Rex. Those arms. Oh, hell. Look, hey, check out this there now. Check, yeah, they're being funny. This ain't who? Okay. Look at this there now. No, Nick is like, what are you? You know, Nick. You know, they, they used to call him Nick the Prick. Dog. Like he. You know he he used to he was a class clown and everything. Look at Nick. Look at Nick. Look, hey! Hey y'all, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? The Christmas story? <laughs> the flarm flicky flarm flarm flick. <laughs> Why did he come out already? Oh, he he's not. He's not. He's not. He just came walking out. Hey dog, who? I'm not calling this. I'm Matt. Matt. Brother, this. Varg is just punchy. What the? What the? Hey, 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 y'all. What the hell is this? All right, come on. There you go. This boy shot the jab. Don't shoot a jab. Look at the right hand. Don't shoot the hand just coming down from the heavens. Look at this shit. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, dog. We represent the lollipop kill. The lollipop. Hey, brother. Hey. Hey, listen. Just if I would just roll. I'll just do a tuck roll. He's shooting the jab. Brother. Just. I, hey, just hit him in the nuts. I would just hit him in the nuts. I would reach up and punch him in his nuts, bro. I would jump up and punch him in his nuts. This Ray doesn't even you want to know what's funny? Ray doesn't even know how to hit him. He's so short. Ray is like, I'm 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 flabbergasted. Look, he's actually he actually landed a jab on Ray. Bop, good right hand from Ray. Ray is <laughs> this is not fun. This looks like a cartoon. This this is not. They'd be a funny turkey. Turkey is hilarious. Turkey is hilarious. He got a a sick sense of humor. He got a sick one minute thirty five seconds in the in the first round. Hey brother, I would stand if I was Ray Vargas. I would stand up on my tippy toes. Can you imagine if Ben Whitaker fought a guy this short? Ben Whitaker would be dying. He would be laughing. He dog. Please give me Ben. Oh, good right to the body from Vargas. I don't even. I don't even want to say that. No, he threw two left. <laughs> Why is he pushing him in his body? <laughs> How is he? Go, go ahead, wrecking ball. Go ahead, wrecking ball. How is he punching him in his body? How is he getting that low to punch? Look how tall wrecking ball is trying to fight. This brother's standing as tall as he. <laughs> Oops. Hey, wrecking ball got some defense, though. Wrecking ball got some defense, though. You better. Ah, good right hand from Vargas. <laughs> Wrecking Ball got some defense. Vargas can't hit him, dog. Every punch is a rabbit punch. So he's like, I can't. I mean, every punch is illegal. Look at Wrecking Ball. Go get him, Wrecking Ball. Hey, don't judge a book. But go ahead. That boy looked like Puck from Alpha Flight. 
Y'all know who Puck is? Go get him. Go hook to the bottom. That bro, if y'all watch, look at Marvel comic, this guy is Puck from Alpha Flight. Good combination. You know that's Wolverine's height, right? Like Wolverine's supposed to be like that. Hugh Jackman, way too tall. Oh, good right hand from Vargas. This is some bullshit, man. The, the, go, wrecking ball, go get him. Go get him. Oh, good check left hook from Vargas. Go get him, wrecking ball. Use your little, use your height. There you go. Use your height, wrecking ball. Lack thereof. Use your lack thereof, bro. Ah, bro. <laughs> he threw an uppercut and almost cleaned up wrecking ball. Wrecking ball, go get him. This is this is this is hysterical. This is hysterical. Trey Trigger. This is from uh the family. Can't donate on YouTube. You done out donated YouTube and now cash app Trigger. Hold on, everybody. Trigger Trey. Some great. Bang, 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 bang. Trick or tie, cheat, trick or tie, cheat. Bang, bang, bang. But Dre Day only met easy day, day. Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch. Ah, that's Trigger. Bro, Trigger out here crazy with it. Trigger said YouTube, he out donated YouTube. So they cash. This guy's the truth, bro. I, Trigger Trey is ridiculous. He is ridiculous. All right, here we go. Here we go. Couple uppercuts from Ray Vargas. Two minutes, 50 seconds. I think I saw somebody say, boss, the plan, the plan. Good overhand right, wrecking ball. They said no knockdown. Hey, wrecking ball pushed him down. Wrecking ball got on top of his head and pushed Ray Vargas down. This is the funniest shit. Yo, go get him, wrecking ball. Go get him. See, nobody told Wrecking Ball that he was short. That's the thing. Re- look at Wrecking Ball. Damn legs. Look at his legs, everybody. I mean, not, not, I mean, I can't get on the, on the, is, he's a good right hand, Wrecking Ball. I think he's officially um, a little person. I think he's, I think he is. I, what, what's his height? 4'11? Oh, double jab from Vargas. Shit, Wrecking Ball. You, you, you can't, you can't be no Philly shell, Wrecking Ball. No Philly shell, Wreck. That, that's the the worst defense. Oh God, Ray Vargas is hooking. He's hooking. He's hooking. Damn it, Rock! No, somehow Wrecking Ball is getting his arm on the top of Ray Vargas's neck. This guy thinks he's Tyson Fury. He thinks he's Tyson Fury. One minute forty seconds. Big swing and a miss from Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball, knock your ass out. Go get him, Wreck. Go get him, Wreck. Wrecks and effects. That dude said, shake it, shake it, shake it, now shake it. The, oh, good right hand. Body so soft, it make me want to push up, like, uh, whatever is it. Uh, one minute, 24 seconds, it'll say, ah, good left hook, wrecking ball. Knock his ass out, wrecking ball. I'm going for wrecking ball. Go ahead, wrecking ball, good left. Wreck, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. Bam, we represent the lollipop gill. Wrecking ball had him because he said, wrecking ball said, nah, you ain't got shit on me, bruh. Left uppercut just missed. Yeah, shoe program. You don't know how to fight anybody this short. That's the thing. He using this lack of height as an advantage. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Ray Vargas said, bring your ass. Wrecking Ball said, you ain't got shit on the kid. You ain't got... What the hell? It just stopped. It just... Oh, good combination from Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray. I think Ray heard him. Some, something. It just stopped. It just stopped. It just stopped. Now I'm behind. I'm at 38 seconds. I'm at 30. For no reason, the zone said, are you still watching this? What are you talking about? 30 seconds left. Triple jab from Ray Vargas. Jump, jump. The Mac daddy make you jump, jump. The daddy Mac can make you. Nick Ball jumped, boy. Uh, Ray Vargas going to the body like nobody. I don't know how he's doing that. Good jab from Ray Vargas. Nick Ball. Wrecking ball, go get him, go get him, go get him, wreck, go get him, wreck. Mike Tice, bam, overhand left. Yeah, got the black trunks. He had him in the back of the head. Nick Ball, out, out, no, his arms be extending. He's like, go, go, gadget arm. It's like, okay, I think I saw some super chats. I'm, I need to find them. I need to find them, bro. 
Okay, boss the plane. I saw that. Trying to find. Okay, uh, no BS. I heard your audio of the fight when I listened to the playback. Oh, I see what happened. Turn your volume down on the TV. Oh. Turn the volume down on the TV. Okay. Because I can barely hear it. I can barely hear it. I don't know how you're hearing it. This man said 2 0 wrecking ball. And the thing is, it could be. It could be. Because I got 1 1, but it could be 2 0. It could, I, yo, yo, I know it's not, it's not being funny. I could see 2 0 for wrecking ball. Good left hook. Wrecking ball is whooping Ray Vargas' ass. Bam! Overhead right. Wrecking ball is like, y'all thought I was on some shit. Y'all thought I, I was on some shit. Bam! Good left hook again. Wrecking ball, like, y'all, listen, wrecking ball ain't going for the body. Oh, good combination from Ray. This is, oh! Wrecking ball slam Ray Vargas! Slam this punk ass! I'm going for, for Nick Ball. Nick Ball, he, Ray Vargas grabbed him. He slammed his chump ass. Yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. No, just get off me. I'm Nick the Wrecking Ball, bruh. I'm Nick the... Don't be grabbing me. I'll sling your little ass. He slung him like he was short. You know, I'll sling your little short ass. Look, bam. Go and get him, Wrecking Ball. I'm all for you, bruh. I'm go get him, Wreck. Wreck's in effects. That's my boy. Bam. The Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew. He chased him. Go get him. He go. He hurt him. Wrecking Crew. Good combination from, from Ray Vargas. Come on, Rick. Come on. Two minutes left for the three. Whoop his ass, Rick. No. No, Ray Vargas, you ain't got bam, met left. Miss. Get him. Rick and crew. Oh, good hooks to the body from Ray Vargas. Bam. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bam. Bam. Overhand right. Go get him, Reckon. Get him, Reckon. I reckon. I reckon ball. Oh, good combination from Ray Vargas. Come on. Come on. Bam! Right hand just missed. Wrecking Ball said, please, I'm the Mike Tyson of this shit. Overhand left. Jay threw a, a triple G. He threw an overhead. Good left. Wrecking Ball like, brother, I'm all for Rex. I'm all for Rex. Yeah, Ray Vargas starting to complain. Wrecking Ball is too, he's too much of a Wrecking Ball. When is AJ fight, bro, at, at the main event? Oh, uh, one minute, 18 seconds. Look, look, he fell again. Ray Vargas fell again. Wrecking Ball too much for him. Ray Vargas done touched the canvas three times. He ain't been knocked down. He's been slammed and pushed down and just go get him, Rex, in the facts. One minute left in the three. Big left. Bam! The Rex chasing him around the ring. That little, that's a little, little you know, honey badger. That dude's a little Wolverine. Look at him. The nobody mess with the honey badger. Good combination from, from Ray Vargas. I'm all for the honey badger. Oh, good left hook. Get him, Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Crew. Slam him, Wrecking Ball. Slam him again. Please. I love when you do that shit. Slam his ass. 38 seconds left. That's a tough look. Boy, pop your claws like Wolverine. Schnick. Pop your claws. Good jab. Get him again. Good jab from Ray Vargas. I ain't even calling what Ray Vargas doing. I'll... Go ahead, Rex. Good combination from Rex and the facts. I was laughing at your ass, too. That's what I get. That was a good uppercut from Ray Vargas. That's what I get. Good jab. Go get him, boy. With those short ass arms. We're not going to take it. Just... There you go. Get him. Oh, good hooks to the body from Ray Vargas. See that the, the, the body shots. Oh, ah, shit. He threw a combination in. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Move. You almost got your head, your ass whipped, wrecking ball. <laughs> Ray Vargas started throwing them hands. Wrecking ball had to chill. You almost knocked your little baby ass out. <laughs> Let me see. Uh uh on my block. Uh his name would be uh Man Man. Oh hell yeah, that's man man. On oh, no. you know that's man man. You got 2-1 Vargas? Probably. Probably. That's man-man. Yes, Lord. That's man-man. That's man-man. Wrecking Ball is, is everything I need. That's everything I need. And, and they said that he, you know, he got a big Jimmy. He got a big tally whacker. <laughs> they call him Wrecking. They, they, call, they say he's a tripod. They call him Wrecking Ball Three Legs. Nobody know that brother there. Look at that. Look at that. They call him old wrecking ball three legs. (laughs) 
That wrecking ball wears a magnum. That dude, like, look here, look here, boy, look here, boy. <laughs> I'll whoop your ass. I'll whoop your ass and take your woman. Go right to the body. From, from <laughs> get a wrecking ball. Wrecking ball chased him again. Do a right just this. I'm telling you, this ring is under construction with this wrecking ball. He's under the whole ring is under that's the demolition man. Boom. He about to do a demo job on your whole living room. That's what they, that's what they call him wrecking ball because what he does in the bedroom. They like, hey, listen, bro, I brought wrecking ball in, and my wife ain't never been the same. <laughs> he came by to visit. <laughs> and I just think he did. Oh, good combination for wrecking ball. They done threw wrecking ball down. Ray Vargas done threw Wrecking Ball down. What you doing throwing down Wrecking Ball? You don't do that. He's already down. How the hell you going to do something like that? Good job from Ray Vargas. You can't do that. He's already down. That brother's the can man. That brother's the can man. One minute, 50 seconds to the fourth. Ah, ah, good combination from Ray Vargas. See, you don't hit Wrecking Ball like you. I mean, he's a, he's a baby. He's man man, dog. Damn it. Don't hit Wrecking Ball like that, dog. Don't hit Wrecking Ball like that. Yeah, you know he's, you know what I'm saying? He little, he little, little, little dude. Good job, Wrecking Ball. Work. Wrecking Ball bleeding and shit. Oh, damn. Ray, don't hit Wrecking Ball like that. Come on, Ray. Ah, oh, shit. Ray Vargas whooping his, damn it. Wrecking, I reckon you getting your ass whipped. Good job. Uh, wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball. Oh, good left, Wrecking Ball. Go get him. Yeah, did, did. yeah. Push down on his neck like Tyson Fury. You, you seven feet. You on a block like you eight feet tall. I'm telling you, that guy down low getting all the rebounds. You're wondering, like, what the hell? This boy leading the whole team in rebounds and shit? And the thing is, Wrecking Ball was a giant in third grade. He was the tallest kid in the class in third grade. He just stopped growing. Good jab. Good jab again from Vargas. He was the biggest kid in school. Bullying everybody. Right? You know what? Wrecking Ball switches from Orthodox to South Park very, very seamlessly. Hey, Wrecking Ball get his ass whipped, though. Hey, that, that's... Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just—it's just too much. Ray Vargas hadn't hit him with too much shit, dog. Thirty seconds left in the fourth. Ray Vargas hitting him with too much shit. Ah, ah. Damn, he's just going upside his head. Oh, there you go, wrecking ball. Good combination. Why you stop it? What? Why did you stop it, Ralph? Oh, you a sucker. You a sucker. All wrecking ball did was hit him in his head, and you gonna stop it? Fifteen seconds left in the fourth. Good combination, Ray. Ray winning the round, dog. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's 2-2. Two, two. It's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, good jab, Wrecking. Good jab, Wrecking. Shit. Ray Vargas. Damn. Good left foot. Yeah, it was cute. It was cute, bruh. It was cute, bruh. Zang is out there now, getting tied in the back. Oh! Hold on! Hold on, hold on, brother. Flex on him. Hold on, brother. So tonight, gotta leave the nine five up on the shelf. Big boxing fan, when I found your channel, I can now only see a fight if you're streaming a fight. Do your, do your, I mean, due to your energy and authenticity, keep going, boy. Oh, and also, everyone, stop being a fanboy of boxers and be a fanboy. Sip, sip, pow, King Kong ain't got on JT, my man, brother. Thank you so much, brother. Wait, hold on. I got. Can you imagine Biz commentating the fight live TV? Hilarious, brother. They had kicked me out. I need Roly versus Wrecking Ball next. Yeah, give me Roly versus. <laughs> That's practically the next fight they got. Eastside Cruz, uh, just here showing love to my dog Show Biz Crawford. Real funny for that fight too. Yeah, that shit's hysterical, in a bad way too. All right, here we go. Two minutes, 40 seconds in the fifth round. That's what I got because my stream stopped. Oh, good, good jabs from Vargas. Wrecking ball, got a wrecking ball. Damn it. Got, oh, okay, good, good, good work. No, no, don't break it up. Don't break it up. The wrecking ball is, is, is three feet tall. When he gets him against the ropes, let him work. Why are you going to keep breaking it up? That's the only place he can work. Damn. See? 
Ah, shit. Good hook to the body from, from Vargas. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Good combination to the body. From... I'm rooting for Wrecking Ball so hard. That... Oh, ah, shit. That left from Vargas was on the money. Wrecking Ball walked through it to see he got those neck exercises. He ain't nothing but torso. He ain't nothing, but he ain't got no legs, no arms. No, he, he just torso, right? So, I mean, you hit him in his head. He ain't even got a neck. He's just Wrecking Ball. You hit him in his head, but it's was... oh, shit. Wrecking Ball kind of gets rubbed. And when all he can do is rough him up, not box him. So ref, you gotta let Wrecking Ball do his thing when he has him in that situation, so it can be an even fight. You can't keep the fight in the center of the ring. That's gonna make Wrecking Ball get his ass whipped. You're only refing it for Vargas. It's like Roy Jones versus John Ruiz. Like when John Ruiz had Roy against the ropes, that's when the ref jumped in. Good combination from Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball don't even want to get him against the ropes. He, he's going back in the Ah, good left hook from Ray Vargas. Man, Ray Vargas about to knock out Wrecking Ball. Shit, he's whooping Wrecking Ball's ass, bro. He's whooping his ass, dog. It was cute, too, man. 40 seconds left in the fifth. It was it was adorable. Look at his bowl haircut. I don't know where he went to get his fade. The brothers did him wrong. You know what I mean? Look what the brothers did to Wrecking Ball's haircut. Look at that shit, man. They ain't blend that at all. Just to do Wrecking Ball like this all together is just bogus as hell. Right? Look at a check hook, knock wrecking ball into the ropes. Like, ah, good body shot. Ray Vargas is whooping wrecking balls. That wrecking ball put on a good fight, though. That go ahead, good left wrecking ball. Overhead right from wrecking ball. Ray Vargas got he is hard. It, the honey badger all over you. The honey badger's all over you. Ah, little body shot. I don't know how Vargas getting down there. That's my thing. Pause. I don't know how he's doing it. Damn. You know what I mean? Look, look at look at his look at his fade. Look at his fade. You know, to do wrecking ball like that is just, you know, you know, that brother went to the hood, say, man, let me get a fade. They all laughing, gave him, gave him a bowl cut, tripod, uh, three legs. <laughs> can't be on. Yeah, that's why I can't be on TV. <laughs> that's precisely why I can't be on TV. Yeah, don't forget about Raymond Ford. I hear you, Maria. Uh, Alberto. Sent another dollar. He sent another dollar. Uh, 160 profit. Uh, let me see. Uh, you got me uh thumping off the wall classic. Man, for sure. For sure. For sure. Look, 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 look what they did. Look at they put look what they did to, to wrecking ball, man. They put Beijing on him. It's like, how how did they put Beijing on him, dog? You can't put Beijing on wrecking ball, dog. Double jab from Ray Vargas. He punched him in his armpit. Ray Vargas, you lying. Ray Vargas ain't win all those rounds. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, bro. Ah, good right hand from Vargas. I mean, Vargas is three two in my opinion. Double jab from Ray Vargas. Ah, check left hook. Ah, good right hand. Shit. There you go. There you go. Yo, Wrecking Ball slammed him down again. He pushed his ass down again. Ah, good right hand to the bottom. Ah, shit. Vargas teeing off on Man Man, dog. That's a little, little tink tink. You teeing off on little tink tink, man. Let, 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 let. He got a little pixie dust on him. Let, let him, you know what I mean? Let him get his shit off. There you go, Man Man. There you go, Man Man. Ah, good hook to the bottom. No, that was a body shot. That was a body shot, man, man. Uh, Biz, who Biz not? I mean, who's Bo Mac on a uh, Crawford? He's been winning forever. He was only with Chris Eubank for one fight. Oh, my God. Good right hand. Good right hand. Go and get him, man, man. Get him, man, man. Damn, Ray Vargas like, good shit. They talking trash to each other. Ray Vargas said, come on. Bring your ass. Man, man said, watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Good job from Ray Vargas. Bam. Oh, good hook to the body from Ray Vargas. Ah, shit. Vargas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come, come. On. Oh, damn, go get him, man, man. Get him, give him, little guy. Get him, get him, man, man. Shit, man, man. One minute, eight seconds left for the six round. Ah, ah, good combination. God, 
where's the wrecking ball at? Because you man man right now, bro. <laughs> where's the wrecking ball? I try giving more memberships. But they ain't going to let you. They ain't going to let you. Brother. I can't. It, there's so many comments. It's uh, 45 seconds left. He pushed him down again. Hey, you got to stop falling like that, Ray. Come on now, Ray. Come on, Ray. Good combination to the body. Go and get him, man, man. Good left hook. Be the wrecking ball again. Be the wrecking ball again. 30 seconds left in the sixth round. Good check left hook from Ray Vargas. Ah, right to the stomach. Got that floating rib. Got man, man, floating rib, man. You know, man, 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 he was born without the floating rib, though. You know, he's so, you know, his torso, he, he didn't have the floater. He got a two-pack, though. He got a little two-pack, Shakur. He, they push him down. Keep pushing him down, man, man. Keep pushing his ass down, man, man. Shit. Ah, good left hook from, from Ray. What the hell are you looking at, Ray? Oh, good left hook from Go get him, man, man. Get him. Just not, just not looking good. Hey! I come back to see uh, Lawrence Ben Love in the community. Brother, hold on, brother. How about you? So DJ spin the sound. And you said, uh... I can't. I come back to see Lawrence been loving the community. Yeah, he's been loving. And look, and look, and look. Look at DJ. Uh, that's my D. Damn. I, I saw what you did, though. I saw your membership. Everything's flying past, but I saw your memberships, DJ. You give it love. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. I got to play the song for you. Uh, I, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't find him. <laughs> Francis win and he never go back to the MMA. No, no, he's going back to it. He already signed the contract. He's going back to MMA PFL uh, next fight. This is last fight with uh, boxing for now. Good left foot. Go get him, man, man. Man, man jumped all over. Right hand from Vargas. Man, man said, look, it's about that time. <laughs> I keep calling him man, man. <laughs> ah. There you go, wrecking ball. Man, he's. Breaking ball a little dirty. Yeah, you got you gotta you may have to deduct. You may have to deduct. Ray, yeah, breaking ball a little dirty. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good clothesline. Hit him with a hit him with a uh hit him with his collarbone. Breaking ball jumped in, hit him with his collarbone. I don't know how he did it. He said his collarbone got more reach than his arms. He's like, I mean shit. I gotta jab you with my collar. I gotta jab you with the collar, dog. Good combination for oh, good right hand, man, man. Go get him. Go, he already, he already. Come on, Wrecking Ball. Ah, good uppercut. Work, Wrecking Ball. Got him against the ropes. Work, Wrecking Ball. Work. Ah. Work, Wrecking Ball. Work. Ah, good combination from Ray Vargas. This going to 12. This going to 12. Ah, shit. Good left hook from Ray. What you looking at, Ray? Oh, good. Good left. Ah, shit. Right hand to the bottom. Ah, oh, good combination. Damn, Ray. Wrecking Ball, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Wrecking Ball, you're trying. Ah, good right to the body from Ray Vargas. Wrecking ball like shit. Bam! Good hook from Wrecking Ball. Wrecking ball walking him down, pushing his gloves in. Like he's like he's Canelo Alvarez or some shit. Oh! He hurt him! Wrecking ball, go get him! Hey! Vargas hurt! Go get him, wreck! Oh shit! Go get him, wrecking ball! Go get him! Wreck it! Re push him down. Get, get up, get up, get up, Vargas. Yeah, yeah. Go get him, wrecking ball. Wreck his ass. Wreck it, Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph. Go get him! Bam! Yeah! Wrecking ball! Come on, Wrecking Crew. Good combination from Ray Vargas. Bam, good jab, Wrecking Ball. Drop his ass, Wrecking Ball. Come on, you got it. You got it. The Honey Badger. Get him, Wrecking Ball. Go get him. Good combination. Bam, good left hook. A left hook again. Get him, Wrecking Ball. Damn, good combination. Yeah, yeah Wrecking Ball said, bring your ass. Bring your ass. Dog. Oh, good right here from Wrecking Ball. Get him again. Ah, oh, shit. Good, good, good body shot from Brave Argus. Shit. Wrecking ball. Ah. Come on. This is a slug fest. Slug fest, baby. Y'all look like y'all look like the letter B, like a lowercase B. When I'm looking at y'all fight, y'all look like a lowercase B, bruh. Ah. ah, good right hand. Boom. Oh, good left. Get him wreck. Boom. Wrecks in effect. Put get, get, get off me. Get off me. 17 seconds left in the 17. Good combination. Drop his ass. Wrecking ball. Drop his ass. Hit him with a head, but I don't give a damn. Hit him with your collarbone again. Muff his ass. Poke 
punk ass look. There you go. Now go get it. Go get it. Ah, maybe he landed another left. Wrecking Ball said, What's up? They forehead to forehead. Wrecking Ball said, What's up now? Wrecking Ball said, What's up now? Shit. Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Crew. If how may be Canelo, is he the new face of, of uh, Mexico? Could be. They'll, they'll love him. They'll definitely love him. Shit, I don't like the ref. Me neither. Me neither. The ref is biased as hell. He must got a little money on Vargas' ass. He got a little money on Vargas' ass. He acts like this the 1800s or something. Like 1870 or something, man. Finally off. Let's go. There you go, Bam Bam. That's my girl. Let's go. Two minutes, 50 seconds, and an eight. Get him. Get him, wrecking ball. Get his ass. I see where your muscle at. Your muscle comes from your lats and your, and your, and your, and your, uh, your shoulder blades. Your muscles come from your lats and your shoulder blades. Uh, two minutes, 35 seconds, and an eighth. Ah, go right to the body from, from Ray Vargas. Go ahead, wreck. Go, bam! Go right here. Get his ass, wrecking ball. Walk him. Walk him down, wrecking ball. Walk him down. Walk him down. Throw it overhand right. Bam. Boom. Good left. No, it's 3-3 three, three in my book. It's 3-3 three, three in my book. Ah, shit. That was a good left to the body from Ray. No, but he got the he got the lats. That's where all his strength is, is in his lats. Good, good right hand. Good left foot. Work him, wrecking ball. He got him against the corner. Rip him. Rip, rip his ass. Two minutes, five seconds. Rip him. Walk him down. Now walk him down. Now go overhand right. Wrecking ball. Wrecking. Damn it. Ah. Damn, good combination from, from Ray Vargas. There you go, right hand. And walk. Back, good jab. Bam, bam, good combination. Good left hook. Now walk. Walk. Now dip, move, slip. Ah, good left hook, breaking ball. Now walk. Ah, good jab from Ray Vargas. Hey, slow up, slow up. Slow up. Dip, counter. Okay, pull, counter. Pull, pull. Damn, good combination from Ray. Bam, good right hand, breaking ball. Now walk. Walk his ass down. Now walk his ass down. Bam. Work. Good left hook. Work. Bam. Good left hook. Wrecking ball. You walk. You walk. Then slam his ass. Grab my. Slam this. Like, come on, wrecking ball. That's what I do. Demo job. You've been, you've been humping the canvas all day. I've been dribbling you off the canvas all night. Good jab from Vargas. You better work your legs, Vargas. Good jab from wrecking ball. Get his ass wreck. Good right hand from, from Vargas. Boom. Oh, right hand to the body just missed from Vargas. Yeah, shoe program. Boom, over, boom, boom. Good combination from Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball, you should use, use that, that collarbone. That collarbone rocked his ass last time. Those good hooks to the body from Ray Vargas. Double jab. Walk his ass down, Wrecking Ball. Walk his ass. Now spin like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, zzz, dun, 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 that shit. Just zzz, and go through that, that loop. Oh, he dropped him. He dropped him. That's a, that's a knockdown. He hit him and he failed, bro. What what? What is that? That's a balance shot. Okay. Rock, wrecking ball, work his ass. Vargas ain't ready for you. He ain't never been ready for you. He never been on your level. He ain't close to on your level. All right? You too short for him to be on your level. Look at him. They look like a damn boot. Them together look like a shoe. Oh, bit. Look like a damn. Oh, that's a knockdown. One. Thank you. Two. Thank you. Three. No, he rocked your ass. Shut up. He pushed you and went bam, boom. That's a balance shot. Now do better with your legs. And then he spit out his mouthpiece. Yeah, you little, yeah. Shoe program. He knocked your ass down. Wrecking ball knocked your ass down. And he been knocking your ass down all fight. Wrecking ball dropped his ass. That's a 10-8. If y'all score this right, wrecking ball is up. Y'all score this right. Wrecking ball is up. What do you think about Godzilla vs. King Kong? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very curious about their powers, but I'm excited. A new member, baby, baby. And what else we got? 
What else we got? First time uh, paying my tithes. Uh, what up, though, Biz? What's going on, Ray Johnson? What's going on, brother? Flex on it. Dropped your punk ass. And the last one was a knockdown, too. Now go ahead. Finish it. Wrecking ball. Finish it. Because you're too durable. You're too strong. You, you, you're too much. You're too much. Come on, man, man. Let's go. Nah, nah. Shoe program. Nah. Jab don't work. Ah, good combination from man, man. Jabs don't work. Jabs don't work. Bam. Boom. Go get him. Go get him, wrecking ball. See, sometimes short can be an advantage because he don't know how to hit you. Boom. Walk. Walk, man, man. He using his height as an advantage. Walk. Walk. I love this. This is my favorite shit ever. Oh, damn. Good combination from Ray Vargas. This is my favorite shit. The lollipop gill done whooped Scarecrow's ass. Two minutes and 28 seconds of ninth. Go ahead, wrecking ball. Don't cheat him either. Good jab. Don't cheat wrecking ball. Don't cheat him either. Don't cheat him either. Ah, good hook to the body from go get him. Go, nah, nah. Shoe program. Nah, nah, nah. Good combination for go get a wrecking ball. You missed. You missed. You missed. You missed. Walk away. Bam. Right hand just missed. Go get him. He's running from you. He's running. Bam. Oh. They don't, don't. You, you almost blew wrecking ball shoulder out of his socket. Yeah, he grabbed it. Oh, good hook to the body from Ray. Oh, good hook to the body from Ray. Good jab, wrecking ball. Yeah. That hurt, didn't it? Wrecking ball got that, that, that shoulder pressure. Good. Go ahead. Bam. Wrecking ball. Push him off. Push him off. There you go. Him in the back. Of, whoop his ass, see bass. Kick his ass, see bass. Oh, good uppercut combination. No, that don't hurt shit. Good right hand from Wrecking Ball. I'm on you, Wolverine versus the Hulk. I'm on you. Good right hand. I'm on you like flies on shit. One minute, 30 seconds in the ninth. Henry Armstrong style. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, good jab from Ray Vargas. Bet all them pimples on his back. We know where you take it. Good combination from the Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Crew. Throw an elbow, Wrecking Ball. Throw an elbow. Shit. Oh, good hook to the body from Ray. I love this. Oh, damn it. Damn it. They both exchanged right hands. I thought Wrecking Ball got the worst of it. I thought he got the worst of it. Yeah, he froze up on your ass. That was delayed. Wrecking Ball don't care. He don't care. Good jab. I don't give a shit. I ain't never cared. I ain't never cared. Oh, bam. Good left hook from Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Shoe program. You're not. Oh, good left hook from Wrecking Ball as a counter. 48 seconds in the ninth. Move your head, Wrecking Ball. Chasing him, chasing him around. The oh, shit. That right hand from Ray Vargas was... Nah, he was... Uh, <laughs> good uppercut. Ah, damn it. That's three uppercuts in a row. 30 seconds left in the ninth. I don't know where they got Wrecking Ball from, but, but Ray is like, never again. I would never fight him again. Oh, good right hand. Good combination from Ray Vargas. Damn. He started, he started to steal the round a little bit. Wrecking Ball had him. Oh, good hook, wrecking ball. Go get him. See, you got you you got a little body. You can go all day. You got all that all that energy is in that little body. Wrecking ball, you going the wrong direction, dumbass. Oh, big left hook from wrecking ball. Four thousand six hundred watching. Let's go. Everybody, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Hey, yeah. Shoe program, little wrecking ball, little wrecking ball, little. Re I got him up with a 10 8. Well, that's how uh, uh B is the best commentator, <laughs> brother. Brother, the the uh, the excitement is real. Joshua will wins. Yeah, I think Joshua wins. Ball is winning to me. To me, it was 3 3, and then it was a t wait, I forgot. And then there was a 10-8 round. I think he's up like two points. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I know he's up, though. Because what's this, round 10 or round 9? Because I think it was 4-4 four, four, about a 10-8. It was a 4-4, four, 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 then a 10-8, and then he won the last round. Good right hand from Vargas. Good jab. They drop his ass, man, man. Because he dropped him twice that round, but he only counted one. Good left hook from, from, from Wrecking Ball. Because Wrecking Ball know that he's been cheated his whole life. He's been cheated his whole life. His first he was cheated from you know his vertical, from <laughs> he was vertically challenged. He was cheated there. Look, look, he's there. Let's go. So he's like shit. Bam! Good.
Good right hand. Oh, yeah, he hurt him. Go get a wrecking ball. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Good, good right hand from Vargas. Bam. Good hooks to the body from. They said Vargas landed more shots than wrecking ball. About 20. Wrecking ball. This this the championship grounds, though. Oh, good right hand from Vargas. That that leave right hand. Oh, good right to the body. Oh, good left hook upstairs. He can't, he cannot deal with him. I don't give a damn. Vargas getting his ass whipped. Oh shit. That right to the body was nasty. Yeah, I thought wrecking ball was hurt, but he slipped. But hey, I don't I don't care. Oh, good right to oh, good left hook upstairs from wrecking ball. I don't care what anybody say. Wrecking ball is kicking his ass. Good jab from wrecking ball. Now, y'all can call it the sport. I don't know who's winning the sport. I know who's winning the fight. Oh, God, good uppercuts from Ray Vargas. That's why I said with Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Tyson Fury won the sport. I know who won the fight, though. And that was Francis Ngannou. Oh, good combination. Jake Wrecking Ball whooped his ass. He's half wrestling, half punching, one minute, 20 seconds. Good jab from Vargas. Yeah, because Vargas keep ducking his head down there. There's no reason why Wrecking Ball armpit should be on the back of Vargas's neck. That's Vargas. Good hook to the body from Vargas can't land a good enough right hand. He's trying to, though, He because I can see why. I can see where he will land it. Oh, good right hand. That brother's running. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like Wrecking Ball is a horror like he's a he's a he's an axe murderer or something. This Ray Vargas is running for his damn life. He's running 40 seconds left in the attempt. He's running for his life, bruh. Good jab from Wrecking Ball. Good right hand. Yo, he's Wrecking Ball is chasing him around the entire. You cannot tell me he's winning the fight. Dog, Wrecking Ball is is like, come on, man. Like chasing him around and hitting him with shots and shit. Who let this damn honey badger out the cage? Oh, good left hook from Wrecking Ball. Good body, body shot, Vargas. That was a good body shot. He snuck in a little body shot. But Wrecking Ball, his lats are so big. Good right hand from Vargas. Oh, good right. Oh, shit. Hey, he won that round, too. You can kiss my ass. You can kiss my ass. Yeah, little Chucky Charles, little Leroy. Yeah, I swear before Lord. You can kiss my ass. I got. I don't care who. Listen, I don't care what the judges say. Wrecking Ball is sitting down right now. You can't tell. He's sitting down. Him sitting down and standing up is the same shit. A uh, new member, baby, baby. Him sitting down and standing up is the same shit, bro. I don't care who the judges say who won. I don't care who the judges say won. I do not care. I know who won. I know. Man, that body shot is hellacious, though. That body shot is hellacious. Boy, that body shot is shit. All right, here we go. Come on, little man. Come on. They call him Lil Swole. Come on, Lil Swole. Hey, I'm the biggest. I want to meet I, somebody. I want to meet the wrecking ball. I want to meet the wrecking ball, bro. Wrecking ball chase him around a whole room. Somebody got to tell me what big right hand just missed. What makes you win a fight? What makes you win a fight, bro? Good combination from Ray Vargas. Wrecking ball blocking. He's catching a lot of this shit. Thank you. 95 94. I was about to say, and some of those rounds in there that you gave Vargas was bullshit. Good left. I was about to say, bro, wrecking balls up. They got it 95 94. Good left hook. Good right hand from Wrecking Ball. Good left. Bam. Good right. Wrecking Ball whooping his ass. Now, y'all, they're going to cheat him. They're going to cheat him, bro. They go because he's vertically challenged, man. They've been doing little people wrong forever, man. Forever. They don't even want dwarfs in the Snow White movie. They've been doing them mugs bogus forever, bro. They've been, go ahead. Go, go, do it for everybody. Do it for everybody. You and my man from Game of Thrones, just run this whole damn spot. Y'all burn this place down. Y'all burn this place down. Get on your little buggy or, or remote control car, whatever. You ride that back home. Whoop. Whoop everybody's ass from here on out. One minute, 35 seconds. Go get him. Go get him. Bam. Good. That boy got 
all kind of telephone books and shit. He's driving. He, he, I bet you he's driving. I bet you that much. I bet one minute, 20 seconds, and 11. Good right hand from Vargas. I'm trying to tell Wrecking Ball what he can't do. I was one of them. I was one of them. Talking about he's short. Man, pop, pop. Go get him, Wrecking Ball. No, Vargas short. Wrecking Ball, Vargas, Wrecking Ball didn't have his, his armpit on the back of Vargas's neck all fight. Oh, good right hand. He a giant. Go get him, Wrecking Ball. That's Wolverine. That's old man Logan. Go get him. Go get him. 50 seconds and 11. You can't, you can't win a fight like this, Ray Vargas. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Good body shots from Ray Vargas. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. You're trying to try to, oh, good left hook from Ray. But when you hit, that's the worst thing you can do with, with the honey badgers. Hit him. Right hand. Boom. Left. Boom. He dropped him. He dropped him. He dropped him. He went boom, boom. Ray Vargas. He back. Mother. He dropped his ass. He dropped his ass. Another 10-8. Now shut your ass up. That's the wrecking ball. 20 seconds left. You little monkey mouth mother. Go get him. Go. But get off. Get off. Get off me. We represent the lollipop deal. The lollipop deal. But go get him. Go get him. Pow. Left hook. He heard him again. Wrecking ball. Walking down. Walking down. Now go get him. Yeah. Shoe program. Can't mess with no cracking ball. That's my favorite fight. That's my favorite fight. Nick Wrecking Ball. Nick the Wrecking Ball. That's my favorite. Go get him. Boom. Then went after. Bam. And dropped him. That brother jumped up in the air with that vertical. Wolverine. You see the claws come out. Bam. Hey, look at Eddie Hearn. He was like, oh, shit. Because Eddie Hearn always be matchmaking and getting his fighters' asses whipped. He's good for that. He threw him against Wrecking Ball, got his, his fighter ass whipped. Look at Wrecking Ball. Say, I'm about to knock your ass out. I'm about to, because I know y'all going to cheat me. Y'all been cheating me my whole damn life. Jab, go get him, Wrecking Ball. Fight to the last second. This is the 12th round. Y'all been cheating me my whole life. Bam. Good combination. They got, they got Wrecking Ball up one point. Like some little softies. Go get him, Rack. You've been whooping his ass all fight. Y'all been cheating Wrecking Ball his whole life. Go get him, Wrecking Ball. Go. Oh, shit. Good combination, Ray. Good combination, Ray. That was a good uppercut. Go get him. Go get him. Bam. Ray knows what's up. You and I know what's going on. You and I know what's going on. That's the thing. Whatever they say, Wrecking Ball, Ray know. Ray know. Ray no, he ain't never got his ass whipped that bad. Ray knows. Go get him. Boom. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. Nice way to catch a shoot, wrecking ball. Nice way to catch. Bam. Good jab to the stomach. You are my favorite. You are mwah. you. You are everything. Every good left hand from Nick the wrecking ball. Go get go get his ass. Bam. Good right hand. Bam, good left. Get it, Rick. Okay. We represent the lollipop. Yeah. Oh. Inside the side, like a windshield wiper. Good jab from Ray Vargas. Boom. Good jab, Reckon. Right hand just missed from Ray Vargas. Yeah, get off. Rick and Ball say, get off. Grab the tape. Use the tape. Cut the nose with the tape. Rub. Oh, good overhand. Oh, uh -huh. drop his ass again, Wrecking Ball. Go ahead. The lollipop gill. Munchkin land. Whooping Scarecrow's ass. Go get him. Head movement. Jab just missed. Uh-huh. Right hand. Oh, good jab, Wrecking Ball. Yeah. Walking down, Wrecking. Walking down, Wrecking. Walking down. Hit him in the back of the I don't give a shit. Hit him in the shoulder blades. One minute left. Because they, they about to cheat you. They about to cheat you. Good. Good left hook from. Because he's blocking all this shit. Last 50 seconds. Good right hand from Vargas. They about to cheat his ass. Go get him. Bam. Good. Go get him, wrecking ball. Mother. Bam. Good left. Whoop his ass. 38 seconds left for the 12th. Ah, ah. Damn. Wrecking ball got caught with uppercut. To the stomach. Good jab from Ray. Good jab, wrecking. 
Uh uh-uh. Nah, shoe program, shoe program, shoe program. Wrecking crew, wrecking crew. Boom, miss. Go get him. How could that foot, honey badger? Go get him, man, man. How left foot? Be tight, man, man. Be tight. Keep your defense tight. Don't blow it. Boom, last 10 seconds. Bam, left hook. Throw him off of you. Bam, good left hook, wrecking ball. Yeah! Wrecking crew! Wrecking crew! They picked him up like a baby. Give him his pacifier and change his diaper and give his ass the damn W. Take Ray Vargas off your damn shoulders. He's already tall enough. The bullshit. They about to cheat him, man. They about to cheat him, dog. They about to cheat him, dog. Then we're going to see a robbery. Controversy. They know. They about to rob his ass, man. Yo, 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 turkey, turkey. You the face of boxing if you do this right. Turkey. Tell the judges we're going to do this right. Change the game, turkey. Change the game. In the States, that's a robbery. Change the game. Ray Vargas already got his hands up. He know that's a robbery. He knows. Turkey, Turkey Alashik, don't don't do this. Now in the fantasy boxing league, I got Ray Vargas by knockout, so so I lost that. But but I got the two knockdowns right, I think. Turkey, don't ruin it. You got a good product. The guy who won. We want the guy who won to win. You're putting together good matchups. We want the guy who won to win. Two knockdowns. Two knockdowns, bruh. Victory has defeated you. Who had wrecking ball getting two knockdowns in the fantasy boxing league? Nobody, bruh. Look at Wrecking Ball. He's walking around like, y'all about to do me in. Look at him. He's like, boy, I know. I know. He's like, I know. They, they, look, look how long it's taken. The fix is in, man. The fix, see? Don't, don't, hey, Turkey, you got the opportunity. You got the opportunity. Tur- don't do us. It was not the first six rounds were three three. Wrecking ball beat the shit out of him. It's not even a close fight. It's not even a close fight. Do garbage for trying to box with his hands down. I hope they give him their loss. Yeah, I bet on. Here we go. Just judges, 12 round. One fourteen, one twelve wave Vargas. Bullshit. Bullshit. One sixteen one ten. Nick Ball. One sixteen one ten is an ass beat. One thirteen one. They called it a split draw. One thirteen one. That's bullshit. They did. The fix is in. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. That's bullshit. That's bullshit, bro. That's bogus. That's bogus. That's bogus. He was not up that much to where he gets knocked down twice.
They robbed his ass. Biggest robbery this year. They robbed his ass. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Can we acknowledge how Spencer should have just at listen to I can't see. Should have just at listened to Floyd and took Crawford at to one six. No, no, no. We wanted it at one welterweight undisputed. He did the right thing. The referee broke you up every time. Got they both. They super bogus. No. Yeah, they cheated you. I knew they were. I knew they were going to cheat him. He's too short. He's too short. They don't want him champ. They cheated him. 116, 110 is right. That's right. That's how I had it. That's bullshit. Everybody know he won. Everybody know he's won. Everybody know he, he won. Everybody. I see Canelo watching with you. That's funny. I can't even be mad because dude lost the first seven. Not to me. He ain't lose the first seven to me. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We were judging that. It's because how it looked optically, it looked like Ray Vargas was mm -mm. because he's short and all that. Nah. Nah. We saw it. We saw we six ten one six six one sixteen one ten was right. We saw it. We saw it. Ray Vargas gonna say he won. We saw it, bro. He ran. He got chased. He was terrified, and he got his ass whipped. No, you no, 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 no. That 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 was disgusting. That robbery is disgusting. That robbery. They knew the only way to rob him. They couldn't give him the fight. They had to call it a draw. Vargas robbed uh M M uh McSayo. Yeah. But Vargas ain't do shit. It's not Vargas. Vargas just fought the fight. Ball is a midget rush. Shut up. He won the fight, bro. I don't care what you did. He won. We all saw him win. You can get moist all you want. We all saw him win, bro. Robbery, rough. And so, dog, it's so hard to, everybody's in here going off. Robbery, rough. And so is uh, me being on the phone and can't watch the zone and your live commentary should get funny. Funny. Uh, 6,000 people. Hit the like and subscribe. Yeah, Sadate. Hit the like and subscribe. I know it's difficult for y'all, man, for some reason, but hit the like and subscribe. I've been on since 10 o'clock a.m. All you got to do is do that for, that don't even take a second. All right. Uh, Inoue will KO Vargas uh, for the little guys. It's a damn shame. What, what, what I said, what I said was, what I said was those who won should win. That saves boxing. If Pac-Man didn't walk out uh, with him, uh, he would, uh, Vargas, uh, would have lost. Bullshit. Let me see what T'Challa had to say. Vargas and Reyes cheated. Uh, I'm telling Martin. Everybody saw. I don't care though, but we knew they were gonna they were gonna rob him 
in round eight. What did we say? They're going to rob him, but it's okay. We knew the fix was in. We knew the fix was in round eight. How did we call that? We knew. We knew. We knew. Did see the first knockdown. You're right, Biz Rob. 100%, bro. 100%. 100%. We knew the fix was in round seven. He didn't rob McSayo because he just fought the fight. He's not the judges. The judges are robbing. It ain't him. Everyone, everyone know you lost. The whole crowd, everyone know. Not everybody ain't stupid. Everybody knows. Everybody know. Everybody know. Everybody in the war room, everybody know. There's going to be a handful of you like, yeah, but the box. No, nah, you're the dumb one, dog. We all saw it. We all saw it. We all saw it. BS plus, he won't get another chance. He won't get another chance because he makes people look bad. So he won't get another shot. That was it. See, whoever won should win. Nobody's giving him any love. Ray Vargas, uh, the ref, did a great job the second half of the fight. He did better the second half of the fight. He because he kept trying to break it up every time the wrecking ball got close. Look, look at this. Look what happened in this fight. Look at that pull counter. Bam. Turn the lights down. Uh Lauren Hill and, and Bob Marley. Yeah, that was a shit. You can't be whooping somebody ass like that and dropping them and hurting them multiple times. You know, knocking them down, and you and and it's a draw. In what world? Beat the hell out of him. He beat the hell out of him. That little body shot. Can't come on, man. One sixteen, one ten. For me, it was three three. It was three three after six, cause we saw it. We saw what was up. We saw the punches he was landing, and the punches Ray Vargas wasn't landing. We saw this. We saw that Ray Vargas let his hand go, but he was like, we saw it. We looked dead at it. Watch the fight again. Watch the fight again. Actually, you ain't got to, man. We know what's up. We know what's up. The commentators are just biased as the ref because they're trying to, what happens is they try to take up for their show. They're trying to save the show. So you got to sound like that. Look, they're looking at the copy box. 118, 111, that's the copy box. Punches landed, right? So Ray Vargas landed seven more punches than uh, Nick Ball. But Nick Ball had two knockdowns. That lets you know. That, that's let you, that lets you know how close the fight was without the knockdowns. That lets you know how close the fight was without the knockdowns. When you get a knockdown, you don't land extra punches. One eight, he only landed seven punches more than Nick Ball. But then Nick Ball had two knockdowns. That lets you know that the fight was back and forth to begin with. That's that shit, man. Now, now is is Parker versus Zane. Fury had to fight for Parker. Well, not just Parker, but his brother too. His brother fought, or his nephew, or his uh cousin, somebody fought earlier. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Man, man, that's, yeah, I got Parker too. Should be a good fight though.
Biz, let me see uh, you throw a combo. I have no room to throw a combo. Sitting down, and I have no room to throw a combo. Hit hit the com hit the computer and the camera. Hit the damn throw a combo. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh, Biz. Uh, you winding down? I can't yell right now. I'm just I'm just pissed at. I'm pissed at what happened. I mean, I can't yell right now, but oh, he threw a left hook and stuff like. That. I'm just pissed at what happened. I cannot believe that. That is that is a robbery. Damn, I need boxing to get it right, man. I need boxing to get it right. It makes me think about the rest of the card. Now I'm worried about the rest. What if, what if, man, what if Zhang really wins and they give it to Parker or, you know, vice versa? moist yeah i'm very moist very moist because i need boxing to get shit right and boxing keep doing the exact thing that makes people not believe in it not trust it it's a product people can't trust damn uh why uh don't fighters ever own up to their loss in a, a post interview they shouldn't and just hand over the belt to the fighter who whooped them and give them their their due I hear that, but but they wouldn't. They wouldn't. I understand that. I understand how, you know, they won. They like, woo, you know, take the win. I understand that. But I'm just saying, why don't the judges just have the person who win, who won, win? Uh, will this be a robbery in, in Fantasy Boxing League? Submit it. You got to sub So on the Fantasy Boxing League, let me show you. It's a clear robbery, but here. So let me let me show you. We'll get it right. We'll get it right ourselves. We'll get it right. I was like, there's no way they're gonna do they're gonna do it right. There's no way. So um go to the dashboard. Wait, where's report of robbery at? I kind of forgot where it is. Where the hell is report a robbery? Leaderboards. Make a pro mm -hmm. Hey, where is it? Hey, where is it? I can't find it. Was it a robbery or no? For us, when somebody's robbed, it's a robbery. <laughs> for us, when you're robbed of the victory. Is a robbery. That's how we do it. We don't be like, what if and kind of like if if y'all submit the robbery, then it's a robbery. Yo, where is the. Hey. Do y'all see it? Hey, Chick, where is it? Click the prediction tab. Okay. Okay. Then what? Or maybe go to my dashboard and... Oh, wait. What if I pick the fight? Hold on real quick. Where is the robbery? Prediction history? Oh. Wait. Game rules? Did y'all remove... Allen, where is it? Allen. 
talent. It's in my prediction history. Why didn't I see it? I can't even, something's wrong with my computer or something. Because I can't even click the shit. Yeah, some, some, uh, uh, something's up with my. Oh, right here. Oh, okay. I still don't see it. I still don't see it. And then what? Y'all know more than I do. It's gone. I, I feel like it is. I said it was a robbery, and my woman looks at me and says, good God, uh, you're moist. That's funny. Clearly, she been hearing uh, you when I watch you. Like That is hilarious. She said, good God, I'm moist. Hey, Alan, we got it. We got to get the we got to get the robbery going. We got to get the robbery going, dog. We got to get the robbery going. We got to get the robbery going, dog. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Two minutes ago. I know, but OK, they keep saying my prediction history. Did y'all see it? Because I didn't see it. No robbery. Well, it's it's up to you to to make the you dig. Oh, when the fight is updated, you can call it a robbery. So he didn't update the fight yet. Okay, I got you. We gotta wait. We gotta wait for the fight to be updated. Okay, I got you. I was about to say, yeah, the fight got to be updated. Okay, cool. Cool. Because, so like, hold on. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay, we got to wait for the fight to be updated. Got you. Got you. My man said no robbery, then don't request a robbery. If y'all think it's a robbery, report the robbery, dog. Y'all think it's a robbery, report the robbery, dog. Then y'all was robbed of the rob report. No, no, it's there. It's there. Once the once the uh, results are in, when the results are in, then you can report a robbery. I got it. You can't just up and report a robbery. You got to the results got to be in. And when you see the results is OK, I got you. I got you. I got you. Did bro lose money? Mm -mm. Fantasy Boxing League. Um, predict, But that's not even it. What it is, is we need a boxing to get it right. Thanks, Biz. Uh-huh. Hit the Tyson Bell. Yeah, chick. We need boxing to get it right. That's what had me pissed off. Judges will be replaced by Al soon. Al. All right, let's go. Let's go. Joseph Parker uh, versus uh, the Bang Zang. Big Bang Zang, dog. Big Bang Zang. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they, they still haven't updated. I'm refreshing like a son of a gun. Let me know when it's up. Let me know when it's up. I got to do my commentary. Okay, now I've bet $200. On Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker to knock him out. I get twelve hundred dollars if I if Joseph Parker knocks him out. I get twelve hundred dollars if Joseph Parker knocks him out. My whole thing is I think he gets tired and Joseph Parker TKOs him. That's what I think. Right? So hey, but he has to survive. He gotta survive. 
uh, Big Bang Zang for the first, like, seven rounds. He got to survive him, though. He has to survive him, and that's going to be tough. But if he survives him, Joseph Parker, can, he can pull this out. Even if he gets dropped, he got to get up, and he can pull this out. Let me see. Don't ever uh, doubt Zang. I don't doubt him. I just got Parker winning. Uh, let me see. You're not getting the 12K. You're not getting the 12. What 12K? Did I say 12? I meant 1,200. 1,200. My bad. Uh, let me see. Hoping Zane wins uh, for the memes, bro. That would be hysterical. With a draw and a robbery report, if it goes through, we'll never get points. Uh, those for Vargas and those for Ball. Um, if yeah, if 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 there's a robbery, those who who predicted Nick Ball gets the points. That's what happens. Those who predicted Nick Ball to win gets the points. But I'm reporting a robbery out of integrity, not for my points. Right. And the thing, and like you said, if you, if you, if you predicted a draw, you don't get the points. So I know everybody who predicted Nick Ball is going to say report a robbery, but I don't think anybody really did. But I'm just doing it for the integrity of the of at least fantasy boxing league. Dude, Joseph Parker was whooping, was whooping. <laughs> He was he was whooping uh Wilder's ass, bro. He beat him like 12 0, bro. Let me see. Who predicted the draw? I'd love to know that. You picked Nick Ball. That's what I'm saying, man. People who picked Nick Ball deserve the points. They deserve the points. Big bang zang versus Joseph Parker is next. It's a robbery. Uh-huh. The guy who will win. Bet him bag on my bookie. Like I said, we don't just talk here. You, you, hey, he would put it back. No. <laughs> you just talk and it don't make a difference. You know what I mean? Who gives a shit when you just talk? Hey, I told you that don't mean that. Did you get it back? No. Let me shut your ass up. <laughs> yeah, man, I studied uh, hard for that fight. See? I say I studied hard for that, man. Drake got Francis winning. Yeah, I know. Drake put a bag of six thousand dollars. He put a a, a six hundred something thousand, something like that. He put a big bag on it. Uh, Raymond Ford said he'd give Nick Ball a shot. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, he deserves it. There you go, Raymond Ford. I know he would because he fought Otto back. Raymond Ford to fight Nick Ball, no problem. I know he would. He fought Otto back. Nobody's gonna fight Vargas. Why are you gonna fight Vargas? I'm gonna fight the better guy. I'm gonna fight the better guy. Not the bigger name, the better guy. Somebody got to fix boxing, bro. Somebody got to fix boxing. Whoever's the better guy will get the fight. Not the cutest face, the better name, the bigger star. No, whoever's the better guy gets the fight. Whoever fix boxing like that, and hey, if you better, you get paid. Oh, what time does the fight start? AJ is my homeboy. Then you should know, my brother. Uh, let me see. Uh, who's Drake backing in the main event? No, nah, Drake uh, been having good luck lately. Word. I didn't know. Pitbull versus <laughs> just totally different weight classes and shit. <laughs> Imagine Pitbull versus Nick Ball. Yeah, totally different weight class. Parker was always doing uh, to wow. Was doing wait, Parker was always, I don't know what it is, going to do wild or dirty. Oh, okay. Uh come on, y'all. Let's go, man. Big Bang Zane versus Joseph Parker. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, this is the one we wait for. This is our main event, right? This is our main event. If that dude knocks out Big Bang Zane, I got him number one. Uh in a, in a fighter's list. If he knocks out Big Bang Zang, Sadate is killing me. Dog, Sadate, what is Sadate, Sadate doing, Maria? What is he doing? And everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button for your boy. Hold on. And if you haven't hit the like, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get
get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those, get the thumbs up, hit the, hit the like, get those. Brother said he has the gas tank of a Prius. That's the funniest thing. You've been following him for a while, brother. That's the funniest thing in the world, brother. That is the funniest thing in the world. Hit the tights, man. Let me see. Here come, here come Joseph Parker now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the people's main event. That's what they said. That's exactly right. That's our main event. Man, we went up. We went up. So let's do it some. Let's do it again. If we got 800 people who hasn't subscribed, subscribe. We are at a hundred. We had 257,000 subscribers now. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. 800 of you, we get to uh, 258. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, bro. We do this all the time. No need to look for us. You subscribe to the channel, help support the channel. You know, I've been on since 10 o'clock, right? It's five now. You know, that's what, seven, eight hours <laughs> straight? Man, let's go. Yeah, Big Bang Zang is 40. He's older than Wilder. Most like, hey, you know Wilder was washed up. You know what I'm saying? He was 38. Like Big Bang Zang is 40 though, bro. <laughs> you drag, you drag a 300 pound 40 year old into the deep waters. He may fall on his face, bro. <laughs> you drag a 40 year old 300 pound man into deep waters. I know a little bit about being 40. I'm well into my 40s now. I'm 43. You drag, you drag a 40 year old 300 pound man into deep waters. That <clears throat> he's trying to get some sleep in. <laughs> Hey, Wilder was washed up, though. He's 38, man. Big Bang Zang is over here, 40. To kick your ass. <laughs> Damn, 43? Yeah, I'm 43. That's a blessing. You look good for 43, no homo. Thank you so much, my brother. Wilder was washed up, two completely different humans. Yeah, he wasn't washed up till he fought Joe, Joseph Parker, though. Joseph Parker washed him up. Let me see. What's the lore behind why you call it the Tyson Bale? It's signed by Mike Tyson. It's autographed by Mike Tyson. Here come, here come, here come Joseph Parker here. Wilder washed. Yeah, yeah. You didn't think he was washed until Joseph Parker, right? Joseph Parker washed his ass. I'm going I'm to tell you, though, to keep it real. Like I said, Joseph Parker was the second best fighter he fought. And both and and he trains with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury gave him the blueprint. That's why he looked like that. Uh just tuned in. Uh I got 1000 on Parker, uh 2600 back. That's that shit. That's that shit, bro. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they, they haven't updated it yet. They haven't updated it yet. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, hold on. Hold on real quick, my brother. Hold on real quick, my brother. Had to ban somebody real quick. Got him out of there. He going to know who he is when he tries to type again. He's like, damn. <laughs> Yeah, you'll never be able to, to, to comment again. Nick Ball uh, could uh, beat Raymond Ford, honestly. He performs better against shorter fighters who aren't 20 feet tall. Wow. Hey, if Nick Ball were to beat him, I'd be like, yo, bro. Hey, if he be, I'd be like, yo, I'm going to tell you right now, he's my favorite fighter. Nick the Wrecking Ball. He's my favorite fighter, dog. Uh, let me see. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Please do. Let me see. Did, did y'all subscribe when I when I sent out the back signal? Some of y'all did. A lot of y'all like, I ain't going to subscribe unless you offer 30000 It's like, damn, to, to do this? You know, it was funny to see how many people were like, to, hey, look, 
you offer thirty thousand, I can I can lift my arm and do it. <laughs> That was the straw. I've been asking people to subscribe forever. Man, everybody. Whoop. You know, but once we get to 300,000, there'll be another giveaway. There'll be another giveaway. Uh, let me see. Uh, that's just hate. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, you know, trying to give some love here. Look at Big Bang Zane. Tell you, Big Bang Zane. Look at him. He's, he, he got the eyes big. Jesus, he is, he is terrifying. That's a big dude. That's a big dude, though. 300 pounds. Big Bang. He, he, and he's so cocky with it, too. Big Bang is like, I'm going to whoop all y'all asses. Jake Paul knocks out Tyson. Knock Tyson out cold. Uh, first round, period. Put money on it, dog. What, I mean, there's not. Put, my bookie. They already got. They got it on my bookie. Put the money on it, bro. What the hell are you telling us for? Oh, let me see. Uh, showbiz. Let me remix the Hit the Like song. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You can you can strip it if you want. Dog, big bang, zang, dog. Look at look at him. Just everything's bland, right? He ain't in the shape he was against against uh Joe Joyce. He just come in big, and I guess he figures, you know, what I mean, I'm just gonna wait, just wait on him, right? He's thinking, okay, this fight, I'm just gonna lean on him and just big. Banging dog, big banging me <laughs> like brother. He's like, I'm a big bang, hit him with an armpit, put him in a headlock. I'm a big banging, put my stomach on him. <laughs> you got Zang under eight. Okay, let's go. Dog Zane's in there. <laughs> uh, 1K on Zane. All right, Matt. Everybody like Big Bang Yang. Everybody likes Big Bang Zang. I got Joseph Parker. I got Joseph Parker. I got Joseph Parker. Zang might retire after this. Yeah, he, he smells like Ben Gay right now. That dude smells like peppermint, Ben Gay, and uh, Crown Roll. <laughs> Hey, look at Joseph Parker. Look, look, look. Hey, hey, look at Tyson Fury back there. No, I'm telling you, he, he ain't like he ain't gonna be used to Big Bang, right? Tyson Fury, he been training with Tyson Fury all day long. He's like, I'm used to Big Bang, dog. <laughs> Y'all act like this is something new for me. Tyson Fury over there, six nine, just like yeah, yeah. I'm used to it, bro. I've been I've been sparring Tyson Fury. That's why Whoop Wilder's ass. He like I've been sparring this guy. <laughs> For four years. I know what that is. Now, if you're around my height, you're going to sleep my ass. But if you this, I know that. It's like me. I, I do better punching up because my brother's taller than me. But people who my height, I was struggling like a mofo, bro. Struggling. Oh, my Lord. That was crazy. Which fight is happening now? <laughs> you keep hearing everybody say Zang, bro. Just look in the comments. Just look at it. Uh, Gifted five show business adult membership. Thank you so much, my brother. All right, here we go. You see all these Zangs and Parkers. Hey, which fight is going on? <laughs> here we go. I'm nervous, I, but it's only $200, though. But I am nervous, though. I am nervous. Is Joe Sparker messing around doing this shit? Yeah, he about to lose. He's like, like dog, what do you think y'all, Roger and Zap? Computer love, computer love. Face ass. I know who was screaming. I'm like, my kid's screaming upstairs? Oh, let me turn this down a little bit. Stop screaming like that, bruh. You got me ready to call the police. I thought somebody... Hey, hey, Joseph Parker's in great shape, though. He in great shape. I'll give him that. He got that big melon, too. But see, so did Joe Joyce. See, Zane knock out... If Zane knock out Joe Joyce twice, 
he he knock your ass out, dog. Big Zang, dog. He looks he looks older than me by ten years, dog. That's what happens when you're big when you're big Zang. When he's sitting in your living room on the couch, you like I, how many couches you think he go through? He just sit he just sit down with some cereal and shit. It's like brother, you just look at him like. <laughs> You just can you imagine him just in a living room with a t-shirt, some hoop and shorts on, with some sandals, just looking at TV, gotta hold the bowl like this here. It was like, yo, get your your big funky. <laughs> dog, big thing, dog. He come walking in, fought, and it's like, yo, hey man, get out. You try to steal on Zane, hurt your wrist, like ah. Zang, bruh. <laughs> God dang. Here we go. Here we go. We here now. Yeah, there ain't no getting out the ring now. Harry Chess, Harry Chess Parker. Harry Chess Parker. Dog, that ref is too short. I'm going to tell you that right now. He's too small. You got to get a ref for Zang. Get a ref and get Zang off of him. <laughs> you got to get a rap. Bring it up. Here we go. Hey, Joseph Parker, you got to be on the move, bro. Look at Zang. You got to be on the move, bro. Zang is out here, 400 pounds on your ass. He don't rehydrate it like, damn, you rehydrated overnight? You already 300 pounds? Hey, 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 Joseph. Good head movement, Joseph. There you go. Joseph ain't throw shit. He's like, I ain't throwing a damn thing in for a minute. Oh, he threw a jab. Just missed. Dude, Zank, brother, big, big bang. He's different than Wilder because he's a complete boxer. So it's like, brother, big bang, bro. They just pawn each other. Nobody throwing a, really throwing a punch, really. Dog, big Zang. Oh, he's backing Joseph into the corner. Joseph, get, get, there you go. Get off the, <gasps> everything that Big Bang throws, I'm holding my breath. That's a good jab from Big Bang. Got it. You got to drag. Oh, shit. Big Bang shot a jab on your ass. Come on, good head movement, Joe. Bam, good body shot, Joe. Keep going to the body. Whoop, left just missed from Zang. Zang, don't let Zang land shit. If you let him land something, a booger going to fly. A booger going to fly. He will throw, a booger will fly. And don't clinch him either. One minute, 30 seconds in the first. They still pawn. The only punch was landed by Joseph Parker right to the body. Oh, shit. He got you backed up in the corner, Joe. Get out of there. Shit. Good right hand, Joe. Oh, shit. Left to the body from Big Bang. Joe, don't. Go right to the body from Joe. They, dog, somebody's sleeping. Somebody's sleeping, dog. Somebody, some, dog, somebody's on full snore. <laughs> good jab from Big Bang. Brother, brother, the 40-year-olds, good jab from Big Bang, dog. It, 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 hey, get off the ropes, Joe. Big Bang's on some forming shit. Dog, hey, Joe, get, good jab from Big Bang. Hey, good jab from Big Bang. He, this ain't this ain't Wilder, dog. He got a jab. And he's Good jab from, hey, Joe. Joe, oh shit. Oh, hey, Joe, don't, Joe, 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 you gotta, you gotta, whatever you're doing, you gotta change it. You gotta, good jab to the body from Joe. Left hook missed from Joe, landed on the back of Big Bang Zang. A 25 seconds in the first round. Shit, it's that jab for me. I don't give a damn. I think Zang went in the round. That jab is like, boom. Joe, you're gonna have to Joe throw an uppercut. Throw a uh, look at, you gotta leave, you gotta leave your leave the flow. Uh, uh huh. Oh shit. That was a left dog, big bang dog. No. You gotta make big bang work more than that, bruh. You gotta make him work. Nigel, we say big bang zang, eat cereal like tic tacs, no milk. <laughs> yeah, brother, hit the Tyson Bell. You got to make, yeah, I got Zang 1-0. You got to make Zang move better than that. You got to move side to side on Zang. You can't let Zang just sit here like. That's on that forming shit. All of a sudden. 
You can't be on that, bro. You got to make a move side to side, bro. Zane, the scariest heavyweight. Big Bang Theory. Yo, that. Start a universe with every jab. It's like, brother, listen. <laughs> listen, you can't. You got to make him move. You got to make him move, bro. Look at him saying like. You on his form and shit. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's like, hey, listen to me. Side to side like a windshield wiper. I forgot about AJ and Francis Nagano. <laughs> For me, this is like the main event. I forgot all about that shit. Good head. There you go. There you go, Joseph Parker. Move your head. <sighs> Don't move your head the same way. Zane going, shit. My money gone. Ah! Left, landed from Zane. I just knew. Oh, shit. Zane starting to turn it up, dog. Good right hand, Joseph. Stop him a little bit. You can't just. Good. There you go. Good right hand, Joseph. Come on, Joe. Sit down, Joe. Good right to the body, Joe. Nah, that ain't low. Hit him in that stomach. That vibrated. Nutsack, everything. Boom, stomach, vibrate. Shit! Shoot the jab. Oh, that left almost landed, Joe. Joe, you just sitting right there, Joe. You, you, you dumb as shit. Joe, side to side. Good jab from Zane. Joe? Oh, shit. That... Bam! Good right hand, Joe. You hit him. Oh, shit. That left from Zane it almost scared the hell out of me. Good defense, Joe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Joe, get the hell out. Get, Joe, get out of there. Joe, get the hell out of there. Joe, you're playing around. Oh, damn. Joe, you're back against the... Ah! Left from Zang. Oh, Lord. Joe, get the hell... Oh, shit. Zang done pushed Joe across the ring. Shit. That's that shit. There he goes. Good, good clinch, Joe. Good clinch. You just got to survive the first seven rounds, Joe. If you can... Oh, shit. Zang done... Good right hand, Joe. Zane done landed a jab. Oh, shit. Oh, good good left from Zane. Ha! Huh? Good right to the body, Joe! Yeah. Just keep landing that body shot, Joe. But you got to move your head, brother. You, you, you killing me. Good left, Joe. Get out of there, Joe. Get out of there. Zane wants some get back. Run. Just run. Brother, if you don't run, good jab, Joe. 35 seconds. Run, Joe. Get the Oh, shit. See? See, here come that shit. Nice way to clinch, Joe. Nice way to clinch, Joe. 30 seconds. In the second round. Oh, shit. Good left from Zang. Joe, you about to go night-night. You about to go to sleep. Good right to the body, Joe. Ha! Head move. Swim without getting wet. Good left from Zang. Blocked by Joe. This is wild. This is good jab from Zane. Shit. I got one, one. I got one, one. Brother, you got to do a lot. <laughs> Let me see. Zane got uh, his icy hot on tonight. Yeah. Brother, please. Brother, please. Yeah, I got one, one. That shit. Every time Zane throws anything, I'm. Brother. It doesn't look like much. It's just heavy. Before you know it, you're on that shit. Boom. You're on that. So you got to. <sighs> Andy Lee just. Yeah, Andy Lee, like, hey, just keep doing what you're doing and doing this and doing it. Andy Lee, you got to tell him right. You got to, hey, move your head side to side like a windshield wipe. You got 2 old Joseph Parker? Mm, I can see it, but I, I got 1-1. One, one. Dog, Big Bang is a southpaw, man. Good jab, Zang. Ah, shit. Move your head. Move your head, Joe. There you go, Joe. Move your head. Oh, shit. Who could faint, Joe? Ah, ah. 
Yo. Yo. Shit. Left hook miss. Joe trying to bait him. He trying. Ooh. Left just miss. Nice duck, Joe. Nice duck. Let's go. Oh, good right hand, Joe. Bam. Good right to the body, Joe. Yeah. 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 Good combination. Ooh, shit. Zang almost. No, that's a giant. He's like Andre the Giant. Good head movement, Joe. Joe's feeling good. Good right hand, Joe. He's feeling good. He's feeling good. Just don't feel too good. Shit, he hurt. He hurt. Joe got hurt. That yeah, that hurt. That 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 that, that left hurt. He Joe hurt. Joe hurt. See, that's the shit, man. That dude, he hit him like this, and it's like, brother, when you are that strong, bro. There you go, Joe. Get out of there. One minute, forty seconds left in the throat. Ah, ah, good comedy. Oh shit, it, don't. Uh, yeah, okay, Zang's holding. There you go, Zang. Thank goodness. If you were throwing a punch, Joe would have left the damn arena. Ah, good jab, Zang. Ah, good jab to the body, Joe. I feel like Pacquiao's mama. Shit. One minute, 10 seconds in the three. Good combination. See, I like when Joe was like this. I, there you go. Just have your body already moving. Bam. Good right, Joe. You have your body already moving. So Zang be a little intimidated to throw a punch. Oh, he dropped. Zang dropped him with a left. He caught Joe round the chin, dropped his ass. That power, bruh. He, all Zang did was do this. Brother, his nose broke. His nose broke. It's over with. It's over with. He broke his nose with one punch. It's over with, dog. Damn. It's 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 so over with. Ain't even funny. Ain't even funny, bro. He's on a, in a corner. It's so over with. It ain't even funny. And when your nose is split and broke, bro, it's over with. It's over. 20 seconds left in the third. It's, brother, I just needed you to, to survive the seventh. Look, Zane said, come on. Joe. Oh, shit. He's, he's dizzy. Oh, shit. Good body. Oh, damn. Joe, get out of there, Joe. Oh, shit. No, Joe. He's taunting. Joe. Oh, shit, Joe. Joe, if you don't get the hell out of there. <laughs> Fights that make me sit on the edge of my seat like this. That's why I love boxing. Yes, Lord. Let's look. Yes, Lord. Big Bang was like, and that look, he broke all that shit. He broke all that shit. Look, look. Bam. That brother was like, I mean, that 291. Dog, you see how his ears are that bop. Bro, that's <laughs> he hit him man. like brother. Big, it's over with. It's over with. I mean, I, I don't, how do you survive? It's over with. You don't, he's not okay. He's not okay. Parker got dropped, but he ain't, he's not hurt. Yes, he is. He's not okay, bro. Parker, look, look at the jab. He's not okay. Everything's about to land. Everything's about to land. Everything's about to land. Look, look, the jab. He can't breathe. It, 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 dog, everything's about to, dog, good jab. This is some shit. Dog Zang is just big, big back. Oh God, big back Zang. Oh, Zang done pushed him and shit. Uh, two minutes thirty seconds in the fourth. Oh, that. All right, hey, call it, call it. It was dope. It was dope, though. It was. I like how you tried, Joseph. Yeah, I had your back, brother. Good body shot from Joe. I had your back, bro. Shit, that left. Good right from Joe. Fight on, Joe. Oh, good right, Joe. Oh, damn. Big bang. Big bang hit him with left. Right off the forehead. Right here. Right here. And right here. Ooh. Joe, don't stand right there. Don't nipple on the barrel. Pull the trigger. Oh, right, good jet. Joe, get the hell out of there. Oh, good left hook, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Big bang. Like, that ain't that ain't shit. I, you, you can say what you want to, bro. Say what you want to. But I'm here to stay because I'm a mean old line. Oh, uh, one minute, 40 seconds in the fourth. Ah, shit. Crushing uppercut from Big Bang. Ah. 
one minute, 30 seconds. Dog, Parker, there's no way, man. There's no. Oh, good combination, Parker. Uppercut left. Shit, see, Big Bang, he moved that net. He, he got hit. He was like, he was like, brother, you shit. Boom. Like, okay, you a Willy Mammoth. Like, you a big walrus looking. Mother. One minute, 10 seconds in the fourth. Ah, good left hook, Joe. Ah, ah, good combination. Nice uppercut to the body, Joe. Ah, good body shot, Joe. Nah, that wasn't low. That was on the belly button. That was on the belly button. That was on the that was on the button of the belly. Oh shit. Good right hand, Joe. Shit. Get out of there, Joe. Move your head. Don't lullaby, Joe. Don't lullaby. Move your head. Don't nibble on the barrel. Oh, good right hand. Oh! Did he hurt him? He just knocked him off balance. He knocked, he knocked Zang off balance. There you go. You can hurt him, Joe. You can hurt him, Joe. Good combination, Joe. You can hurt him. Oh, shit. That left from Zang. Get out of there, Joe. Oh, good. He's a man. He's just a man, Joe. Oh, shit. Get out of there, Joe. Run. You better run. Oh, good left. Get out of there, Joe. Run. What the hell are you doing? Good right hand, Joe. Oh, good body shot, Joe. He said, I'm sorry. Hit him low. Hit him low that time. He apologized as soon as he hit him low. He said, ah, I'm sorry. That's Joe. He's such a nice guy. Those New Zealanders, like, y'all just nice, kind people, bro. He said, ah, that, that was, like, you got me. You got me. You said, you got me. You got me. I gave Joe that round. I gave I gave Joe that round, bro. Uh, Zang uh, is a big mother, and I think he just might be the best heavyweight in the division. Could be. Dude, that left is, is my, listen, Joe got to move side to side. Joe got to move side to side, bro. Joe got to move side to side, bro. He he got to move like this, bro. If I if I was Joe, I'd just be playing them tapes tapes of Ray Charles. I'll just have him look at Ray Charles 24-7. Even when he's boxing, I have a VR with Ray Charles. And I'll just buy you see that right there, bro? Just do that, bro. Just do that. Just work on this here, bro. If, if seeing Georgia, Georgia, and brother, you will have a far better. This going straight back is is that bullshit. All right, here we go. There you go. Move side to side, Joe. Two minutes fifty seconds in the in the fifth. They 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 only they only gave Joseph Parker the fourth round. Oh, good left hook from Joseph Parker. I gave him the second. Oh oh. Joe Parker is snapping some shots, though. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out for that left, Joe. That left is a mother. Good hook to the body from Joe. Good head movement, Joe. Got to watch that jab from, from, from Zang. Ah, that left from Zang is, is you got to move your head, Joe. You can't just be sitting there and shit. Dog Zang missed and, and and just tapped him. If he had killer instinct, he would have broke his shit. It was jab to the body. It, it's like it's like Zang is lining him up like George Foreman did with with Michael Moore, bro. Little jab from Joe. So here come the big shot from Joe. Here come the big shot. Here come the big shot. Kind of big shot. Bam! Just missed from Parker. Just missed. It was nice, too. It was nice. Good jab to the body from Parker. Good right to the body from Parker. Zane said, I'm, I'm 300 pounds. What, what do you think? Remember Dubois versus Big Baby Miller? It was like. Good combination from Joseph Parker. Damn, that left from, from damn Zane. Oh, good right. Oh, shit. Zane, see, when Zane throws combinations, you know, you're going to shit yourself. Good good straight left from Zane. I, I just think Parker's too flat-footed for me. 
But I like the firepower he's throwing, though. 45 seconds in the fifth. I do like how he's sitting down on the shots. I, I can't say I don't like that. I'm just afraid defensively. Because Joseph thinks that he's hurting him. Like, he thinks he's breaking him down. Bam. Good, good right from Joe. Oh, good left from Joe. Bruh. No, Zang's starting to breathe. There you go. Zang's like, he did that. Good shit. It, it, it just, he got to get past the seventh. Ten seconds left in the fifth. Damn it. Oh, good right hand, Joe. At following the double left hand from Zang. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. All right, we working. We working. We working. We working. I said, if even if Joe gets knocked down, he has to get up because he has to get past seven. Joseph Parker is really uh, Rob Whitaker from uh, UFC. <laughs> ah, you funny. You funny. Uh, major pain or Norbit biz. Uh, major pain. 48, 46, Parker. Yeah, I gave Parker that round too. So I got a 3 2. Yeah, I got 3 2, Parker. <laughs> he said, Andy Lee said, beautiful. Beautiful. He just got a last. Look at the corner just being late and shit. All right, here we go. Good, good jab from Zane. Zane looked like he got a little second win, bro. Look at him. Look at him. He a little busy right now. Yeah, good jab from Zane. He's turning it up a little bit. Good jab to the body from Joseph. You got to keep doing throwing those straights to the body. Two minutes, 30 seconds in the sixth round. Oh, left hook just missed from Joseph Parker. He came in at an angle and threw that left over top. Every time Zang throws a punch, your heart stops. So you think he won the round. But Joseph Parker did more. But every time he throws one punch, it's like 80 punches. It's like, thunk, like yeah. Good faint, Joe. Good faints. Good faint. Good faint. Good left hook, Joe. And then push his head down. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You got to start doing that because you got to start trying to deplete his energy. Oh, good one, two from Joe. Good jab, Zane. Good job to the body. Joe, you, 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 you can't hang down there like that, bro. You throw a jab and bend over a 90 degree angle and hang down there. You can't do that. Left hand just missed from Zane. Zane just trying to find, try to find a way to touch him. Good right hand from Joe. Pause. He just trying to touch him a little bit and then he'll sit down. Good combination from Joe. Oh, good hook to the body from Joe. Good right hook from Zane. Nice head movement, Joe. See, see, you got to stop that. You got to stop. You got to stop. Cause once Zane trying to touch that nose up. Oh, now, now Zane jumped on him. Zane's got some good footwork as far as see good left from Zane. He has a he has a sneaky good right hand from Joe. He has sneaky footwork to cut off the ring. Oh, good combination, Joe. Joe. Ah shit. Get out of there, Joe. That this ain't this ain't for you. There you go. Good. Nice way to push him off, Joe. Zane got sneaky foot. He cuts off the ring. Good right hand from, from Joe. And Joe is, is throwing lead right hands. See, Zane got his mouth open, open, breathing heavy. So he got to get past the seventh. Oh, good left hook from, from Joe. Good jab, Joe. Left hand just missed from Zane. Good faint from Joe. Beautiful, beautiful. You just got to get past the seventh. Stay busy, Joe. Yeah, he got he to gotta stay busy. And he got to get past the seventh. He get past the seventh, 
Now we're talking. Now, yeah, see, Zane said, and he sat down. That's 300 pounds and 40 years old. Got it. Once you get to the eighth, now, now Joe can turn it up. There's two halves to this fight. So then Joe got to get busy in the eighth. Yeah, yeah, I got 4-2, Parker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zane's winded. What is Zane waiting for? Zane's trying to preserve his energy because Zane knows he, he doesn't have good wind. So he's trying to preserve his energy. He's, I mean, because he knows that Joseph Parker will last. Uh, I'll put money on JP6 uh, KO plus 1,600. Wow. Because I'll I put it on knockout too. Uh, call me crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody saw me do it on my bookie. All right, good. Good jab, Zang. Good jab, Zang. Move your head, Joe. Right hand just missed from Joe. Good body shot, Joe. Going to the body. You know he's 300 pounds. Keep going to, to the body. Got to get past this round. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Good left to the body from Zane. Good right to the body. For, good left from Zane. That's that shit. Get out of there, Joe. Get out of there, Joe. Get out of there. Good body shot, Joe. Good sneaky body shot. Good jab from Joe. Bam. Right hand. Missed from Joe. Oh, left hand just missed from Zane. Zane tried to walk him down to knock him out. They got Zane up. Oh, because that 10 8. They got it. They got a 3 3. Oh. Oh, good head movement because Zane just threw that left again. Good. Oh, good uppercut from, from Zane. Oh, good right hand from Joe. Good jab, Joe. <sighs> Oh, good left from Zane. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt, Joe. Good uppercut, Joe. Good left from Zane. That shit, yo, every time he just extends it, it's like one minute, 15 seconds. One minute. Seventh round. They're getting close. They both getting close to each other. Here comes a big one. Good jab, Joe. Nice sneaky. Good right hand, Joe. But Zang defense. Oh, good right hand, Joe. Oh, shit. Every time Zang hits him, Joe holds him. That's so beautiful because that nose is, is hurting from Joe. Oh, good right from Joe. Good left hook from Joe. Get out the way, ref. You dumbass. Oh shit. 28 seconds left in the seventh. He's like, why you why you keep holding? Because you're strong and can hurt me. I don't feel like <laughs> I ain't got that kind of time. Oh, good right hand from Zane. Good left from Zane. Good jab, Joe. Zane is crafty, man. He got he got decent defense. Good job, Joe. Man. Now, here we go. Now, Joseph Parker got to let his hands go. Uh-oh. Francis Ngannou versus AJ. That's next. They already working. Francis going to whoop Joshua? You should have put a bag on it on my bookie. Add showbiz to the promo code. Like I said, talking about it ain't, <laughs> ain't got it, bro. Put a bag on it. Yeah, I got four or three Parker. I think Zane won that round too. Zane winning? Well, with that 10 8, probably. Probably. But I got four or three Parker. But that 10 8. Here we go. This is the round. This is the round right here. 
This is the eighth round. This is the round I was, I'm expecting Joe to turn up because he got to start getting busy on him. Oh, man, Zang done did a shuffle. Shit. Like, he got, oh, good right hand from Joe. That was a beautiful right hand from Joe. Good jab, Zang. Right to the body from Joe. Oh, good right hand left hook from Joe. Re left hook missed, though. I just like the combination. Good left from Zang. Zang pushed down the neck. Wait. Yeah, there's no complaints. We all good right hand from Joe. Joe liked to throw a punch right after the break. I like that. Because he's trying to get whatever sh shot he can. Good head movement. Here comes Zang. Here comes. Oh! Right hook from Zang. Joe took it. He took it. Did he? He got this weird look on his face. All right, here we go. Don't forget, Zang's a southpaw. Good. Oh, good head movement from Zang. Oh, shit. Good right check, right hook. Yeah, Zang, Zang is crafty as hell. Zang is walking him down pretty nice, bro. I can't even lie to you. Like, good combination from Zang. He just, he just pushed him down. They said it's a knockdown. And, and and guess what? I guess it was because it was a knockdown because Joseph Parker didn't even complain. I thought he pushed him down. Joseph Parker didn't complain. It was a knockdown. I wonder what punch did it. He knocked down Joseph Parker. I, it looks so strange. I thought he pushed him down. Yeah, he's hurt. Joseph Parker hurt with a right. Zane about to knock him out. Zane about to knock him out. I'm trying to figure out what punch dropped him. It just looked like he pushed him down, but no, that was a knockdown. The ref had it right. Because if you look at Joseph Parker's face, he was like, man, 50 seconds left. I don't, the, everything is powerful from Big Bang Zang. Everything is, I, I'm trying to figure out, was it a right hook? Because Zang started turning it up. Oh, man, Joseph don't have much snap on his punches right now. He may be dizzy. Oh, good right from Z from Joe. Joe been knocked down twice. Jab to the body from Joe. He he's down big. Two knockdowns. I mean, unless you're Nick Ball, two knockdowns is good. Oh, good right hand from from Joe. Seventy six, seventy four, Parker. <laughs> What punch knocked him down? What punch knocked him down? What punch knocked him down? He, yeah, he got to stop ducking down. I know. He got to do this. He keep doing this. But what punch did it? They got to show that. I was... Okay, his right hand. What punch hit? Left. Oh, hit him behind the ear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Him, it hit him right here. It, it doesn't seem like much, but he was already bent down. And when he, yeah, yeah, it dropped him. It hit him behind the equilibrium. He hit him and he was already kind of halfway down there. That's what I'm saying. He got to start getting down so low. It's right here. That's that shit. That's that shit, man. He dropped him. He dropped him. It was the right hook. He dropped him. That's a, he's a giant. Big Bang Zang is a giant, man. Oh, that left. You got to stop bending down like that. Zang is timing it. It's not like Zang is a big slow. He's an Olympian. It's not like he's a big dumb. You know what I mean? Like he, he's crafty. You got to stop ducking the same way, Joe. Oh, jab to the body miss. Zang, see, Zang is controlling him with that lead hand. Good jab from Joe. That block, that block from Zang is magnificent one two from joe standing right there 
if if Joe could just wrote just spinning, if he can spin Zane, that'd be beautiful. But he's standing right there. He's waiting to get floored. He's about to get floored. I see it. The left hand about the floor his ass. I see it. Look, Zang sees it. Zang sees it, bruh. Boop, right there. The left just landed. Zang sees it. Good right hand from Joe. Bam, good right hand, Joe. Zang sees that whole shit. That left hook was like, boop. shit, one minute, 25 seconds in the ninth. This is beautiful to watch. Bam, good right, because it's like forming. It's like some forming shit. He keep ducking. See, Zhang just threw that jab to make him duck, and he came with the uppercut. Zhang, he's he's a crafty, big, crafty giant. He only threw the jab to, so he can duck into the uppercut. He's going to do it again. He's throwing the jab high to make him duck into the uppercut. And look. <laughs> he keep ducking right to the left. Good right to the body from, from Joe. Oh, good right upstairs, Joe. Dog Zang got a chin, bro. Good right upstairs, Joe. Dog Zang is just a giant, man. Joe hit him in his face just hard twice. And Zang said, that shit is crazy. 28 seconds. Oh, good right, Joe. Zang got his mouth open. He got his mouth open. He's taking big breaths. But it looks like Zang is in good shape, though. I, I, he stopped smoking or something. Like, I, I just, he just looks like he's good. Like, this is when he's always falling all over the place. But he looked, he, he's, he was pacing himself the whole time. Joe tried to make him turn up. He just, Zang's too smart. And Joe had to be careful. He had to be careful, bro. He had to be careful. Yeah, Zang is conditioned well. Duh, duh, he, he, they got, they got AJ warmed up. They got AJ warmed up. Yeah, it's round nine. You know, I, I'm going to tell you, man, I don't know who won that round. It was strange. What y'all got? 5-4 Parker, but very close. That was a strange round because Joseph landed some good shots. Hey, look, it looked like AJ is training for the heavyweight championship. <laughs> He's fighting France from Nagano. It looks like he's training for that. He ha he's taking him very seriously. Parker needs to, to get Zang out. Yeah, he, he got to knock him out. He got to knock him out. Out of there to win. Yeah, he got to knock him out to win. He got to knock him out. I mean, he got, he got some bruises on Zang, but. All right, here we go. This this the 10th round? Yep. Two minutes, 50 seconds. It's hard, it was hard for me to score that one. Oh. Oh. Oh, good uppercut. Good jab from Zhang. <gasps> Dog, that right hand be killing me from Zhang. That right hand is killing me. It's like every time he throws it, either he's going to knock him out with it or he's going to throw him into the left. And I'm like, jab to the body just missed. That left from Zang just missed, bro. Shit. Two minutes, 10 seconds in the 10th. Oh, good right hand, Joe. Zang said, brother, you can, you can kick me in the face. What difference does it make, bro? Oh, good body shot from shit. You see that little uppercut in the middle? And Joseph had went, it's like, look, here we go again. He, he almost hit him with it again. Joe is, is hitting him with a lot. He's hitting him with a lot. It's just that 300 pounds of big bang. The big bang theory, bro. Good right hand, Joe. Uh, Zang, big, great blocking. It... Oh, good left hook, Joe. Try to pull counter's ass. Good head movement, Joe. 
one minute left in the 10th. See, the thing is, Big Bang is able to do nothing and be and be fine. He's able, he's able to just block and take a round off and be fine. That's hard to deal with. That's some George Foreman shit. I keep saying it, but it's like, it doesn't matter that you're 40 when you don't have to move. Because your blocking is so, oh God, and your timing, look at that right hook from Zane. It just feels like even if Parker is landing more punches, it seems like Zane is winning the rounds. It just seems like his, he's more effective or something. That's why it's, get, it's getting weird for me to score. It's like, though Joseph Parker is landing a lot of shots, and it just, mm, I don't know. Zane took a step back. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, Zane took a step back. I don't know what happened. I don't know why he took a step back. If Zane throws a left uppercut, it's over. I know, because he keep leaning over there. I think Zane is just waiting for the right time to throw it, because he keep doing this. If I'm Zane, I'm just... <laughs> 6'4", Parker. I, yeah, I, I give Parker that round. I give Parker that round. He has to win out. He has to win out, but even then, you got 6'6", six, 6'6". Six, six, six. Yeah, I, I, I give him that. This is tough to score, man. There's a swing round in that ninth round. Um, Biz, you look like uh, you struggling, man. I hope you get some rest uh, after the day uh, long stream. Am I struggling? Because I'm going out. I'm going out tonight after this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, no, I'm hungry. And uh, Ms. Biz is coming with uh, uh, some sandwiches. She just texted me. So what it is, I'm I'm actually starving. Think about it. I started at 10 and all I had was like a pro like a a little protein thing and uh some chips. All right, so here we go. And I didn't want to eat too many chips because you know I'm on a diet. Good job from Parker. They got it tied. 7.5 thousand people in here. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. Yeah, everybody, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button for me. I get to 300,000. There'll be another, another giveaway. Another one. Uh, two minutes, 30 seconds, and 11th. Zang lasted. Oh, good right hand from Parker. Zang, Zang lasted, man. Good right hand from Parker. That's a good uppercut from Zane. That that's good right hand from from Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker got to get out the corner. That second knockdown really hurt Parker, and that's because he ducked so much. He would have been up. They got it tied right now. It, it's tied because I have a six four. But that ninth is a swing. I'm not even feeling comfortable with my six four. Good right hand. Good left from Zhang. Just missed. But shit. One minute, four, 35 seconds in the 11th. You got to get out the way. You got to get out the way, Joseph. You got to circle. Joseph don't know how to circle shit. That's that's just what, what it is. He ain't circling nothing. Right hand just blocked by Zhang. You know what? I think Joseph can land an uppercut if he keeps his left hand up. He can land a right uppercut. He just keep throwing a right down the middle. He could he could land a, a he could throw a right to the body too if he if good right upstairs from Joe. Joe is throwing them fast. Good left. Good left from Zane. Good combination from from Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker nice with it. Fifty seconds in eleven. Zang's tired, but he still he still got power. Good right, good right hand from Joe. He still got power. You see how slow he's punching, but it doesn't matter. Thirty five seconds and eleven. Good left hook from from Joe. If Joe can drop him, he he can win the fight. If he can drop him, and and erase one of those knockdowns, he can win the fight. Good left to the body from, from Zhang. Shit, that left to the body looked hellacious. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zane breathing heavy. Good faint from Joe. Good faint from Joe. He's making Zane go for every faint. Yeah, Zane like, look at him. He's like, oh, shit. Look at him. He, <gasps> but Zane used to look like that in the eighth. So he 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 prepared way better. He prepared way better. Because Zane used to go back like that in the eighth. You know, to for him to be breathing that heavy in the 11th, I can't hate on it. I can't hate on it. Zane, Zane did what he had to do. Everybody subscribe to this channel. We got AJ versus Francis Naganu next. Man, I got I got seven four. Parker, if he wins here, he could probably win a fight. If Joseph Parker wins here, he can win the fight. Flex on him. Zang's new name is uh, Fentanyl. <laughs> Big Fentanyl Zang, dog. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is the last round. Good, good job. Good jab, Zane. Good, good head movement, Parker. Two minutes, 45 seconds in the 12th. Now, Joseph can't just survive this round. He has to win it to get to have a chance to win. It's not like Zang only won the two rounds. He knocked him down. Good jab to the body from, from Parker. Yeah. Ooh. Zane trying to push him to the ground. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Joe's Parker got strong legs, too. They said Zhang need a knockout? I'm, I'm thinking he could just win this round. If, if, if Zhang win this round, I'm thinking... Good, good jab from 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 Joseph Parker. Oh, good right hand, Joseph Parker. Zane saying no, but saying no don't win. <gasps> good right hand. Oh shit! I thought Zane got hurt, but but he didn't. He he was just off balance uh, by his own swing. You know when you swing a baseball bat and you get off balance. His arm so heavy, he swung so big. One minute twenty five seconds in the twelfth. Good jab from Joseph Parker. Zane's having a hard time standing on his feet, bro. One minute, 15 seconds. Watch the left. Watch the left. One minute, 10 seconds in the 12th. Because Joseph Parker went in this round. Good left. I mean, right from Joseph Parker. So busy saying, watch out for the left. Good jab, Zane. 58 seconds in the 12th. Good jab from Joseph. Oh, good faint from Joseph. Faint down low, right upstairs. Faint, bam. Good one, two from Joseph. 40 seconds left in the 12th. Good right hand from Joseph. 35 seconds. Get out of there, Joseph. Get out of there. Good jab from Joseph. Good jab from Joseph. 30 seconds. Good faint from Joseph. Beautiful faint. Good faint again. Good faint again. 23 seconds, good faint again. Good jab from Joseph. Good head movement from Joseph. 15 seconds left in the 12. 13 seconds left. 10 seconds left. They didn't clap. Where's the clap? Zang has no idea what's going on. They booed at the end. Oh, good right hand from, from Joseph. Joseph won. Joseph Parker won. Joseph Parker won, bro. Joseph Parker won a close fight. 116, 110 Parker. Zhang had no activity. He he didn't. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe. Now, I I did think Joseph was going to win, but what I'm saying is I can't believe after the two knockdowns, Zhang, Zhang fought like that. But he was trying to just preserve his, his energy the whole time. He wasn't really trying to beat him up. He was just trying to preserve his energy the whole time. You got 7-5 Joe? Yeah, man. 
I think Joe won. Parker split decision. Yeah. Joe won. That's incredible. That, I mean, or a draw, or a draw. I don't think Zang won. I think either Parker won or it's a draw. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that Zang fought that well over 12. I'm disappointed that Zang dropped him twice and couldn't really do much. He, 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 he let the fight get away from him. I'm disappointed in that. Uh, Parker did enough to win, but a draw is fine. A draw is fine because of the two knockdowns. Nah, nah. Um, let me see. Parker to me lost the two rounds. Uh, he got knocked. He got the knockdown in. That's what I'm saying. But you still got to give him the 10 8. But yeah. You said 7 5, but the 10 8s made it a draw. I can see that. I can definitely see that. But if this guy, Joseph Parker, beat Wilder and Jean. And he's already beaten Andy Ruiz. You know, you got to give him his, you got to give him his props. If Joseph, Par you got to give him his props anyway. He moved up in my fighters list anyway. Thanks for the super sticker. I mean, he, uh, Zhang uh, has a rematch clause. If if I was Zhang, I'd come in lighter. I'd come in in the 270s. That 290 shit, Joseph Parker won. They they got mad respect for each other. They like, yeah, that was, that was that shit. <laughs> They said that they, yeah, the unofficial scorecards, they got Parker winning. He just like, man, that was because I gave Parker the second round. That was the, di that's the difference in the scorecards is I gave Parker the seven, the second round. So I got Parker winning the fight. Yo, if, if, yo, if Parker, bruh, you got to start giving him his love, man. You got to give AJ love for beating Parker. But this guy done fought. Parker, he spars with, I mean, he done fought Zhang, Wilder, AJ, Chisora, Andy Ruiz, Joe Joyce, Dubois, like he, didn't he fight Dubois? Let me see, Zhang had uh, zero activity. Here we go. One thirteen, one thirteen, even. One fourteen, one twelve. One fifteen, one eleven. We got, we got a winner. We got a winner. Joseph Parker, Joseph Parker won. He deserved it. Joseph Parker won the fight. He beat Zane. He won the fight because he cleared them with activity. He doubled, he doubled his power shots. Super sticker. Thank you so much, brother. Run it back. I agree. Run it back. I totally agree. But no, he won that fight. He won that fight. Joseph Parker done beat Zhang and Wilder. He fought Wilder to Zhang. Bro, I say fight Zhang again. I mean, bro, that's. Hey, man, you cannot. You cannot say anything about Joseph Parker, bro. Look, look, Tyson Fury, like, oh, uh -huh. I, I got that boy ready, didn't I? He like, I got that boy ready. Bruh, Joseph Parker won. That, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, Joseph Parker can fight. He can fight. The only problem is AJ outboxed him. And when you saw that, it was like, maybe he's not next level. But don't forget, he beat Andy Ruiz in a fight that could have went either way, though. That fight was, <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, like I said, 116, 110. Judges uh, gave it 115, 111. Yeah, yeah, you had it. You had it. Yeah, he broke his nose. Oh. Incredible win for Joseph Parker. He overcame adversity. Yeah, overcame. I thought he was done. After that first knockdown, the broken nose, I was like, Brother, there's no way. And that happened early. Zane beats Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce. 
uh Joe beats Zane. Yeah, right. The, the triangle theory is is ridiculous. Bill said it was over. Yeah, I thought it was over. When he threw that left, I'm like, that's that's over with. But I didn't think he was going to show that much adversity. But don't forget what Biz also said. Zang was going to beat him. I mean, that uh, Parker was going to beat him. I had Joseph Parker winning the fight. So picking on the negative is one thing. But see if you can pick on the positive. Good dub for Parker, but I needed zero knock knockdowns. Yeah, that's that shit. That's that shit. You talking about in the, in the, uh, in the fantasy boxing league? Yeah. Everybody join the fantasy boxing league. The link in the description box. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Come on, man. I needed a, K I needed a KO. Yeah, I needed that too. I needed that too. I bet $200 on the KO. Yeah, they're contracted to fight again. He said, that's what we're going to do. He's going to fight Zane twice. <sighs> Joseph Parker's the man, bro. He said, we look forward to the rematch. Dr. King tried to love some, but how did you score that one? I wasn't scoring by surprise. Parker won, but like I was saying, I wasn't scoring. I need to go back and rewatch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my non-scoring watches are terrible. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna tell you that uh this man resume is ridiculous. It is. Let, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. He had he he eclipsed them in boxing and, and boxing and activity. He eclipsed them. It's just that. When Zang landed, it was like shit. He had that knock. He had two knockdowns. You know that was hard to come back from. And there was a round that I definitely gave Zang in there. I think it was the first round. Not definitely. No, I forget what round I definitely gave to him. But the first round I, I gave to him. But it wasn't definite. Parker got zero bet belts. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about the belts. I really don't. A uh, flex on them. Let me see. To me, Joseph Parker uh, equal uh, Robert Whitaker UFC. No, you've been saying that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really care about belts anymore. The belts, you know, Roley got a belt, right? It's just about who you fight. To me, the matchups, not the belts. Uh, let me see. Flex on them. Just got off uh, work. Uh, glad to join y'all. Little update for your boy. Um, uh, Nick Ball, Nick the Wrecking Ball, got uh, robbed against Ray Vargas. Um, uh, the dream, uh, Mac, Mac, Madi, uh, call his name is, uh, he won by stoppage. Um, I really enjoyed the fight. This is why uh, what Turkey is doing is good. When you see two legit top fives going at it, it's a joy to watch. and reminds me of why I love box 100%, two top fives going at it. That's what we're screaming about. Um, uh, and Joseph Parker just, uh, beat Zang by decision. Properly, properly. But Roley the goat, yeah, Roley the goat, Roley the goat. Now we're about to see uh, AJ versus Francis Ngannou. Hit the Tyson Bell. AJ versus Francis Ngannou next. Every so there's eight thousand of you in the, in here. I'm pretty sure a thousand of you haven't subscribed. So if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget we do a lot of giveaways, cash giveaways. Uh, we give away merchandise like autograph, like memorabilia, autograph, boxing gloves, and stuff like that. You guys have seen that on many occasions. Uh, so subscribe to this channel. It's a great community. You probably have noticed. Even if you don't come by all the time, it will really help a lot for this channel if you subscribe. All right. I've been on since 10 this morning. Um, it will be really awesome if you could just subscribe. All right. Uh, let me see. Just to help me out a little bit, that would be that would be awesome, you know, for all the hard work and for the great community. Everybody, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, let everybody know we in here. Let me see. I think Ms. B is coming home now. Steve Urkel. Yes, yes, I look just like Steve Urkel. Uh, let me see. Uh, hit the like. Yeah, uh, that was uh, the most boring fight of the day. Yeah, I mean, it all depends on what you like. You know, two knockdowns. You know, you thought that was boring. Uh, some good boxing. It all depends on what you like. You know, me, I was very entertained. I was I was extremely entertained. I was sitting at the edge of my seat. I was very entertained. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it a lot, especially with the two knockdowns. You know, you get people coming off the canvas, getting dribbled off the canvas and shit. It's pretty good. And it wasn't just one round, you know, two separate times in the fight. 
good fight. He came back from adversity, a broken nose, a lot of things that, you know, a fight should have, you know. Uh, I have Parker winning. Uh, all that clinching uh, equal finessing. No, the clinching doesn't equal. He had to clinch. That was smart. That was ta- You could be tactical clinching for sure. Um, finessing, you know what finessing is, running. Uh, breaking news, Zang is ducking butt. He- Um, you don't lose anything but by subscribing. Hit the like, yeah, brother. You don't lose anything. You know, you just help support. You don't. It, it doesn't cost anything. That fight wasn't boring at all. Two knockdowns, high level IQ boxing from both. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's really into the boxing. You know, what I mean, whoever said that they're into like I don't, wrestling or or uh, uh, I don't know what the hell they're in street fights or something. Uh, showbiz, thanks for the uh the great at showbiz, my man. Thank you so much, my brother. And you gifted the showbiz the adult membership. Uh, where you at, my brother? This was a very very productive live stream, though. I mean, you know, just thousands of dollars in super chats, um, and even more in uh memberships. Uh, we got over to two hundred fifty-seven thousand mark and subscribers. You guys, please keep subscribing. Just beautiful stuff was going on here. Doctor King tried to love somebody. Let me see what Doctor King had to say. Uh, Zang needs to start negotiating. Eight. <laughs> he will be undefeated. Yeah, bro. Um, the thing you gotta be careful with is Zang in rematches. He beat Joe Joyce worse in a rematch. I mean, he just beat the hell. I mean, you know what I mean. You got to be careful with Zang in rematches. Um, Joseph Parker, though, you may have to be careful with him in rematches. You know, Now that he tasted whatever, he kind of learning how to be active, more active a little earlier because he was trying to drain the well. But he couldn't do it because Zang had good blocking ability, good footwork, right, good IQ, and he was just pacing himself. So he has to find a way to drain the well a bit in the next, in the rematch. Because, you know, Zang went 12. He went 12. He was breathing heavy, definitely very heavy in the 11th. But uh, uh, he usually breathes like that in the 8th. You know, so, you know, Zang, Zang prepared very well and, and paced himself. He, he probably understood that they were expecting to drag him out. If I was Zang, I would get down into the 270s if you can. I would try to get a, a proper training camp where you're not just eating what you want and working out. You know that you're you're trying to 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 sweat and make weight. You know, try try to be down. You know, if he's light on his toes and he could throw his punches a little bit with more f- fluidity, he could probably get Joe, Joseph Park out of there. I would like to see a trilogy. I, I do think Zang wins the rematch, though. I saw how Zang was looking like he knew where he blew it. Just too big, moving too slow. Zang knew where he where he blew it. He knew he lost the fight too. Let me see. Dr. King tried to love somebody. I think Joseph Parker leveled up with his team change. Yep. You can see that uh, after the first uh, Joyce uh, slip up. Yep. They went back at it. Uh huh. And he changed his whole career around. Incredible uh, success story. He's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. And, um, you know, the, the great thing that you can say about his corner and about his, his, his team is they didn't panic after he got dropped the first time. I panicked. Andy Lee spoke to him. It was fine. Um, so the fact that they kept their poise and then in the 12th round, they start cheering and hitting the, like getting them excited, you know, like, yo, you're doing good. Just so he can finish strong. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. They about to talk to Tyson Fury now. Parker Bang Zang. Uh-huh. If if I was, if I was a new member, baby, baby, baby. Uh, Zang looking good last few fights. Yeah, if I was, if I was Zang, like I said, I'm a little disappointed in Zang, to be honest. I had Joseph Parker winning the fight, right? I thought he was going to win the fight, and then I was like, yo, he about to lose the fight. And then I thought he won the fight. Um, um, But I'm a little disappointed because Zang had it in his hands. Like, I think if Zang would have sold out a little bit, but he was afraid to because he was afraid to be gassed. I think if he would have sold out a little bit, um, I think he could have done something. But, you know, being close to 300 pounds and shit, it messed him up. It messed him up. And that was my reason why I thought Joseph Parker was going to knock him out. I thought 300 pounds was too much for Joseph. Joseph moves. He's too much of a boxer. He punches too explosively, got fast hands. I just thought 300 pounds was the wrong move. It, it would be good for those slow, pokey 
boxers that people, but people like Jared Anderson, uh, Usyk, Joseph Parker, you, you gotta be, you gotta slim down and you see Tyson Fury slimming down. You know, we gotta go back to the old school heavyweights. Fury beats, uh, Usyk and AJ beats Fury. What's next? Wow. You think so? Oh, you say if, uh, fight it, keep Jared Anderson, fight it, fight Usyk, keep, hey, fight Zane. Fight Joe Joyce. There's guys that hasn't they they haven't fought. Uh, let me see. I feel Joshua is going to have the same difficulty Fury had dealing with Francis' stupid power and awkward fighting fundamentals. God bless you, Biz. No, I think it's going to be easier. I think age. I think Fury didn't prepare well, and the, and the fight that we thought Fury was going to give Zang, I mean uh Zang, the Zang Zang all day. Give Naganu. I think AJ is a uh, Zang at two seventy a different ball game. Uh, he won't be gassed. That's what I'm saying. Zang messed up. He messed up. Like this man is is one fight and 0-1. Uh, Francis Ngannou is. And AJ has taken him very seriously in preparation. So you're going to see, I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think you're going to see a guy who never boxed, amateur, who I, I think you're going to see it in this. But I may be wrong. Maybe Francis Ngannou is some caveman. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Uh, love your commentary. Thank you, Showbiz. Thank you so much, my brother. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. You know, I, I don't I don't think he's that much different than Robert Hellenius. I think he I think Robert Hellenius, I, I, I know he's better. He's better than uh, Francis Ngannou. But we'll see. Fran Francis Ngannou has already uh, agreed to go back to the PFL too. Uh, if Anthony, if Anthony loses, I want Joseph to get his rematch with him, hoping to chop. Yeah, I would like that too. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Was that coffee? Yeah. Thank you. That's me as biz, everybody. Y'all, I told y'all I was hungry. Uh, would a 35-year-old Zang have beaten Parker? The thing is, uh, Zang, Zang actually improved. Zang improved. It's just he was too heavy, this fight. Zang improved, man. Zang was a good fighter, just underachieving. He, chain smoker, not th taking things seriously. Hmm. Y'all see that right now? Y'all see that right now? Mm -hmm -hmm. Mid biz gave me energy down the stretch. Uh, been watching you uh, ever since Joshua versus Park. That's a lot. That's one. That's early. That's early. That's early. I was still trying to do live. I was still trying to figure out live streams back then. Best life, my girl. That looks good, Ben. What up, best life? Uh, we didn't believe uh, Jay Paul until we did. Is AJ going to uh, get a TKO over Francis? I think so. I think so. Uh, Chipotle. No, this is Panera. This is Panera. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me get some eats in. I've been tuned in since this morning. Great commentary. You have been. You have been. Thank you so much, brother. Tim Butler, Ms. Biz. I was struggling, brother. I was hungry. Mukbang Live.
Mm. That's right. This rice is banging though. Mm. Clean up my diet for the summer. Trying to get sexy. Get sexy for the summer. The thing about cleaning up your diet is you be feeling like you're super hungry. Because you're used to sugar and salt and stuff. You're not hungry because you just ate. You just your body is sending those signals because you're used to salt and sugar. Friends and God will walk into the ring. I got a thousand on this fight. I got a thousand. Yeah, I got a thousand on the fight. On my bookie. Everybody go to my bookie, create your profiles, add your business to the promo code. Mm. What you say? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Just joined the live. Parker building a great resume. Wilder Ruiz Zang, along with having the guts to fight Joshua and Joyce. He was a true warrior. He's something else. He is something else. And we've been saying it for a while. When we were talking about great resumes, we we're like, dog, Joseph Parker, bro. Remember? We used to say that a lot. When we have talk about Wilder, not about Joseph Parker. I may put Joseph Parker number one on the fighters list. Because he's going to fight him in a rematch. That's just... Because he won, and he's going to fight him in a, in a rematch. He said, yeah, we got a rematch. It's in the contract. That's what we're going to do. I'm like, that dude's insane. Here comes France Naganu. He's frowning. France Naganu looks fired up. France Naganu looks fired up, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Last fight. I've been on since 10. Bruh. On since 10 a.m. And I did a video before that. So I've been up working since 8 a.m. Talking nonstop, hit the like button, subscribe, call this commentary. This is a, there's a lot of questions here because I don't think, I don't think Francis should be much of a problem for AJ, but a lot of people just don't like AJ's chin up against Francis Ngannou's power. And because of that, you know, it's just a strange fight because Francis Ngannou knocks everybody out and he's extremely athletic. And he's built like a tank. So, and you know he has a chin. He's getting hit by small gloves and everything. So, you know, you just feel as long as Francis Ngannou is on his feet, as long as he's on his feet, that's how people feel. But I think I think AJ has fought more dangerous fighters than Francis. His, his boxing career, he's fought more dangerous guys. That's At least that's how I feel. I'm like, Francis is, I just... He's an MMA guy, one boxing match that I think he won. <laughs> they say he lost. Man. Bear's draw, Bear's jaw is strong. Yeah, I know. 
that's that Nigerian. That's that's that African. That's that Francis Ngannou. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Has it started? Yeah, yeah. Here come I, y'all. Look, look. I like how slick Joshua Robes always been. That guy got some of the best robes. Is he walking? Yeah, he's walking with that shit. Yeah, you see, when AJ's walking with that shit, that's when it's on. I like when he's walking with that shit. I hate when he's walking with that, you know, just too grinny. I like when he's walking with that shit, bro. Look at him. I like that, AJ. I like that, AJ. Double knockout, just like the trailer. Funny. That was that was the greatest promo in boxing history. Seriously. And the second greatest was uh, the Day of Reckoning. See, he's walking with that shit. That's that's the AJ. He's taking Francis soup. See, Francis in that stare down, you can tell Francis was like, well, I'll be. See, because I think he doesn't respect boxers, especially after Tyson Fury was, you know, kind of goofing around. So I think he kind of see boxers. You know, this is easy work. You know, they're goofballs. They're not real fighters like we are. You know what I'm saying? So when he stared AJ down, AJ was staring at him and he was like, he smiled like, yeah, ain't that something. Francis have a better boxing IQ than Wilder is the question. Does he have a better? Well, no, because of Wilder has more experience, you know, Olympia and all that stuff. Um, but um, Francis has better f- striking IQ. Yeah. Uh, you like the uh, the James Brown of that shit. <laughs> Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much, my brother. Everyone in, let's go. Hit the like button. Hit the like. Let's go. AJ's looking familiar. Yeah, yeah, AJ's looking familiar. AJ just got a box with his feet. He got a box with his feet and hands at the same time. He got It got to work together. As long as he, bam, bam, boom, bam, bam. Shoot the jab and let Francis try to come in and just bam. Bam, just boxing. He boxes him, and then when he finds the right, bam, he'll beat him. He'll be, it should be easy work. It really should be easy work, especially with AJ taking it seriously. It should be easy work. Well, I think Parker versus Usyk would be good. That's a good fight. That's a really good fight. That's That's a very well-matched fight, yeah. That fight would look like how the heavyweight division used to look. Even AJ and Usyk looked like some 90s shit. It really did. The, the boxing and craftsmanship, it looked like some 90s shit. They forget AJ got power too. Yeah, AJ is one of the hardest punchers in the world. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they really, they always forget that. And I always mention it. Wilder got the best power, but AJ's number two. I've always mentioned it. But I don't know, for some reason... I, th- I think Tyson Fury was kind of easy to hit. That left hook that he, he hit Tyson Fury with, you know, I didn't think that was much of a hook. But if that can drop Fury, you know how Fury, if that can drop Fury, it can definitely rock the hell out of AJ. You know, so you got to be, AJ got to be careful. Do you think uh, the fight will go the distance? No, I think AJ knocks him out. I, well, I put money on AJ knocking him out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's 1 a.m. here in UK. Yeah, y'all fired up, ain't y'all? 1 a.m., that's not that bad. That's not that bad. What's that, on a Friday night? That's not that bad. Cameroon. Francis looked very mean. And very ready. If I was Francis, I go pitching punches and not respect AJ. Uh, I think Ms. Biz uh give some give son. Wait, what do you say? Dog, it's just a lot of uh people in here. I can't, I can't, I can't see what that says. Oh, let me see. AJ uh locked in. Yeah, hit the Tyson Bell. They both are. They both are. If I was Francis, I'd go in swing and see if I can intimidate him. I'd just be wild. 
and see if that shakes up AJ. When everybody say AJ is soft, I, I test to see if he is. I test to see if he's soft. I just come in pitching punches and, and, and see how he deals with it. Then I'll box. But I don't think I would box with AJ because AJ is too good of a fundamental boxer. So I would I wouldn't try to box with him. I think that's the wrong thing to do. If Francis is coming out picking and poking, AJ mess around, knock him out. He mess around, knock him out. So if I was Francis, agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was Francis, I'd come in pitching punches on AJ. See how he deals with that shit. Is that Ben Davidson again? Dang, that's a good trainer, man. Here we go. Face off. And they done had this face off many times. Weigh-ins for the commercial. at Dog, AJ looks serious as hell. You know France is going to look like a monster, but AJ looks serious as shit. He looks serious as shit. We already know Francis is a as the predator. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. AJ come walking out. Francis come walking out. Good left from Francis. That was good left hook. Good jab from AJ. Good feint from AJ. Good feint. Oh, Francis huge. Francis is huge. Good left hook. He's catching. He's catching AJ very simply with the left hook. Double double jab from Francis. Francis look good. I ain't gonna lie to you. He looks. He looks very good. Very good. AJ's trying to get data. Uh. Yo, AJ is making him mirror him by squatting down. That's good work from AJ. Faint the jab from AJ. Good left hook from Francis. Good left hook again from Francis. AJ blocked it, but good jab from Fran uh, AJ. That was good jab to the stomach. Fra yeah, Francis is going to come in with it. Boom, good right to the body. There you go, Francis. Let your hands go. You got to let you, if you let your hands go, this is a 10-round fight. AJ just shooting a jab. He's changing the level of the jab. What is AJ doing? There's something he's trying to do on purpose. Good jab to the body from AJ. But but Francis got fast reflexes. Look at how he's countering that jab to the body with the left hook. He's going to throw a right hand in a minute. He's going to throw a left hook, right hand. Bam! They'll go to the right hand from Francis. AJ blocked it. Francis should, should, count, should, should corner him and just start pinching punches. Francis went to Southpaw. Right hand just missed from AJ. AJ ain't scared. My thing is, AJ is fighting two right there for me. Oh, AJ dropped him. AJ dropped Francis with a straight right. The first straight right he threw, he dropped Francis. He dropped him. He dropped him. Seven, eight. He dropped him with the first right, straight right he threw. And, and that's what AJ was doing. I was wondering why AJ's walking him down like that. AJ wasn't respecting his power. Good jab from AJ. Good jab to the body from AJ. He, could, he couldn't believe. Bam. Oh, good right hand from Francis. See, AJ get, always has gotten too thirsty when he thought you had you, he had you hurt. That's what he did with Andy Ruiz. So all you got to do is calm, be calm, and keep boxing. Be calm and keep boxing. He knocked him down by being calm. No need to rush it. Good jab from AJ. AJ has always got too thirsty when he thought he had you hurt. Always. Good work from AJ. 10-8. 10-8. I'm telling you, AJ can swat. I don't know why people always thought he was. I don't know what they thought. He knocks everybody out. One, bam. That was just boxing IQ. The where where he how he how he made him go for that left. That's boxing IQ. That's being in the Olympics, you know what I mean? Being a, a unified champion. That's just you know what I'm saying? You got a guy who just no amateur background, no that's how it's going to look. 
if AJ should, AJ just keep boxing, he should be fine. If he just keep, and that's why I said AJ is going to do better than Fury did, because Fury didn't even prepare. AJ had make it make it look like how it's supposed to look. All right, here we go. Francis Ngannou was kind of like, okay, okay, okay. Because he's never really been dropped like that before. And it's like, yo, boxing gloves is different. They're heavy. So he's not hurt. It's just his bot, his legs went. He's like, okay. Oh, see, Francis is throwing his. He's throwing his. Francis is using his athleticism, as he should. The jab to the body from, from AJ is what they were definitely working on. I don't know what that does. I don't know if he's trying to go jab body right hand or jab left hook. I don't know. He's setting up something. I just don't know what it is. Good things from AJ. Good good left hook from Francis. Good. He, he, I don't know what that is. Just a jab to the body, but that left hook from Francis is countering him. But he's setting up something. I'm just trying to figure out which punch it is. Good left hook from Francis. If Francis can keep touching him, he can sit down on one of them. Good right to the body from AJ. Good feints from AJ. He going for the feints too. Go ahead, Francis. Oh, big right hand from AJ. Damn. Francis got a chin. I don't know how Francis took that one. That right hand would have, yo, that would have dropped Deontay Wilder for sure. Francis got a chin, bruh. That right hand was sick. One minute, 30 seconds in the second round. AJ's doing great with fighting close and far. My only problem is that lunging jab to the body. That, that shit throwing me off. Big right hand, Francis. You got to throw it. But that right hand, the right hand is making Francis cautious. And don't forget, it's a 10-round fight. Good feint from AJ. Good jab. Oh, God! He dropped Francis again with a right hand. Francis ain't getting up from that one. That shit was dumb. He hit him right off the temple. AJ hit him like he don't give a shit about his well-being. AJ hit him like he don't give a shit. He was like, bam! Like, he don't care about his well-being at all. That's the Terminator AJ we need. Bam! Another right hand. Knock him out. He's out cold. He, he's out cold. You got to check on him. Look like he's catching a seizure. AJ beat the shit out of him. Like he's supposed to. Three knockdowns. I told you AJ going to beat him worse than Fury did. He took him seriously. Now take your ass back to the MMA where you belong. Y'all want to talk about power? Francis the guy who got a chin? My ass. AJ is a prize fighter. That's a prize fighter. Now take your casual asses back to the damn drawing board. AJ took his ass seriously and concussed his ass. No celebration because he's saying, man, y'all shouldn't even done this shit. Brutal. Now take your casual asses back to the drawing board and give me my money. I can't believe I just got paid with my bookie. I can't believe the odds was like that. I took advantage of my bookie. Everybody, everybody else who got to the bag. Everybody else who got to the Drake. Drake, brother, you need to watch boxing. Everybody else who got to the bag. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get to the money. Nigga, stick to the stomach. I've been getting to the money. Everybody, man. Am I hype? I'm pissed. Y'all got to stop taking people like AJ and Joseph Parker as jokes when they are the guys fighting everybody. They the guys who got the experience in fighting everybody. Y'all call them soft. And then be hyping up people who just look a way that you like. Y'all got it twisted. Y'all got it twisted, bruh.
AJ ain't play on that one. Hell no, he ain't play. Y'all got to do quality over looks. And he don't look like you from the hood. And he don't look man. Get that shit out of here, bro. Get that out of here. MMA fighters uh, got pillow fists and boxing gloves. I'm saying, you got to know how to punch in boxing gloves. You got to know how to turn your hips and punch. It's different in boxing. See, in MMA, you know, it's just like when you have smaller gloves in boxing. You can knock somebody out like that. Look, he's, he's, getting, he's getting medical treatment. But you got to turn. You got to turn. We got to make sure Jake Paul is next. Let's go, Mike. Facts, man. Facts. Big facts. Let's go. Boxing Analytics, thank you so much for flexing on them. He hit him like he ain't give a shit. Look at this. Pull counter. Bam! That's the sweet science. That's the sweet science. He fell back like, what the hell? Pull counter. This is boxing. It's different than MMA. That's the sweet science. Then watch this. Bam! He hit him with everything. Bam! Now take your ass back to the MMA. Boom! Now take your ass back to the MMA. It was cute. It was cute playing around. Now take your ass back over there. Then look at this big shot. Bam! With all his might. He hit him like he didn't give a shit about his well-being. Look, he almost broke his leg. He hit him like he could give a damn. Now he was, AJ was like, now get out my damn sport. He took a step and tried to murk him. He said, now get out my sport, bruh. He ain't trying to play with him like Tyson Fury did. Look at Eddie Hearn jumping up and down. He ain't trying to play with him like Eddie Hearn did. I mean, not Eddie Hearn, but Tyson Fury. Try to be cute and make it a show. Now take your ass back over there. Look, 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 garbage guy saying scripted because you garbage. This dude got breath, you know, breathing and shit. This dude is that need medical uh, attention. Little trash ass little dudes, man. Could never give a brother love for nothing. Could never give brother their own brother's love for nothing. Brother from Africa. They can never give their own brother's love for Jack, bro. Never. Little crab in the barrel. Man. Hold on. Let me see. Where we at? What else we got? What else we got? Look at DJ. Uh, KO, that's a rap. Pay me. Hold on, DJ. Let me give you your love, brother. You done flexed on him. Let me give you your love, brother. I'm about to. So DJ spin the sound. And on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. I can't read everybody's stuff because everybody going crazy up in here. That's, that done went viral. If it bleeds, we can kill it. That KO was great for the sport. MMA fans went crazy calling boxing a fake sport. I'm saying after the Fury fight, LOL, KO of the year. Yes, it is. Hey, don't forget, man. Francis got a chin. AJ ain't got a chin. Bit, bit, bam. Sweet science. Sweet science. Africa in the building. Yep. KO of the decade. No, take your ass back to MMA. I'm saying. If, if you ain't done. If that ain't ruined your chin. Yeah. People be forgetting AJ can swat. Let me see. Uh, AJ just saved boxing from the circus. It was becoming. Yep, salute AJ and Joseph Parker. You don't play boxing. Thank you. 100%. Is this going to uh, going to happen? Wait a minute. To Jake Paul when he fights Mike Tyson? Brother, I'm, I'm hoping. Damn, that hurt. Hell yeah, damn, that hurt.
Joshua is still nothing to play with with the heavyweight. Division. I'm saying I don't know why he lost twice. To, he lost Andy Ruiz, came back out boxing. Sometimes you lose. It's all good. It's great. Lennox Lewis did, but he loses to to Usyk in two close fights. But AJ's kind of like, he said, that's incredible. AJ's like, he said, it is what it is. I follow him. I would be like, now take your ass back to MMA. AJ, last two fights, he looked like the baddest man on the planet. I think you said. He said when he saw the fight with him and Tyson Fury, he said, damn, he could fight. He's inspiration. He took him seriously. AJ don't waste no MNF in time, I'm saying. He said Francis can come again. He gave, he gave him respect. He gave him respect. I would have been like, now take your little ass back. People give up on fighters who lose. I'm saying. And they'll see uh, our fighters. Damn, man, this is a lot. Are the fighters that uh, give, they all. Yeah. Yeah. They just go, uh-huh. Damn. I cannot throughout. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Dude, there's just so many. But you're right. People giving up on fighters who lose is ridiculous. Oh, I caught one. I, I think I caught one. Got it. My brother really thought AJ was going to lose. I'm saying Dang, I, I can't, I can't, y'all. I can't, y'all. I can't, I can't. It's going too fast. I can't. I can't. The 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 chat's going so bad. I, I can't. He said, to this day. <laughs> he said, he's still learning. But, y'all, I can't, I, the, I can't. Be thankful. I can't, man. The super chats are just, I, I can't. I can't click on it. Right. If that was me, you would say Joshua should retire. You should always keep searching for better. The way he sat down on that shot, bruh. The way he sat down on that, he can give a damn. He can give a damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he want to fight the winner between Fury and he got to fight Her uh, Herkovich now. And he's going to do that. He's going to do that too. That's all praise Francis for, for what? For bu building up the hype. Yeah. Praise him for building up the hype, but he was a he was sitting there a punching bag like he should have been. Like he should have always been. He said whatever they want. He said, I just want to fight. He said, What do you want to do? I just want to fight. There's levels. Yeah. They asked him, What do you want to do? He said, I just want to fight. And what everybody's gonna say, soft. You know what I'm saying? That's what everybody's going to say. Man, I, hey, whatever they want me to do, I'll do. What do you want to do? I just want to fight. He's the one that's all. I like the guys, you know, loop here, you know, purses. It's actually hilarious that AJ uh, was underdog. It was dumb. Dumb. It was dumb. Mm-hmm. 
So you look at that number one heavyweight in the world. He's just getting better and better. Let me tell you what makes you better, an ass whipping. While everybody was getting on him for the ass whippings, that's what makes you better. Going in there with Usyk and you getting that experience, bro. You fighting all these guys, Pulev, uh, Pavekin, Klitschko. I mean, this guy is just uh, Dubois. He beat out of Aline. We forgot about it. Joseph Parker, he beat. Andy Ruiz. OMG. Damn, Francis uh, got put to sleep. That's what I, that, who didn't expect that? I can't believe people who didn't expect that. I say he's going to make it look worse than Tyson Fury. He's going to make it look like how Tyson Fury should have made it look. Francis is a guy with no amateur background, no. And y'all betting on him. Yeah, he, he could punch. Then tell me about the sweet science on it. He could punch. I'm like, brother, pick one. Yep, Francis can still fight Wilder as a Joshua Wilder buildup. Uh, much respect to Joshua. He has uh, really redefined himself uh, in boxing. Uh, I think AJ versus Usyk would be crazy now. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ayo Biz, Tommy might be next. I don't get it. I'm trying to, I'm having a hard time, bro. The KO was insane. Dude, I, I'm trying to, this is wild. Jesus. Yo. Yo. That, that, I mean, he knocked him down the first round. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bam. That mouth, that right hand that people don't realize is a cannon. I don't know why. He dropped him with that first right hand. Right? His legs went, and Francis, he couldn't really believe it. That, that, bam! That went off the temple, though. There was nothing he can do. He would, he was just sitting there, a punching bag. Fido, thank you so much, brother. He, he, oh, God. He looked at him and said, brother. The leg break. No, his lips. That brother there. Bro. Oh, shit. No, that right there. Uh, Carissa need to stay away from UFC because someone's going to. Yeah, right. Fire her back off. I don't know. I ain't even think about Carissa. I don't even know how you can look at this and think about Carissa. All I'm saying is this is like he says, a so one off. Now, AJ's going to get back to boxing. The role to undisputed. So thank you guys for showing up and showing out, man. Uh, I think I'm going to make my reaction as a separate video very shortly uh, so you guys can check that out. Thank you guys so much for showing up and showing out. Show biz. Uh, don't hit the subscribe button on your way out. Make sure you guys uh, like this live stream. And I'm out. Huh. We all got to the bag on my bookie. Fantastic. Fantastic.